five teams taking part. Promising to be an exciting tournament. A look at the men's boys. Coming up later, Pule, Shuja, Red, Whalers, Uganda, the SA All-Stars and the Tropic Sevens. And then in Pool B, we shall have Germany, Morans, Samurai, the Kenya National Seven Circuit Champions, KCB, and Western Province. And for the women, we shall have the Kenya Lionesses 2 as the Cubs, Uganda Women Sevens, the Kenya Lionesses from a silver medal at the Africa Sevens, the Tax, and finally the Tropic Sevens. The women's competition will be in a round robin format with the five teams, but the men's competition has been split in two pools where the top two will be progressing to the main cup semi finals later on day two. On the playing field are the two teams warming up. That's the Tropic Sevens preparing to take on the Uganda Women Sevens. Still getting through their paces. There's the Uganda Women Sevens in their warm up. Weather is not looking as familiar as we would have been accustomed to for sevens, but the skies are slowly clearing. The field has a bit of some water on the surface, so it's going to be wet ball, wet surface. Interesting conditions for sevens rugby as the two teams, the Tropic Sevens and the Lady Crane Sevens, get ready to get the action underway. first edition of Safari Sevens as we get a rundown through the previous winners. The tournament was won by the Public School Wanderers in 1996, a team that had supported Kenya rugby for so many years and brought a strong squad to the tournament. And some of the teams that have taken part in this tournament, that took part in that tournament, included the Arabian Gulf, Kenya, Uganda and Zimbabwe. Selkirk, RFC, Cumbria Schools team. 
with of course some famous names in attendance including Chester Williams rugby world cup winning Springbok who presented Kenya their first trophy at the Safari 7s the plate that they won after beating Uganda in the plate final by 38 points 12 exciting competition this the Safari 7s the tournament has gone on to be a host of some exciting teams and colorful teams the British Army the emerging box the samurai and then of course the home base team the Shuja taking control of proceedings and they are the men's defending champion and of course the lionesses are the women's defending champion there's the Uganda team joining the Tropic Sevens in the player holding area just ahead of kickoff. And so the two teams step to the playing field as the sun blesses us with some clear weather. This is a promise of what's coming up at this tournament at the RFEA grounds along Gong Road in Nairobi. Teamless for Uganda in there is Captain Peace Lekuru. But most importantly, there's two debutants on that team, Unity, Namlala, and Katesa Gatrud, youngsters that are looking to get their stronghold in this tournament. And on the other hand is the Tropic Sevens. That's it, a referee for the day as well. In that colorful blue and purple kit. Tropic Sevens will be taking the first kickoff. Uganda receiving the first possession. And we have kickoff at the 2023 Safari Sevens tournament here in Nairobi, Uganda, with first possession. Maimuna Nasozi for captain. Peace Lekuru carrying it straight into contact. And then Lydia Namabiro attacking that edge. And there's the first line break. Namabiro, does she have the legs to go all the way? She seems to be going faster than the chasing Liana Rishom. And Namabiro will be scoring the first try of this year's edition. Uganda, the first to strike under the uprights. Attacking that pillar at the breakdown Uganda five points to nil against the Tropic Sevens conversion by Maimuna Nasozi is easy Uganda will be taking a full seven points in their first possession so let's see now what the Tropic Sevens will be doing with first possession of the ball. Uganda, one possession, one try. Now, the Tropic Sevens, with their first opportunity at the ball, goes long and deep to Mariette Luken, carrying it strong past the 10 meter line and a beautiful offload to Cassie Raid. Uganda contesting at the breakdown, but well secured by the Tropic Sevens. Going all the way to the edge. And then now Zoe Healy brought down by Amoli Lona Sandra on the covering defense. Another good tackle Lift. from Chris Nabagala, the youngster from Uganda, Lift. Lift. only breaking onto Lift. the scene Lift. just a few months ago. But the Tropics maintain possession. Lift. Another offload. Lift. Slow and steady from the Tropics. Ami Bothwell onto the outside. An isolated ball player 
in Kasi Raid and Uganda have won the possession. Peace okay. Lekuru on the quick restart, breaking the first tackle and the second. She's dancing past the Tropics defense. Does she go all the way alone? No, she finds some support in Sarah Chirabo. Sarah Chirabo, MVP of the women's sevens in Uganda, will score the second try of the game. Uganda double their lead. Patient defense up until that turnover and then a quick break. Good support run from Sarah Chirabo. And Uganda have the second try of the game. There's Sarah Chirabo, who just last year was playing with the Lady Rugby Cranes 15s. Only got her first call up going into the Africa 7s. This is her second tournament in the Lady Rugby Cranes ranks. And it looks promising for her. Score still stands at 12 points to nil as Maimuna Nasozi changes direction on the kick and catches the Tropic 7s napping. Line out taken quickly. But not the legal five meters, so we shall have the first set piece of the game, first set piece of this okay. tournament. Yeah. Julia for having to throw in the line out, and it goes to the front to re Parker and then recycled quickly. Maintaining possession through Ami Bothwell. And then now on to the outside edge. Tango release, move away five. You have it. It's fine, play. Another turnover by Uganda Tango this release. time. It's by Peace Lekuru, but it's Polly's wrestled back by Rhys Parker. Tropical Let's Sevens maintaining possession. Five. And Maimona again has caught the Tropic Let's. Seven snapping at the breakdown. Move away. Step back, step back. Nakuya Agnes in her first contribution in the game. Long ball out wide to Grace Navagala. Not the best Final of passes. Back. Sandra Molilona forced to the ground. A change of direction. No hands, no hands. For the Lady Rugby Cranes. Play. Slow ball. With just two minutes on the clock. The teams look like they're already fatigued in the first kickoff of the game many handling errors from both teams and possession has been handed over to the Tropic Sevens past one minute not the best for both teams as they struggle to navigate the tricky conditions of the playing service playing surface at the moment sun is out but the ball is wet the surface is slippery okay ladies this is our first scrum and this is going to be the first action. scrummage of the match That's it. Crouch! Bind! Set! Stay in hold! A split backline attack for the Tropic Sevens is left. Hold it at the start. Jordan Hill with possession and then now turned over by Uganda. A minute and a half on the clock. Peace Lekuru. Amoli Lona shuffling it out quickly to Agnes Nakuya, who has wheels for days that she outpaced her chasing defense in Julia Verhoeven. <laughs> An easy stroll over the whitewash for Nakuya. And Uganda have extended their lead to 17 points. Three tries, one conversion. Uganda look like they are outlasting the Tropic Sevens in the contest here today. The conversion this time is going to be taken by Grace Navagala. And she makes easy work of that. Uganda now 19.0 against the Tropic Women Sevens. What's out this play? Let's play, let's play. There goes the halftime hooter, so this will be the Watch last out. play 
of the first half, Uganda have enjoyed territory against the Tropic Sevens, playing deep inside their half, getting three tries on the board. But the Tropic Sevens can put a smile on their faces with this last possession of the first half. Recycling it slowly to the open side. Julia. Taco. The Tropic Sevens have advantage for the knock-on, but that will be the last play of the first half. Ball lost on the floor. And that will be the last play of the first half. We'll take a two-minute break. We'll return with the second half. You got the leading, the lead. Tropic Sevens by 19 points to zero. Where are you going? <coughs> Back for the second half. Uganda leading 19 points to zero against the Tropic Sevens. Can the Tropic Sevens get their campaign going with some points on the board? They will be gifted by that boshed kickoff from Maimuna Nasozi, a free kick at the halfway line to get their second half going. Amy Bothwell on the wrist that goes to the right side, finds Ree Parker. Ripaka to Iliana yeah. Rishom. Brought down just past the 10 meter line. Recycling is Ripaka again. Let's move away. Go ahead. Leave it, leave it, leave it. And then a penalty goes the way of the Tropic Sevens for hands in that rock. Final back. Slippery brawl today, so the Let's hands need away. to be in top accuracy with the passes and the catches. Yana again, strong career for the Tropic Sevens. Ripaka, another busy player in today's game, finds Let's move away, five. Work, work, Amy work, Bothwell work. on the edge. Yana to Julia. And then now is him. Let's isolated the ball carrier she's found herself without any support players that's going to be a turnover for team uganda who have handed over possession freely referee says the restart was made scrum. and so it's going to be a scrum for the tropic sevens peace lekuru there not communicating with yeah, scrum. sandra amoli lona and the tropic sevens can continue okay. to advance forward in the Mr. attack Mark. Shmi and Love were very keen to leave Boyd. no stone and turn Crouch. in his judgment of this game. Boy, Steady. Set. Steady, steady, old. Good contest from Uganda to turn over position at that scrimmage. And now Amoli Lona finds Agnes Nakuya cutting back Let's inside boy. and securing possession. Lydia Namabiro. Just flirting with the edge of the playing field, but Takla needs to roll away there, Zoe Healy. 
step and play. Uganda nearly giving away possession again, restarting Not without stop. the tap. But Amoli Lona opts for the scrum. Uganda looking to attack from this set piece as the changes ring yes. in the leaders' ranks. There's Rita Nadunga. Okay. okay, I'll check. Coming on. And Maimun Anasozi will be <laughs> leaving the playing field. Boy! Steady, steady, steady. Open up for me. Tropic Sevens as well, Set. making some changes in their ranks. Let's have it again. Let's have it again. Quick, move up, move up. Gary Parker will be taking a deserved rest after Boy. some heavy contact. Steady, steady. Set! In the build up to this set piece. Stay, 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 stay. Number nine, offside. And are playing with advantage for outside at that breakdown. Amoli Lona looking for the quick restart. Taps, Mega finds target. Nadunga. Nadunga finds Sarah Chirabo. Uganda have the advantage. Left. Chirabo brought down <laughs> in the first of the big tackles of the day. Lekuru isolated. The tackle was fine. But the Tropic 7 still playing Mega in an offside position. Close. Nadunga on the quick restart. Left. She hits the ground off. Releases the ball Left. and then gets back to her feet. Move away, move away. Uganda just outside the 22. On to the open side. Sarah Chirabo looking for support. Finds Agnes Nakuya. Nakuya offloading to Lydia Namabiro. Good ball retention from the Uganda Sevens, but looking for that clean final touch. Nakuya fending off Left, opponents. Brought down just outside the five. And now Chirabo. <laughs> She's over the whitewash under the uprights. Another try for Uganda. <laughs> Tropic 7 seem to have no response to this uh, rampaging Uganda attack. That's cynical play. You're supposed to be ten in order for you to tackle somebody. Now that's a general warning to everyone. Just talk to your team. Zero. And as Uganda put points on the board, there's a general warning that has gone out to the Tropic Women 7s playing much in an offside position. That's the last warning that they will be getting. Which side? Stay behind the ball. Back underway. Kick this time goes deep into the hands of Jeanne Toyale. Let's her first contribution in this game. Final back. Found by Grace Dean as well, coming off the bench. Let's Player tackle. Dean needs to release, release that ball, ball after the tackle. Then you pick it up. So it's a turnover position for Uganda. Ten. Lekuru Ten. on the restart. Ten. The defense. We want to get back 10. Farid says we play on. Let's move away. Bit of a hopeful offload to Agnes Nakuya now. Grace Namagala. Another offload in contact for Lekuru. She'll not be passing the ball this time. And she's over for the other try of this game. Lekuru. Uganda captain. Uganda. Break over is Najma Ibon. To extend Uganda's lead, ladies and gentlemen, to 31. Tropic Sevens, zero. Let's go, Tropic! Energy now! He's taking deep! Conversion is unsuccessful. Conversion this time by Nawagala is not seven, seven, accurate. Seven, Coming up next will be the Kenya Lionesses taking on the Took Sevens. What out? As we slowly get into the business of things at this year's event, ball lost forward on that restart. Sorry, by the Tropic Sevens. Mark here. Uganda have another possession, perhaps. Yes, the mark. Yes, the mark. To add Mark more points on the board, this is a round robin tournament in the women's competition. Okay, ladies, this is going to be our last scrum. Crouch! Points will come Boy. to matter steady, steady, steady. as the seeding Set. for day two and the knockouts comes into consideration. You're set, you're set. 
Uganda with 31 points against the Tropic Sevens looking to add some more with la this last possession. Amoli Lona on the loop looking for that switch. Finds Rachel Mufua. Yes. Mufua offloads to Nadunga. The two are teammates at the Black Pearls in Uganda. Ball lost through the hands but he finds Peace Lekuru on the kick and Peace Lekuru will be diving over for the last try of this game her second on the day all she had to do Lekuru there was dive onto the ball and put some points on the board for Uganda 36 points zero with conversion to come And Yvonne Najuma, he also takes some credit in this game as Uganda take a 38 points to nil win over the Tropic Sevens in the first match of the 2023 Safari Sevens. And then coming up next are the Kenya Lionesses against the Tux Ladies. The Tux Ladies from South Africa taking on the defending champions and the home team today. A number of these players on the Lionesses squad were at the Africa Sevens in Tunisia where they picked behind, Silver please. Medal and with that qualifying for the Challenger Series and for the Olympic Games repechage and then some more action with the WXV3 and the Elgon Cup just last week in Kisumu. So they will begin to get the action underway in their title defense. Off the mark very quickly are the lionesses. Kenya will be getting the first call of the game within seconds, as was the first. Alia, it's business for the home team. With just 30 seconds on the clock, Kenya lead by five points to nil. And Angoretti makes no mistake with the conversion. So it's a full seven points for the Lionesses against the Tux ladies who have been caught napping. Early on in this game. Let's go, please. Now, Mamelo for the first position of the tax, floating on the floor to Nulwazi. It's a strong defense from the Lionesses who have turned over possession and they will be strolling over for the second try of the game under the upright scores. Naomi Amukuni. Hello, 
Tainé says 12 points to nil. This time goes the way of Amuguni as Angoriti makes no mistake with the conversion. And the Turks have been forced into some early changes. Moya Gina on. And that number nine. Let's go, please. Hold behind. Hi. And in the same zone as was the first Gina this time able to gather cleanly. Mikaela, Mikaela for Tandi. And then there's a break in the middle from Andiswa. Andiswa offloading to the speed start the wing, but she leaves the ball behind. Knock on. It's going to be another Jump. handling error and turn of opposition from the tax who are yet Let's to go, play today. Seconds. But this kick receipt has shown what they could be capable of in this tournament. Crouch. Bind. Set. Very good and clean set play from the Lionesses. Exploiting that loop run. And Angreti will be going over. For another try for the Lionesses. Making it look easy, but this is very good teamwork from the Lionesses. And she makes good with the conversion. So the score will stand at 21.0. Just halfway through this first half. Same routine on the restart by the Lionesses looking to exploit that outside edge. Mamelo there, unable to gather that ball. It will still be a line out for the Tux. Hold. Kenya, Kenya, this is middle. Okay. Their yep. first set piece of the game, the Tux. Hold, hold the space. Can they maintain Kenya, possession up. as Amoguni prepares a strong defense at the front of that line out. Up in the air, but ball not thrown straight. Right. Scrum? The Lioness scrum. has opt Kenya for ball. a scrum. Feed will be at that 15 meter mark. Let's bring it off here, oh, man. Crouch! Bind! Set! Good contest from the tax, but possession maintained. But the Lioness is backwards to the outside. Backwards. Not the cleanest of final passes, but possession maintained Tackle. by the Lionesses. Dami and Curry by Anne Goretti, who is forced backwards. Step, step. Pulls out. Another break through the middle. Lioness is making this all look too easy. Fourth try of the game. They've all been in the same fashion. A break through the middle. Possession turned over on the other side. Ducks ladies. We have some soul searching going into the second half as the conversion is clean and through the middle. Another risk that in the same zone, this time the Turks are able to keep possession. Moya Gina. Taklanese roll away. Quick restart. 
by Mulwazi. Mulwazi to Mikaela. Mikaela puts it to the boot, looking to force Kenya to play from deep inside their own area. And then a beautiful Damian straight through the middle. And on the outside, she has pace to burn the little halfback. Goes into a little jog. There's some chest of hope from Andiswa. But that will not be denying the Lionesses from scoring another try. As the halftime hooter goes. Linus is making easy work of the tax. Conversion is short, and that will be the last play of this first half. Kenya Linus is. Running right against the docks, ladies. We'll be back for the second half. All good? Uh, yeah, all good. Much, not much happening, eh? Yeah. Let's just watch behind my back. Yeah. I think they're offside a bit. Yeah. It's not really affecting, but let's just keep an eye out. Yeah, sure. Thanks, brother. Yeah, use your voices. I'll back you, use your voice. Yeah. Thanks, bud. All right, good to go. Boys, get off the pitch, please. Okay. And so now the final seven minutes of the White first Captain, round in the women's competition before we begin good. the men's competition taking the field first will be the Red Whalers against the Tropic Sevens but how much more damage can the Lionesses inflict on the Tok Sevens Naomi Amuguni chasing that restart but she's tackled into touch by Renz Keselina Good attack from Kenya. Amuguni, but good defense as well Hold from space. Keselina. Step, step, step. The Turks need to make a clean set piece here. It's turned over in the air. And Angoretti unable Knock to on. gather that ball. So it's going Stop. to be a handling error for... In the books for the Lionesses, the first mistake they've made in this tournament, I should say. As everything has been clean in the first seven minutes. Tropic Seven is now attacking from the set piece. Moya Gina finds Mikaela, but Mikaela loses that ball on the floor, so it's now another scrum into the 22 but turned over to the Lionesses. Other side, other side. Crouch! What? Bind! Knuckle. Set! Hold, hold nine. Changing direction from the Lionesses, looking for support. Barnage, got to come round. Now they Bandage have the advantage, off. the Lionesses. Quickly, off after those two passes. And an easy dummy. It will be another easy try for the Lionesses. The defending champions making no mistake this time. To add some points on the board. Changes ringing across, across the field for both teams. Get off.
conversion is wide, so score will stay as is 38.0. First two games have been no contests. And the line has appeared to be setting the bar even higher. Time off. Substitution. Come on. Back underway. Kick bounces over the, the 10, ten but the just ten. line out, cross the ten. Just fine margins. Referee says it crossed the ten. Girls, 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 here. So the tax will have here. to settle for Kenya. a line out. The set piece which has not space. gone no, well no, for them. Wait. Space. Hold. Set the space. Let's go. A little bit of confusion at the front of that line out. Kenya looking to contest. Dummy and throw. they force the turnover after that dummy throw. Tax. It's a free kick. Dummy throw. Have no response for the experience in the Kenya Lionesses squad. Quickly shuffling it out to the open side. Then now offloading it back to the forward space and numbers are plenty and some space as well. Another try of the game. Lionesses are piling the pressure and the points against the tax ladies. They go into the forties with this try, 43 to nil. And Gretchen's conversion is good to the job, so it is 45 points to nil. As hard job today is done, and Gretchen. Kick this time is deep and surely closes, crosses the 10. Gina, who has been a good introduction to the team, gathers for the tax, but possession has been turned over immediately after the Don't first edge. pass. The tax will now have Always under pressure. possession from scrum. that scrum. Michaela there hoping that she could have got a penalty for an apparent infringement at the breakdown, but Crap. that's going to be a scrum just out to outside Point. that five. The tax ladies set advantage four offside. So this maybe is the penalty that they so needed. So Michaela taps it, looking for support. Offloads. Another penalty against the Lionesses as the tax finally gets some action going in the game. But not for long. <laughs> Should on. admit that maybe Scrum. that's the commentator's cast. But hardly had they advanced. Just about 10 meters and when possession was lost to a handling error. Crouch! So Find. we have another Kenya scrub, a set piece that has worked well for them. A little bit of a tricky play from the Lionesses to kick possession Red away ball. there easily. But it's not gathered off that kick. Kayela Crouch. will be beating herself up Boys. for not gathering that ball with no pressure and opposition in front of her. Balls out. Balls out. Balls out, says the referee. And now to the short side. 2v2 situation on the switch play. Easy try for the Lionesses. Very good set plays that the Kenyans are showing today. And they hit the half century mark with this try. 30 seconds on the clock left to play. That will 
will be the final play of this match. 50 points to nil. The Lioness has punished the tax. And bringing an end, therefore, to the women's first round competition. Coming up next will be the men's competition. There's a confirmation of the full-time score. Kenya Lionesses, 50 points and zero for the tax ladies. And now, the Red Warrior, Red Whalers will be taking on the Tropic Sevens in the first of four men's matches. There's a Red Whal Whalers with the captain at the front there, Paul Motami. go the two teams to get the men's competition underway the Red Whalers with a host of home best players and the Tropic Sevens from the United Kingdom Can these Tropic Sevens change the tide for the Tropics as a whole? Joseph Momo will be the referee for this match, member of the Kenya Rugby Referees Association, who had fair elections yesterday, interesting turn of events and results, but still they were able to put the differences aside and come and deliver good service at this Safari Sevens. The Tropic Sevens will be taking the first kickoff in this match. Yeah, we're waiting for the communication from the line. Are we good now to go? And we go underway. Straight out, we go to the center. The kick is booted straight out. So the Tropic it's Sevens have handed free possession to the Red Whalers. It's going you to be a free come? kick at halfway. Scrum option. It's a scrum option. And the option this side. is a scrum. Mark on the center of the, the pitch. We must hook that ball. We must hook that ball. 
Clutch. Bind. Set. A split back line attack for the Red Whalers. They opt for the open side. Strong carrying with intention from Ogeta Beldad. Stay back. And recycled. Not the best of passes from Stephen Osumba. But it's been gathered by Shundo Crispin now. Takla is still there. Back. Back. Tak's playing. Red Whalers playing the full expanse of the playing field. Onto the switch for Fidel Olo. Backwards. Takaglis. Beldad wrestling his way onto the floor. Earns that penalty for not releasing. Yes, sir. On the mark or behind. This build that will get going to the floor first. And earning a penalty for the Red Whalers who have found good touch inside the Tropics half. Your mark is here, sir. There's Osumba Steven. The other mark is here. Getting some strategy in for this set piece. Ball will be thrown in by Connor. The clean take from the top of that line out. Steven Osumbo sells the dummy and goes himself. Big ball carrier. Making the first line break Too late, of the no game. Hands. Too late. Referee Thank says you. hands away from that rock. Mutsami Paul. From Kenya Simba's duty. To Red Whalers duty in the sevens. When Steven back. Osumba puts it to the boot. Tackle now, possession release. easily to the Tropic back, back, Sevens. Back, back, Clean contest at the breakdown. Tropic Tackle Sevens maintaining now, possession, but attempt to exit their own territory is not successful and they've been forced into grinding the ball in their own try area so a scrum will be awarded to the whalers just five meters away good defense from the whalers they are led by captain paul motami clutch bind set corner feeds an open gate on the open side finds Osumba Steven Osumba Steven will wrestle his way and score the first try of this game we move to the center tropic towards the center try for the red whalers and it's Stephen Osumba with the score we're gonna, we don't have so much time. Yeah. The corner's conversion is good. So the Red Whalers will now lead seven points to nil against the Tropic Seven. Yeah, looking for the best place to take the restart. It's been a season of El Nino's here in Nairobi and most of Kenya. No cone. Offside. The go, go, Red go, Whalers go, have free possession of that offside play. They put it through the hands. Advantage. But they also Never lose no it forward this time through Charles Owino. Tropic Seven is looking to punish off this free possession. But they are being forced backwards away. by the Red Whalers on defense. Looking for that switch, but backwards. not able to find the hand. Spreading it, spreading it out wide this time at the Tropic Sevens, but they give away possession freely. Advantage lost forward. And 
another handling error this time from their corner. So the Tropic Sevens can finally get a breather. Most importantly, can attack from a set piece deep inside their own area. Wasn't the cleanest of possessions in the last couple of phases. Don't have so much time to set in that scrum. We push straight parallel to the ground, gents. Crutch! Bind! Set! Contest from both teams, but pops up on the side of the Tropic Sevens. Do they maintain possession? There's an isolated man at the breakdown. But referee says the Jackline needs to support their own body weight. Carrying hard into contact at the Tropic Sevens. And then the offload doesn't find the man exactly. But possession still in their hands. Another line break. Just too late, a half too break. Late. Referee says Motsami is too late to make that turnover. And then the ball goes to the boot with just five seconds on the clock. Matoka Matoka kicks it into touch. It looks like That's he has been up. hurt there on his left ankle. His participation in the Victoria and Elgon Cup was hampered by an injury. And Matoka will be hoping that this is not a repeat of the injury that kept him out of most of the competition in Kapala. Is there a football tackle with the stats out open? The Red Whalers take a slim seven points lead into the halftime break against the Tropics. Second half coming up shortly. for the second half. Red Whalers getting us underway and the Tropic Sevens with the possession of the second half. They managed to get that break and then the offload through the hands. It's a foot race and the Tropic Sevens finally can put some points on the board with an opportunity to love the match. Conversion is nimble and just perfect. So we are back to square one. Red Whale has seven, Tropic seven. As the sun continues to shyly get out of the clouds.
shot, good kick. Advantage. Game contest in the air, but ball not held. No advantage is gained. We go for the first offense. It was a fair contest in the air from both teams. But the Red Whalers will be the recipients of this possession after that. Tap or knock on. You got no chance? Clutch! Bind! Set! Steady, Jens. Steady. Let's have it in. You're just pushing upwards all day. Yeah, corner. No, no, no. Back, back. Pushing upwards. Getting that scrum underway, but the Red Whalers had a penalty nonetheless being careless with possession in the hands and the Tropic well, Sevens will be on. making them Break it out. pay. Tackle, release, release. Back. Inside, Tropic Sevens back inside the Red Whalers 22. They have numbers on the open side. Hopeful upload just finds the grass but possession is maintained. Red Whalers contesting and then an exciting cheeky pass through the legs. But this is competitive stuff from both teams. Yeah. Went back, play on. And now through the hands to Dan James. Dan James has the try line back on him. Does he ground it? Stand Referee down. says, yes, come down. held up. And James cannot believe that he has been denied the try scoring opportunity by Matoka. But they have a scrum feed at five meters. The referee had a good view of that one. And Dan James claiming that he grounded that ball not good enough. In the eyes of the referee. We have to push those scrums straight, guys. We have no option, it's their ball. Coming on for the Tropic Main Sevens is Levi Sachin, former Uganda Sevens International, Set. and now playing his trade in the UK to the blind side. Tamol. Leo found himself isolated and possession has been turned over by the Red Whalers, but the Whalers have been caught inside their try area again. So we shall have a scrum at the five ball taken back into the area after that turnover. That's very strong defense from Rick Van Balkom. Forced the grounding inside the end goal area. So can now the Tropic Men Sevens do better? with their possession. More changes now ring. In the Red Whalers ranks. Mutua Brian is on. Plus of course Fidel Olo returning to the playing field. We're going out, gents. Clutch! It's a try piece. Two minutes left on the clock in this second half. A try scored here could be the match winner. Again to the short side. This time there will be no denying him of that scrum feed. The Tropics, after knocking and knocking at the door, have finally found the way over the whitewash. A carry with intent there from Joe Booth. And they lead by seven by 12 points to seven. Conversion from Leo. To come. It sails wide of the uprights, so there will be an opportunity for the Red Whalers to put up a challenge and perhaps level matters again. This is the closest contest we have had so far of many to come in the 2023 Safari Sevens. Deep and just outside the 22. Crispin Stundo with possession. Red Whalers on the attack. Matoka puts it to the boot. It's being chased. 
and picked up cleanly by Joseph Ndunde. This is one for the highlight reel. What a pickup from Ndunde. And a beautiful try as well under the uprights. Look at that with one hand. Red Whalers, level matters. And Matoka makes good of the conversion, so they take the lead again. Just 20 seconds left on the clock. Whalers lead by two points against the Tropic Sevens. But this, this is going to be one for the highlight reel. That pickup from Dunde Joseph. Looking to buy as much time and eat into the time the Tropic Sevens will have to break their hearts as the full time Huta goes. So the Tropic Sevens need to build from deep inside their own area. Levi Sochen brought down inside the 22, recycling, skip and long pass out. It goes on to the boot. Will it stay in the playing field? Went to afraid the Tropic Sevens might have given away the only fighting chance they had in the game. It was the last play Huta had gone. The Whalers have survived that comeback without breaking a sweat. The Tropic Sevens not aware of the time on the clock and thus they have suffered. A 14 points to 12 defeat at the hands of the home base Red Whalers. Coming up next will be Uganda taking on the SA All Stars. There you have it, Uganda taking on the South Africa All-Stars at the front is actually the two captains in the absence of Captain Ian Munyani, Aaron Ofoiroth and Adrian Casito will be leading Uganda at the 2023 Safari Sevens, Uganda's best finish having taken part from 1996 is the fifth place, which is the plate, they won last year's plate and fifth place final. There's Aaron of Oiroth, who has become one of the mainstays in this Uganda men seven squad. Some smiles as well from the SA All-Stars. This is one of the teams which usually means business at the Safari 7s. You can see that from how they are getting ready to take on their first opponent at this year's edition.
there's the green light for both teams to take to the playing field. Uganda going straight for the ball. The SA All-Stars just next to them. It will be a quick team huddle. And then on to the business. Center referee this time. It's Duncan Kiyoko. Uganda with a host of number of debutants. At the front there is Roy Kizito playing in his first tournament here at the Safari Sevens. And there's the Leshan Edward, one of the upcoming players in that number, Jersey 7, a player to watch for the SA All-Stars. Center referee is Duncan Kiyoko, one of Kenya rugby's finest. He will be blowing the whistle as the SA All-Stars take the first kickoff of this game. Long, high, and deep, but it stays just marginally on. The Uganda men sevens ball. leaving that ball to fly and had Vijay Malangu gathered that cleanly. It would have been an easy stroll for the try, but he put a foot into touch, so it's going to be a line out for Uganda. Up in the air. And then now, Aaron Ofoiroth fans, Adrian Casito, who throws a long ball out to Roy Chizito. Roy Chizito played rugby here in the Kabeberi Sevens for the Samurai Select. So he is not new to this playing surface, although he's on debut. Davis Shimwa now okay. for Pius Ogena. Ogena just about maintaining possession. Tackle now, leave. Tackle, leave. Finds the ground. Foyroth for Adrian Casito. Scrum. And Casito loses the ball forward. So scrum for the SA All Stars. Set it up quickly. Black, set it up quickly. Let's go, boys. Crouch. Binds. Set. Hold it. Ball pops up on the Uganda side. Through the hands now. Adrian Casito. For Nobato Kenny and another handling error. Adrian Casito. Not having a good start to the tournament through a bad pass, then made a knock on, and then an offload that didn't find the hand, and now he has given away a penalty to the SA All Stars. They will tap and go to Plessy for Adam Isaac. Tackle, leave now. Andrew David Cross. On side. Recycling. Are the SA All Stars? Flat play on. Back, back play on. Referee says ball play went on. backwards. Roy Chizito now on the loose ball offloads to Adrian knock Casito. On. This was accidental. You head down. Yeah. And there's another knock on from the Uganda men sevens. Yeah, scrum. Scrum white ball. White ball, ball still in the hands. Down. Of the SA All Stars. Crouch! Binds! Set! They do better with the scrum. Didn't look exactly like it was fed. Hooked rather. This was high. Referee says high tackle there on the SA All Stars. And this is the youngster that we said we need to keep an eye on, Adam Isaac. Looking for that switch, but carries it himself. SA All Stars advancing steadily into Ugandan territory. They recycle it out wide. Dick Jr., Botlale, and then now Adam Isaac 
punishing Uganda with his sidesteps. Turn of a play for Uganda, Adrian Casito, strong fend. And then advantage now the break. Uganda's advantage is over. Casito offloads to Aaron Ofoiroth, his co captain. And Aaron Ofoiroth passes it out wide to Roy Chizito, his escort, the debutant. Staying around the experienced men and getting rewarded for his efforts. Conversion by a Foyroth is good. So Uganda now lead by 7 points to 0 against the S All Stars. But this is Roy Chizito. Also very generous of Aaron of Foyroth to grant him owners of scoring not just his first try but uganda's first try at this year's safari seven deep kick well retained by the sa all-stars no play on play on farisa is play on despite the appeals from the uganda men sevens on to the outside speed for days Touched. Put it line out into the boot. Good tackle. Okay, give me the mark. Yeah. And Ryan nearly outsmarted White. Adrian Casito. Black. The ball went in to touch. So Uganda have the line out. It's a bit of an interesting set piece routine. They walk into the set piece, the ball goes into the air. Isaac Massa offloading to pass again at, at the front of that line out. Turnover is clean though. First man. Support not good enough for Ogena. And then now the SA All Stars. Black captain. Black captain. Uh, you're closing in the line out. Can you watch into that? Kyoko. Making it clear to the Uganda men sevens that they I'm need the to maintain now, that meter gap at the line out. Goes up in the air, but back won by Uganda again now for Casito. Casito finds Nobato Kenny. Nobato Kenny has a man on the outside, decides to carry it himself into contact. Back now. Hold it. Casito, short ball to pass Ogena. Ogena for Adrian Casito. Over the halfway line, go Uganda. Rock. Onside. Slow ball to Okeni. Okeni has Roy Chizito. Finds him with the switch. And then now, straight running from the Tuck rookie on, on his debut. Okeni, the space just at the fringe of that breakdown. And Okeni will be scoring Uganda's second try as we go into the halftime break. Uganda now leading by 12.0 and make it 14 with that conversion. Confirmation of the halftime scores after that successful conversion by Aaron Foyroth, Uganda and the SA All-Stars putting up an exciting contest in this half. Score is 14 points nil in favor of Uganda.
back for the second half. Aaron Ophiroth knocking it high into the air. It bounces just on the line. And uh, it appears these two teams have decided to put their wrist at straight into touch. The fine margins on the playing surface today. SA All-Stars will get us underway with the free kick. And then free possession out through the hands. They had the advantage for the knock-on. Let's go. Crouch. Uganda now with Bars. the scrum just inside their half. Set. At the far edge Hold it. of the playing field. Yeah. Ali push. Free kick Ten. for Uganda. Referee says play on and Ali Shov play on, play on. at that scrum. Aaron Ofoiroth dancing and fending off. Looking for that offload. Finds Nobat Okeni. Okeni. Over the whitewash for the double. Ali in the second half. Quick break for Uganda. And Okeni is over. 19 points to nil. Conversion to come. Good. The Aaron of Oiroth is at 100% accuracy so far with the conversions. And so the score will be 21 points to nil for Uganda as they make some changes for the second half. This time on the restart, he goes just short, covered Back play on. by Adam Isaac. And through the hands this time, Juan Dupree. Play on flat pass. Farid says play on for a flat pass, but this one sailed way forward from Yasun Ben Duplessis. Scrum black ball. Farid says. Substitution yeah, for a blood replacement for Nobat Okeni. Time is off. Uganda forced into a blood replacement change. Nobat Okeni playing in the midfield who out. will be Still replacing him. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. I think the sub is here. It's William Nkore. Time back on. Scrum down. Coming Black on ball. for Forward pass. Nobat Okeni, who has an opportunity to return to the playing field Get as this is a blood replacement. Let's go together. Crouch! Kore slots into that Bars. midfield position. Set! Hold it. <laughs> you can have a scrum feed with an open blind side that Adrian Casito likes to attack, but this time he goes to the open side, finds Aaron Ofoiroth again with the fan, this time decides to go alone all the way and he finds the whitewash for another you try in this game. And signaling his attendance, celebrating ladies and gentlemen. Strong fan from Ofoiroth, Uganda Aaron captain. AKA double he gets a try to his name after those conversions. seconds to go. This is going to be the most challenging of them so far. Yo, yo, white, white player, please. Go, now you have it. And it's also good. Aaron O'Farrell clean off the boots. 28 points to nil for Uganda against the SA All-Stars. SA All-Stars have been kept without a score in the game so far. They have two minutes on the clock to get something going. 
That restart is not good. Uganda restart quickly. With that, Foyroth again on the fend for Timothy Mugisha. Mugisha offloading to Aaron Tuke, and Aaron Tuke finds Aaron of Foyroth under the uprights. Uganda through the hands of Foyroth through the uprights. No, I'm okay. Next good of the conversion as well. Try and conversion. Try and conversion for Aaron of Oyeroth. He's leading Uganda from the front. 90 seconds to play. Deep and high gathered by Juan Dupria. Knock on. Black put in. But it's been lost forward by Juan Dupria. Let's use this one. You can't have a scrum feed inside the 22. No, don't, don't go close with the ball there continue. is yeah. Mark Osuna. Let's, let's use Yangster that one. also on Crouch. debut. For Uganda. Bites. Set. Hold it. Safari it's 7 ready. is usually a benchmark tournament for these teams to get their calendars underway. And Uganda making good with that. Aaron 2K for Isaac Massa. Cutting back against the grain. Massa offloads to 2K. 2K not able to gather. And now the SA All Stars can attack from deep forward inside pass. the area. Here, that looked cramp. like a forward pass. Knock on by Black. So double handling error. Aaron 2K with the knock yeah, on. Here. Last play. Last say play, boys. with that forward pass. And we shall have a scrum for the last play of the game. Can the SA All Stars put points on the board? Let's go. From 85 meters. Crouch. Counting from Bounce. the dead ball line. They will need Sets. to work really, really hard with possession. Stay, stay, stay Puta has gone just at the moment that Lechan Edward was putting it to the boat. Knock on. Referee says there was a knock on there. Knock on by 11. From Filasande Soldati. And with that, it's the last play of this match. A bit of unlucky timing from the SA All Stars with that kick and the reception that ended up being the last play of the match. Uganda have taken a 35 points to zero lead and victory against the All Stars from South Africa. Coming up next are the Kenya Morans against the Western Province Select from South Africa. Western Province have a history with this tournament, Safari 7s. There's the Morans. And with the smiles are the SA All Stars.
that will be running on for the penultimate match of the first round in the men's competition. Western Province in the sun red tops and black shirts. Kenya Morans in a camouflage green kit for the tops and black shirts. Uh, referee for this one from Zimbabwe, Shingirai Zoya. Now. Okay. On to the business now. No, no! Release! With possession. After regaining that restart, they recycle it quick through the hands. No. Floyd Wabwire not able to gather. And he loses that ball forward. Come, yeah. Western oh. Province will have first possession after fumbling that restart. Get back. Clouch. Bind. Corner Van Neden. Set. Feed. Uses one hand a little bit uncharacteristic, but the scrum has been collapsed by the Morans. Now, on a fortress by Khabam Hele, gathered by Wabwire deep inside his own area. Ball pops out on the open side, but referee says that was offside. Player who regathered that ball came from an offside position. Robertson Fazil, a little bit too eager to get the first try of the game. Happy. We're using the lie. We're using the lie. Short ball to Barnabas War. And now through the hands, the open side, the Morans making use of the expanse of the pitch. Now the fend and the foot race. It's Floyd Wabwire dancing, looking to cut past the sweeping and cross-covering defense. But he has run all the way to the corner for the first try of the game. Floyd Wabwire, welcome to the Safari Sevens. Weaving his way through the Western Province defense, ladies and gentlemen, is Floyd Wabwire. What a bust move, of pass from move, what we Move, move. Lay, lay. Now we wait for the conversion. And Doyo Ben Salem. Way off the mark. So score will stand as is. What a try from Wabiri. He ran close to 80 meters. Salem goes deep. What Kick is, is gathered by Robertson Fazir. And then now Ryan Muller. Offside. Quota isolated, no. but the Morans are in an offside yeah. position. Yeah. Yeah. It appears the entire Morans team have grey tinted their hair. Not sure if this is uh, was planned or just a coincidence, but save for one player, the entire Moran's team have some interesting, open up, clean, open up, hairstyles. Open. Yeah. 
Stay. Stay. Stolen in the air by the Morans. Now on to the open side, Ben Salem. For oh, Wabwire again. Wabwire too quick, too good for Cuban Botticello. And he doubles the Morans lead, Wabwire. That's your life. That's your life. We played five. Twenty seconds. Ben Salem's conversion this time is short again. There's Wabwire. Making a mark early on in the Safari Sevens. The Morans will be using his services a lot more given the array of skills that he has so far shown. Oh. Referee says clean contest in the air and then a short ball for Ben Salem. What a line! Brian Muller making the claim that he was taken in the air, hit with an elbow in the air there. But, oh my. What a try. By Ben Salem. Lomandi makes good with the conversion. The Morans now lead by 17 points. To zero against Western Province Select. A minute to play in this first half. Another contest in the air, but this time gathered and maintained by the Western Province. Not Ryan Muller outside the 10. Benjamin Corbin isolated, gives away the penalty Hold after in. that strong Easy. carry. Hodging. Scrum. The Morans will look to end this first half with some more points to the board. They call for the set piece. For what? For <laughs> immediately when the jackal comes. <laughs> no. Immediately when he comes, he can jackal the ball. I'll watch it. Eh? I'll watch it. It's fine. Mondi. <laughs> Clouch. With um, Pines. his word nickname Elbows up. on his jersey. Set. Keep it up. Keep it up. His other name is Ronaldo. So he comes from some strong footballing links. Jackal. On to the short side and now recycling it to the open side. Ben Salem. Ben Salem looking for Wabwire. Wabwire with the fend. This time not able to break through. But the Morans maintain possession. Time out. Time out. says time off. I think the Four discussion is about high tackle. Just, the, just a yes, penalty. That high tackle, yeah. Okay. I tackle by the edge, yeah. Penalty. I tackle. Um, Hi. Wabwire. Too strong. Too slick. For the Western Province. The Morans decide that that will be the last play of the first half to save energy. Huh? Ben Salem boots it into yeah, touch. And they have an exciting technical bench there. Led by Kevin Momboa. Andrew Amonde, the Kenya Sevens head coaches. Talk to me. Also coming off the back of winning the Africa Sevens. Kenya Morans now leading at the break by 17 points to zero against the Western Province. I have to close the mic. One half time, we have to close the mic. Anything? Just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he has not been busy at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you are allowed to change. 
You're allowed to go down. Edwin, brother Floyd Wapire, the star of the show so far for the Morans. He's got two tries to his name. He's being a force to reckon with for the Western Province, who are yet to put points on the board. They restart the second half with a deep and long kick that's gathered by Ronaldo Mondi. Number nine. Number in nine. Contact. That's your mark. But the player Number nine. arriving at that That's break, they're not able to support his own body weight. That's your mark. Egon van der Reed. Too eager for that turnover. And so now Ben Salem looking for touch, but slices that ball a bit of his right foot. And he will gain just about 10 meters. Hey, open. Nonetheless. No, no, two. Take your players back. Hey, hey, take your players back. Watch the mark. Watch the mark. Watch the mark. The Morans will need to watch the mark. Keep that meter gap between the two teams. Because up Stay. in the air to Ayimba. No. Taking in the footsteps of his father, Benjamin Ayimba. Runs playing to the far edge of the playing field. Play, play. Recycling despite that contest. There's Gabriel Ayimba now, the youngster. Looking for the arrow float, but he loses that ball forward on the floor. Appears to have hurt his shoulder in the process. Gabriel. Okay. Time off. Come. Here's Ayimba on the break. Change of direction. And then yes. again looking for that offload. Yeah. And that's the shoulder oh. that has got hurt. Okay, it's fine. Captain. As the fans Captain. slowly but steadily begin to make their so way the to the playing field. So there was I got a flag, but I played advantage. It was just a penalty. I played advantage, and you lost your advantage. So it's scrum. Yeah, boy, you knocked it. Yeah. Safari Sevens is being played here at the RFE Air Grounds for the first time since 2019. We've had editions. Time on. Your scrum. At Nyayo and at Kasarani, but this Knock. time he returns to the home of Kenyan rugby, the home of East African rugby. Okay, our last scrum before the half was perfect. Let's maintain the standards. Crouch. Ayimba. Bind. Forced off with that injury. Set. But play will resume with a scrum after his knock on on the break. Corner Van Eden now on to the open side for Egon van der Heed. Puts it to the boot. It's gathered by Cornelius Mokoro. Cornelius Mokoro on to the short side. Lucusi Elvis looking to exploit that overlap with the numbers Scrum. Elvis and he throws a forward pass okay I'll manage it now I'll manage it now engagement early I'll manage it now okay Side, leave it okay Mokoro this time with the line out almost around.
on the same territory. Stay there. The Morans look to throw it deep. At four, it goes over the top. They stay in possession and then just put it to the boot. A little grabber kick to the back. Mokoro brings down cross covering defense. No, you took the extra. Of you took the Himle, extra. But Himle made the double movement. So Morans have that penalty. What does Mokoro do? Does he go for touch? Does he tap the ball? Tap and go to the short side. Mokoro, Cornelius, the short man with the fend. And straight through the middle, looking for the support. Does not use no. it. There's a contest from the Western Province. Possession maintained. Numbers are plenty on the outside. Austin Sikutwa. With the try. Morans now lead by 22 points to zero. After that very good break. From Canelias Mokoro. Conversion by Ben Salem to come. Last second. Last second. Water clear off, clear off. Conversion is successful as well. So we shall have the last play of this match. Benzalem's attempt goes straight into touch, not 10 meters as well. So, free kick for the Western Province. Can they put last some play. points on the board? Last play. In this last play of the match, Hona Van Eden goes to the short side, finds Smith Raven on the offload back to Van Eden. Van Eden puts it to the boot. Does it stay in the playing field? No, it doesn't. And it's tied. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be the final play of the game. The Morans simply too good and too colorful as well. For the Western Province. Western Province. Here's a confirmation of the full time score between the Morans and the Western Province. Morans walking away with a comfortable lead and victory of 24 points to zero against the Western Province. Olukusi, what worked for you today that did set you apart as the winners of the match? Yeah, our kickoffs were fine in the first half, and our set this especially on the line was red clean balls, and we also contested our, their balls, so that made us that gave us our upper hand in this game. Yeah. What does the victory mean for you today? Uh, it means a lot because you have been putting more hard work. So it's the time to show it on the ground. Thank you. That was Kusi, captain of Western Morans, of Morans right here in Kenya. Hi. Hello. What worked for you and what didn't work for you today? I think a little bit of communication went wrong and I think some guys is just a bit nervous for the game. I mean, it's our first time in Kenya, a new team and we need to gel first, but I think the first game went good. But after a week, we'll come back. Okay. And that's what the one thing that you're going to do differently for your next matches? Um, we're gonna come with a we're gonna come with a um, communication. We're gonna bring the vibe to the game, and I think we just need to sit back down, come for a second game, and we show the people why we are. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was Robertson Frazil from Western Province. See you next for our next matches. Thank you.
Coming up next is the final game of the men's first round. It's the ever exciting Samurai against the National 7 Circuit Champions KCB. There's the Samurai. And just next to them in that player holding area are the KCB from Raraka, more popularly known as the Bankers. the Samurai are one of the most exciting teams that have taken part in this Safari Sevens tournament since 1996. This tournament is an iconic one in World Rugby, promoted as Africa's Premier Rugby Sevens tournament that has drawn crowds in the past of over 50,000 national representative sides from Africa and beyond have taken part invitational teams universities and schools and some age grade teams as well there's the KCB sevens and now the samurai will be led by Morgan Hayward. Hayward <laughs> took part uh, ready? and led the blitz box in 2013, the Vancouver Sevens. Okay. Time it. So like we said, it's a Samurai Sevens always exciting to watch. <laughs> Backwards play on. Taco. Backwards says referee Umar Balikanda from Uganda. Possession maintained by the Safari by the Samurai Sevens now. On play to the on, board. On. Fortress does it bounce play. into touch straight? Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, side, side. line out here. Referee says it just on the line and off. Okay, so no. It's quick. going to be a line no out for KCB. Yeah, ball is touched. Yeah. Open. Okay, ten. Line out to play the front. On. Lands in the hands of Tom Roach. Roach okay. isolated oh, and the penalty affected at that breakdown. Yeah. Elfasa Dunga, the captain. Kept the turn. That penalty will not be finding touch. It's Mabo Sokoi now on the break. Advantage. Makes the first tackle and the has high. advantage for the high tackle. Samurai. Decision time. Do they tap or do they opt for the scrum? Okay, we go. They opt to tap. Okay. The okay. Da Silva now up, with going, the whole back line okay. taking shape on the open side. It's coming back to the short side though. Nabo Sokoi again. And turned over, but not through the gate. So the samurai will continue to attack this short side. Tom Roach again. Takes a couple to bring him down. Again to the short side. Marvin Da Silva and the offload try time for the samurai. Try time. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Let's go. This is Ego Hayward. Five seconds. And HSBC Sevens World Series 
tournament winner with the blitz box for the first try of the game and the conversion from Nabo Sokoi is good as well. So the Sam right now leading by seven points nil against KCB. Okay. Time is on. Okay. Kick goes to the short side. On the full. But it's out on the full. So KCB okay. can now attack in good territory. Okay, ten. Let's go. Hop and step from Elvis Namusasi. And then now back to the approaching attacking players. 2v1 okay. offload from Gabriel Namusasi okay. as well. No, no. No, Kwani the taco no, says no, referee. No, taco. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Hayward okay. looking to get the 50 50 calls into his yeah, side, now, but crouch. Yeah. Balikanda is not listening Fine. to his Set. appeals. Okay. So Scrum stays in the way. Ball of KCB out. ball popped ball out. out. Open play, okay. turned okay. over. Okay. An advantage for the knock for the samurai. Advantage Through over. the hands, Tom Roach. For Strauss Hutchison. Okay. Fast oh, on yeah. the ball, another the turnover. Ball. No, no, no. Here. Yeah. Yeah. There. Okay. No, no. He's in front By of the, the KCB. Okay. Quick restart there. To the short side. Taco. Keep. Hop and step. Another knock on. No, no, no. This Wait. time with a handout. Okay. Alikanda will be sending Hayward to the bin for keeping his hand out. The first time was a knock on in the tackle, but Hayward not able to get away with this one. We will be spending the next two minutes in the bin. You can see his disappointment in the call, but okay. he left Balikanda with no option there, but to reduce the summary to six men. Bind. Set. Hold it there. Okay, outboard. This time, better scrummage from KCB. And finally, a break no, no. and visit no, no. into the 22. No con no on the floor. No con. After yes. that contest from the no Samurai. Scrum. Fine margins <laughs> from the National Seven Circuit champions. Need to be a little bit more clinical. Get, get in, guys. It was a clean get contest in. at the breakdown, Mark and you can there. see the moment when the ball was lost just forward there. Okay. Crouch. Crouch. Bind. Yeah. yeah. Free kick to the samurai. Yes, get in. Early shove by okay. KCB. Scrum too eager to get underway. It's a free kick. Yeah. Let's so go, ball needs go. to be kept on the let's playing go. field. Sokoi to the open side finds Strauss Hutchison. Now okay. recycled okay, over the edge. Sokoi looking for that kicking option. Okay. is brought down aggressively right. in the middle there. But the KCB had crept up offside. Samurai gaining some three meters in territory. They opt to go for touch. Not the best of kicks. But no. they will yeah. maintain possession there. Line is the mark. Tom Roach, lucky, I should say, that there was no KCB player waiting to play it in that zone. So it's line a line out the at their ten. Off the line, eh? off the line. Yeah, line is the mark. Okay. As the clock slowly ticks towards the halftime break, Huta goes and lost forward. Level. By Samurai, can KCB strike them? Advantage over. Going into half time. Leon. Another offload on the floor. Leon. Gabriel Namusasi, is he over? And a stroke of half time, ladies and gentlemen. Good time. response. KCB. A bit of an entertaining reaction after that try from Gabriel.
conversion to come. This could be a leveling score going into halftime. Unfortunately, it sells wide, and Samurai will stick with the lead against the KCB. Take a look at that again. Soft skills through the hands, offloading on the floor, keeping the ball alive. And KCB kept their first half alive as well with that try. And so confirmation of the halftime score. Samurai leading by two points against KCB. Seven points to five. Yeah. How you feeling? It's okay, the pitch is it's taking me east to west. For the second half, Samurai leading KCB by seven points to five. Time. And KCB will be getting the second half underway with a deep kick into the Samurai 22. Gathered by Strawn Hutchison, who decides to go himself on the break, brought down just at the halfway point. But he's playing the ball on the floor. Quick restart now by KCB, looking to strike. Samurai early on in the second half and take the lead for the first time. Advantage. Recycling, but they have the advantage for offside. Offside, one. Another quick restart behind the mark. The entire Samurai defense is in an offside play position. Play Referee on. says play He's on. Back. He's going back. Okay. Curry Vanables looking for options. Goes to Hayward. Hayward on the Let's floor. Complete. Cross kick now. The first of many that we are yet to see in the seventh tournament. Beautiful sidesteps from Mefano da Silva. Osokoi's kick okay. does not come anywhere close to the mark, so the score will stay as is 12 points to 5. KCB needs a try and conversion to level matters. They attempted to put up a strong fight early in the second half. Okay, when you're ready. Behind the ball. Okay, keep it behind. Eh? Good. Backwards. Backwards says the referee on that kick regather. Now just outside the 22, Away. strong carry from Namusasi. Offside. Number one. Samurai, Samurai giving way too many penalties for offside. Curry says the advantage, strong fend and carry from Goro Ishmael. Number one. Yeah. No advantage gained by the KCB. Looking for those options on the angle and the short line. Advantage, no score. Advantage for the knock. Possession turned over into the hands of the Samurai. They have numbers are plenty. So call you now, yes, cutting back inside backwards. against the grain. Referee says off that was backwards off the foot. And now KCB on, with behind. possession. No, 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 it's behind. Players doing okay. less playing and, and more refereeing. 
Yeah. No, 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 come, come. Yeah. Referee Balikanda yeah. Yeah. ensuring that every person keeps an eye on their roles, hands in the rock. Scrum, scrum call. At scrum that call. breakdown, KCB yeah. opt for the scrum. They want to attack from the set piece. So just go and play it, eh? Okay. A single well, strike move. Just go play it, pick it up. Okay, you just play it, play it, play it. Single strike move can bring KCB back in this game. So the samurai will need to be clean and keen on their defense. Crouch! Bind! Set! To the blind side. Another handling error. Napo Sokoi applying as much pressure to his opposite number in, guys, and come. forcing that handling error at the back of the scrum. Okay. okay. Crouch. Bind. Set. Okay, hold. Ball is out. Ball is out. But he says ball is out, so the samurai are forced to play Arthur Hurd. Tackle. Tackled and forced into touch, but the referee will have some decision making to do. Yeah, after that call for the tackle, KCB guilty of not releasing. Open, okay. But it's going to be a line out after being forced into touch there. Over. Not the best pass to. His backs. Backwards. Ball fumbled in front of the opposition. Pressure mounting <laughs> for the KCB. Okay. And another yeah, penalty given away down. for a player not supporting their body weight. Quickly recycled Advantage through the hand. Ten. Sokoyo finds Advantage the man over. on the outside. And Samurai will be scoring under the uprights. They're looking to. Bite as much time as they can off the clock as well. For, for the kick, 15 seconds. Try this time scored Ten. by Ethan Isaacs under the upright conversion to come. Five. Does well off the conversion as well. So KCB no, no, no. have uh, fallen back even right. further at the hands of no, no. the Samurai, who now lead by 19 okay. points to five. Okay. 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 Does it need to be carried off? So Koyo appeared to have taken Carry. one for the team in that catch, commit, and pass. Oh. We move to the side. Eh? Just move to the side. Eh? Out. Hey, hey, hey! Clean tackle hey, to the mid hey, section. Hey. Use the outer side. Eh? Use the outer side like this. Okay. Nabo Sokoi. He has to have taken okay. his last con competition. Okay. KCB on the restart now. Ball bounces. Back, back. Tricky. Play, play. But stays yeah, in the playing play field. Tackle. Samurai with possession. Henry Cowan. Back to the short side. Looking for that switch. And then the offload sailed forward out of the hands. KCB have the advantage for the knock. Offside on the fringe. And then a full penalty for offside at that breakdown. Offside. Restarting quickly. Chogging, not sprinting. And then now through the hands, the backs will put some pace onto the ball in this last play. Tackle now. Ow, ow, ow. Not the best of passes. And referee is playing advantage the samurai for that handling era. Henry Cowan taken high. The Samurai scrum. put it into touch and take the scrum win, goal. or they choose to play on. They opt for the scrum. Come in, come in, guys. And they're searching for that 
final nail to drive into the KCB coffin. Mark is here. Proud. Bind. Set. Spreading out wide. Backwards. The expanse of the Backwards. pitch and the backs. But play returns to the short side through the hands. The ball hits me, so I have a scrum to them. Okay, the ball hits me, guys. Eh? The scrum. Yeah. Good explanation from the referee bye bye. after making contact with the ball. It's going to be a scrum okay. for the team that was last in possession Draw. of the ball. Bind. Nope. Set. Okay. And there's another penalty given away by the bankers, too eager to cash their checks as end of business arrives. But the samurai hey, hey. get going, let's play. Will be picking their dividends at the end of this game. Okay. Ethan Isaacs, come, come, no, 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 too many high. Tackles, high. Eh? Okay, you go. <laughs> and there's going to be another player going to the bin. Okay. It's already about okay. two Scrum minutes point. past the regulation for 10 minutes. But it's well over. Last play, guys. Eh? If you wish, you could end it. Okay. And as you could hear from Balikanda urging the players okay. to end Round. the misery of their opponent, Samurai, of course, Bind. still looking for that extra set. point on the board to go into the 20s. Attacking off that set piece, not the best. Of receptions, they now have it. On the break, ball being chased by Hayward, puts it to the board oh. again, man, kicked <laughs> into touch by KCB to end their misery. Kicked out of touch. Hayward, unlucky not to get that final score. Of match day one, full-time score, Samurai 17, KCB Nonetheless, 5. Samurai have walked away with this one. Bit of a contest from the National 7 Circuit Champions, but Samurai know these grounds very well. They take a 19 points to 5 victory over the KCB at the end of the men's first round in the 2023 Safari 7s. Maricom Sheila KCB coach, how would you generally gauge your team's performance for both the first half and the second half today in this match? Um, I think we played, we played, we played well, but we just uh, we, were, we were we were victims of our own uh, mistakes. So yeah, the game went away from us. But uh, I think the boys put in some good work. It's just uh, schoolboy schoolboy errors. Okay. What will be your next focus in the preparations for your next matches? Uh, I think now we just have to think about Germany. Um, I think they're playing next, if not wrong, after the ladies. Um, uh, then uh, take them on from there. Okay. All the best in your next matches. That was Marikom Sheila, KCB coach. Thank you. Now on to the second round of games in the women's competition. The second of two Kenya Lioness as teams called the Cubs for this weekend, running onto the field against the Turks from South Africa. There's the Cubs, a host of players who have not made it to the Lionesses squad. They're looking to punish the Lions, the tax no, you who me. considered half a century Wait. against their seniors. But Michaela there in the Jazz at 12. You deceive me. No, hey, hey. Put up a bit of a strong performance. Come. Come. Despite that heavy score against the Lions. But the my Cubs bad, will be bad. led today you kicking. by a host of experienced players Sorry, my bad. In, you their, kicking in their ranks. Now Mijela got Naito Tuoma from the Lionesses. Right after the whistle, we Faith Levoy, who had 
an exciting game in the Elgon Cup just last week. But today it is Sevens, it is Samurai, it is Safari Sevens business. And quick underway. Because Naomi Jela got right. looking for that offload, but it's snipped by Monajina to the show side now. Nolwazi looking for options, goes into contact. Yeah. Go. Go. And penalty goes the, the way of the tax for tackle not releasing. On the line. Nolwazi now. For Mikaela, Mikaela looking yeah. for options. Number eight, come, one hand, one hand, one hand. You the ball has been slapped you forward. One hand, one hand. By Freshia Odwal. Yeah, and with just one minute played, Odwal will be spending the next two in the bin. One hand. I think an easy penalty yeah. to the tax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Decision time. And the Turks have opted to go to the corner for the line-out. Mikaela finds good touch just past the 10-meter territory. Turks have come to play in this one. No, open up, open up. Stay, stay. It goes to the front of the line-out. Mikaela. For Anel Nazuela. Oh, that looked like it went past the margin of flat into forward. Anel Guazela giving away possession to the Cubs. Clutch. Five. Cubs will be attacking with Set. just two backliners. Give it up. Good scrum. And now to the boat. Looking for that territory behind the defense. Chest by Valentin Wafula. Push. Push. Was pushed off the ball without possession. Cubs looking to attack. Numbers are plenty on the outside. It's night or Twoma over. Finding Valentin Wafula who darts and touches down for the first try of this game. Valentin Wafula with the try. As we await the conversion. Dana Omoso's attempt is short. This is their first game of the tournament. Tax playing in their second. The tax appear to not have recovered yet from that 50 points to nil defeat at the hands of the senior lionesses. Away, but that ball has been lost forward by Nulwazi. No pressure, no opposition. Move ya, come ya. The shelter ya. Yeah. it forward. Crouch. Bind. Scrum. And now the Cubs no need of that. back at the full complement. Strong carry from Freshia Odor after serving her two minutes in the bench. She offloads to Valentin Wafula, the try scorer, who has been tackled high. And it's going to be the second try of the game for the Cubs. Played advantage on the shoulders there, okay. Hey, There's Kenya Valentin number Wafula taken high. Kenya number 14 cap. After the tackle of the hustle, I don't want to see you pushing around. I saw that over there on that scrum, no need of that, okay? The centre referee will be taking no mind games, no dirty play from the Cubs. 
off the ball especially. The conversion as well is short. When you're ready, when you're ready. Another restart stay, goes stay, stay. to the hands of the Lionesses. They maintain possession and recycle it through the hands to the wing. Taco no! Advantage. They have advantage, advantage. the Cubs. And the full penalty. You, on you. you really on the quick restart now, but yeah. taken off the mark. The least late there. Yeah, get back. No, get back, get back. Play. Through the hands now, looking for options on the outside with that long pass. Bounces just in front of Naito Twoma. Or Twoma on the break, offloading back inside for Diana Nyaira. Number two, Engo. And then two. another penalty Thank given yeah. away for illegal Thank arrival you. at that breakdown. Number two. Not through the gate. Yeah as the Lions has attempted to maintain possession of that ball. Michaela finds touch. You're using the line. For that line, line that's going up. to be taken on the five. This is Michaela, one of the... Time. Wait, time. Leaders of this tax squad. Hey, open up, open up, open up, open up. Jason Tunzi to throw in the line out now. She goes to the front, clean take, and then to the short side goes Moya Gina. Not but there. Gina has lost that ball forward on the floor. Last play. So we shall last have the last play. play of this first half. Stay there. Crouch. Bye. Set. Offside at that scrum. Penalty ten. goes the way of the, the cut. Dan and Yairo for Naomi Jelagat. Jelagat for Freshia Odwar, who has had Roll. some inspiration Roll. after serving Let her yellow come. card. Let it come. Advantage. The Cubs now have advantage for not rolling. It's a foot race now. Diana Omoso. Round and round and just we, to the after. side of the upright. We're going for after. It's almost a second try of the game. After. Full burst of pace from Omoso. And she stretches the lead even further to 15 points to nil. Does the conversion make it an extra after. two? No, it doesn't. So we shall have confirmation of the halftime score. Kenya Lions says two, known as the Cubs, take a 15 points to nil lead against the Tax Sevens. Yes, I 
tell you. Pardon? You, you can move there. You can move by the side. That side, no, by the side. Even, yeah. Yeah. The center spot has taken a bit of a beating already. Just seven games played. So the kickers will need the referee's consent to look for the best place to take the kick. Odul Fresh has attempt is deep, forcing the Ducks to play from deep inside their own territory. They have the numbers on the outside. Hands to the speedster at the front. Mutunzi Tracy has paced to ban. No, it was fine. You kicked it. She's in front. It becomes offside. Yeah. Attempt to maintain possession is a judge to have been from an offside position. Chilagad Naomi for Naito Twoma. Naito Twoma for Fresh or Dwarf. Fresh or Dwarf finds Valentin Wafula. Advantage I taco. Tackled high. Advantage I taco. The Cubs have the advantage. Come, twelve. This is the second time. Going high. And Michaela. You. Okay. Second Grenoble. time going high. You off. Yeah. Yeah. Has been I caught taco. one too Thanks. many times. Yeah. Not making an effort to go low. Scrum. So Michaela Grenevold will spend the next two minutes in the scene bin. The two teams have traded yellow cards in this match. And the Cubs make them pay now. with this advantage. Clutch. They already have 15 points on the board. Right. It's about to become Set. a bit easier for them, given the Stay options night. in place that they have on the outside. Diana Omoso puts it to the boat, and it's a foot race that she will most likely and definitely be winning. Omoso. Hard trick, first hard trick of the 2023 20, Safari Sevens goes to Diana Omoso of the Cubs. Looks like she has hurt herself grounding that ball. But she signals that she will be continuing in this match or more so. Conversion sales wide, so score will stay as is. What a break from Omoso. Then applying pressure on the ball in the in goal area to get her heart trick for Moso. Dora Fresia has done well with kicking duties. She goes deep again. It bounces just in front of Mamelo Mustafa. No. After her attempted gather. Scrum. It looks like she has hurt herself yeah. as well, Mamelo. No. In that we gather. It's a knock forward possession for the scrum to the Cubs. Stay, stay. They still have an opportunity to attack against the Clutch. player advantage. Five, six. Before Michaela returns the playing field. Omoso to the short side. Tries to fend That's off fine, Nolwazi. An offload does not go to hand and possession Tackle. has been turned over. Tackle. Good defense from Mtunzi Tracy and Habane Nolwazi. Now the backs to attack. Tandi Mokate. Looking for options. Forced backwards in the no. tackle. And the yeah. penalty. Five. Maseko and this were playing the ball from yeah. an offside position. Oh. Quick restart by the Cubs and over. Hey, come. Just a chance. Come. Just a chance. Just a chance. Just a chance. Walk with me. Too many high tackles. And the referee. They went high. Okay. Just a touch. Okay. Chat with the tax. Move. Move up. Move up. Move up. Hey, quick. Move up. Move up. Move up. Now. Now it's clear. Hey, hey. Move up. Hey, move up. 
Now. Most of ways to take the conversion. After the field has been clear, she has a clear view of the uprights, but not a clear shot for the conversion. So score will stay as is 25 points. All five tries not converted by the Cubs against the Ducks. Come, wait for the stop. Come. Still two minutes to play. And Kishep play. will be looking to add her account as well in this match. Odur Freshia is a short kick looking to make use of that territory left behind by the tax. Though the Attacks were able to regather. You keep going, going back, no advantage. Lost that ball for no just at that same point back. where the ball had bounced initially. So they shall have a scrum feed for you are going back, the Cubs there, no as Faith so Levoy. A lock with the Kenya Lionesses in the 15th game. Who's the, who's the nine come? Joins the playing field Coach. for the Cubs. Fight! Set! Hold it! Stay nine. Stay nine. Backwards. Oh, well, found by the bit by Wanjiru Margaret. Backwards. She finds Kishep and. And then now the offload. Odo Freshia. Freshia for Margaret no! Wanjiru. Leave him! Leave him! Recycled. Possession maintained through Diana Nyairo. Nyairo for Valentin Wafula. Wafula on the outside with pace to burn. And she is looking for that easy conversion. That now have 30 points. Didn't score as it stands for the Cubs against the Ducks. Conversion is in an easy territory. Does it go straight through the middle? Yes, it does. So we have a conversion first of the game. Last play. So the score stands at 32 points to zero. Last play. Can the Cubs inflict more misery Wait, on the tax? Or can the tax finally put some points on the board? They've no. played two games so far, considered 50 in the first, is now at 32 for the second. In front. Cubs yeah. too eager. In front. Number three. To get back underway. Number three. And the chasing players were in front of the kicker at the restart. Number three in front there. In front. Nuloazi Yabani. We'll get this free kick restarted. For the tax, she finds Maseko and this one, and this one no! tackled strong by the Cubs. Offloading back again to Tandi Mokati. Yeah, it was off number five. The hand referee and says that ball was lost forward off the hands of one of the Cubs. And unfortunately, for the tax, that will be the last play of this half. And the match in general. The Cubs have defeated the Tux by 32 points to zero in the penultimate match of the first round of the 2023 Safari Sevens tournament. It might look routine to have women playing in the Safari Sevens, but the tournament green stature with a large increase in crowns numbers and with it in 2004 came the first women's team playing in the Safari Sevens. Nearly 20 years 
that the women have participated in the Safari 7s. And to conclude, this first round will be a repeat of the Africa 7 semi-final between Uganda Lady Rugby Crane 7s with their fans traveling all the way from across the border in the west of Kenya. And the Lionesses And there's the Lionesses and Uganda. Both teams won their first matches on the day. Uganda beating the Tropics by 36 points to zero. And the Lionesses putting a half century of 50 points against the Turks. These are on paper the front runners for this Safari Sevens tournament. And to manage this match will be Umar Balikanda. Ready? Are we ready? Uganda will be taking the kickoff from left to right on your screens. Kenya will be playing the first possession of the game. It goes deep to Anne Goretti. Recycling through the hands to Naomi Amuguni. And now over the edge, Bakari past the gain line. Kenya maintaining position and swinging it through the hands smoothly. Recycling back to the short side. They have numbers aplenty, looking for that offload. Finds the hands and lost forward this time. Unfortunately, Naomi Amuguni not able to make that final pass to make use of that overlap. As the Uganda fans bring the party and the noise, the Safari 7s that has been so far quiet, calm wow. and relaxed. Sandra Molilona for Maimuna Nasozi. Peace Lekulu running short and selling the dummy. Finds the offload. Amoli Lona on the loop. She has Agnes Nakuya on the outside. Does not use her strong tackle over the edge by the Lionesses. Lekuru back into the contact area. Offloads to Amoli Lona. Amoli Lona is in touch. And that's very good attack from Scenes for Sandra Amoli Lona. Keeping my fingers crossed, hoping she is okay. Those pictures did not look anywhere near good as Lona struggled to catch her breath. And if it weren't for her teammates, the first players to arrive on the scene it could have been even scarier, scarier situation. Uganda won bronze at the last edition of the Safari 7s in 2021. Well, the Lionesses were the overall champions. So this is a high-build competition at this level, a round-robin tournament being played between the five participating teams, Venices and Uganda, of course, plus the Tux and the Tropic Sevens from way across the borders. The competition being completed by Lionesses 2, who have taken to the field today as the Cubs.
that uh, we did perform the, what do you call it, that course that we did. The mill? The fire passed the rugby. Yeah. But there was someone who came in first, and I think the captain of the Uganda. So she did that. I just saw that get the mouth guard out so she didn't swallow it and be okay. But it was just a clean that one? Yeah. Discussion from the referees on that scene. Assistant referee says it's a clean tackle, but massive appreciation to the first player to arrive on the scene who put Molly Lona in a recovery position. This is the importance of those world rugby education platforms and classes that they hold with the tournaments such as the Safari Sevens players being aware that they are the first to arrive at the scene. They're the first eight before the medics arrive. Perhaps that effort and action by Peace Lekuru could have saved Amoli Lona's life. I'm sure they are going to look at that. Yeah. Are they are fast on the end of that? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So, of course, society, whenever they're Kenya making efforts to stay warm, look at the footage, what happened, staying on their feet, moving the ball through the hands. Zifon Najuma deeply and legitimately concerned about her teammates and friends. Status at the moment. Uganda there for forced into substitution. Rita Nadunga will run on to join the Uganda women's sevens. Sandra Morilona is evacuated. So, well, there is an issue yeah. about the noise. Also, we wait. Yeah. Captain. Okay. Let's hear how and the referee will resume the match. Eh? We've been told to hold the game a bit until they sort that noise. Eh? Yeah, so that's the only thing we're waiting for. Okay. Yeah. So, but play will restart with the line out here. Yeah? Okay, to red. Play will restart with the line out. When you get the signal, we shall play. To the lionesses. Quick recovery to the injured player. The game resumes. The current score standard Uganda. Lady Green will be 17. Okay. Zero. We are good to go, guys. Zero. And the two teams have a green light okay, guys, to get the tournament back underway, back to get the line. match back underway. Okay. Zamoli Lona is evacuated. Okay. Okay. High tackle. Under 15. And offside 15. there from 15. No, 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 no. Uganda. Okay. Under 15, guys. Eh? Line Mark out offside. He's on the 15. Okay. Keep the 15, guys. Don't advance. Looking for touch of that penalty, but Rita Nadunga has fielded that well. Uganda moving it through the hands. Chris Nabagala now. No. Nadunga for Chirabo. Chirabo for Maimuna Nasozi. And Lekuru finds Agnes Nakuya at the edge. Nakuya carrying it into contact. Offloads to Nasozi. Nasozi brought down by Otieno Phoebe. Okay. Phoebe slow to roll away, gives away. A penalty. Decision has been taken to take a scrum. Uganda playing a patient and calm strategy against the lionesses. Crouch! Bind! Set! Says, Keep the five. Beat Uganda by 27 Good. points to zero. The last time these two teams met in the Rugby Africa Sevens, but it looks like Uganda will be the first to strike. 
in the Safari 7s through Rita Nadunga on the break. Off that set piece call and then straight on the angle, cutting against the grain, breaking tackles. And Nadunga was over for the first try of the game. Uganda lead by 5 points to 0. Conversion attempt by Maimuna Nasozi is not good enough, so score will stay as is, five points to nil. Okay, when you're ready. No smiles there from any of the Uganda players. Not sure if they are on a revenge mission against the Kenya Lionesses, or if they are yet to recover from that shock to Amoli Lona, who has been evacuated. But they have returned to play with a very strong message to the Lionesses that the fight is on. Nadunga now, in the cross-covering defense, after that kick, finds Nasozi. Nasozi finds Lekuru. Lekuru with the dummy carries Release. into contact. Let go. Takla does not Let release. Go. Let go. Maureen Moritu there. Giving out another penalty Let and Lekuru scrum says scrum. Uganda will have another scrum against the Lionesses. Here's the traveling fans from Uganda. Mark is here. In the colorful black, yellow and red. Crouch. One of the most vocal in African rugby. Bind. Set. But Nadunga now to feed. Can she replicate what she did for the first try? Not this time. Lekuru through the hands. And now a loop to exploit all those numbers on the outside. But it doesn't go through the hands. Agnes Nakuya maintains possession for Uganda. Offloads to Nadunga. That looked like a handling error. But referee says it came off the legs. And now, okay. finally, finally, no, no, no. Go, go. Go, go, go. Kenya can go, go. get to play. Now, Miyamguni with the turnover and the quick restart. She's isolated in attack. Okay. But Uganda were not the regulation 10, ten meters back, so they give ten, away yeah. a penalty. Miyamguni knows well how to play against Uganda and how to beat them. And that's okay. one of we the go. ways by being the first at the breakdown and attacking straight off that restart. Sheila Shajira. Recycled by Sinaida. Offside. Now Maureen Muritu okay. on the switch. Number one. But Uganda were offside. offside at that ten, ten, phase ten. of play. Lydia Namabiro, not the regulation, 10 meters on the restart quickly. Sinaida. For now, Miyam okay. No, 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 no hands. Okay. She's there. Okay. Dummy sold by Sheila Shajira. Okay. Just short, okay, no but Just she up. makes okay. a double get movement up. with the ball in hand as the try line was beckoning. Uganda on the quick get restart, yeah, Peace no. Lekuru, fans off, a couple of players still going. Maureen Morito struggles Taco to bring Reddit. her down, does successfully. Chris Nabagala for Nasozi, Nasozi for Nadunga, flies over her into the hands of Agnes Nakuya, Nakuya. Tackled by Phoebe Otieno and Kenya have the advantage for the knock. As the clock goes beyond the regulation time, referee takes a look at his watch. Come in, guys. Come, come. This is so far the most exciting match that we have had at this That's tournament. We have one more play of this first half. Can Kenya put points to the board? Or can Uganda Bind. take the five points Set. or more lead into the break? Where they apply up? pressure, Where's Uganda, up? at that scrum, but ball pops up and is found by Sinaida. Sinaida finds okay, Angoretti. Recycled to the short side. Naomi Amuguni now. Fans off Nadunga. Nadunga struggling to bring her down. Yeah. Taco is completed, but Naomi Amuguni is back on her feet. Taco. No hands. Okay, leave it. Slow ball. But where well recycled? Shajira. Shajira for Angoretti. Angoretti for Sinaida. Sinaida for Diana Ochengu. Fans off Agnes Nakuya. And what a try from Diana Ochengu. 
power from Ocheng an intent to run and go over the uprights conversion to come Kenya have leveled matters against Uganda and greatest conversion is the good thus the lionesses now lead by seven points to five I don't know what happened, but the tackle of me was okay. So the shoulder and then stepped into touch. So I don't know what happened exactly. Here's confirmation yeah. of the halftime score. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been them like Uganda five. five. So. And Kenya Lioness says seven. They do that three times, two times. Yes. That man will go. Just a reminder that this is the last match of the first round, so we shall have a 20 minutes break yeah, I hope it was before a the second round resumes. It will be the home team, the Shuja, in their first involvement of the 2023 Safari 7s. Their defense of this title taking on the SA All Stars. Nine matches later, we shall come to the end of the second round between KCB and Western Province in that last match. And so, after that exciting first half, we are back underway for the second half. Kenya leading Uganda by seven points to five. Uganda with first possession through Sarah Chirabo into contact just at her 22. Nasozi finds Captain Peace Lekuru carrying it back into contact. Agnes Nakuya missed the tackle that gave Kenya the lead in the first half. Lekuru, Dami, and then now Lydia Namabiro. Lydia Namabiro looking for Rita Nadunga, who is deep and back in the pocket. Nadunga slides and slips onto the floor. Offloads to Grace Nabagala. Nabagala with the sidesteps, but well tackled by Sinaida. Uganda maintaining possession. This time it's in the hands of Lekuru. Throws the weight over. Dakla. Rock but the side. tackler did not roll as Angoretti went for that turnover. Options? Scrum call. Uganda again calling for that scrum. This is their plan A and they want to make it work by hook or crook. Okay, scrum call. Okay. Rouge! Bye! Hold it there. Still on side nine. Good. Nadunga throws the pass into no man's land. But it's well gathered by Maimuna and Nakuya. Nakuya isolated and yet again another turnover. This time by Captain Sheila Shajira. Maureen Muritu with ball in two hands of floats to Diana Ocheng, the try scorer. But Ocheng that scrum. ball forward so it's a scrum for Uganda 10 meters back from where they started the last set piece then Ocheng very good with ball in hand at the end of the first half to put some points to the board for Kenya as they make the change just before the scrum Terry is on Bye. Set. Hold it there. Madunga for Nasozi. Nasozi for Lekuru. Lekuru selling the dummy again. 
tunadunga na dunga not able to gather ball is lost forward and into the hands Taco. of Ayesa Terry off the bench good contest from Grace Namagala at that breakdown but the advantage is the hands of Kenya they have a scrum just in front of the uprights inside the 22 Uganda trying so hard to be innovative in the red zone and it might come to hurt them with this set piece for Kenya Rouch. Five. Split back line Set. with Angoretti in the middle. They go to the right side and then with the advantage, Snyder Nyaika will be over for the second try of the game. Good set play with the advantage. Snyder ball in two hands, out, out, out. options out wide. And then a simple dummy opened the door wide for her to dive over for the try. Kenya now lead by 12 points to 5. Conversion to come should be an easy one for Anne Goretti. But it bounces off the uprights. And score will stay as is. 7 points. A try and conversion separates the lionesses of Kenya from the rugby cranes of Uganda. Okay, behind the ball. Behind the ball. Okay, Just under two minutes on the clock. Short. Uganda nice. look, waiting for that long kick, but very smart play for Snyder to maintain possession for Kenya. And now they are attacking with the backs. Angoreti tackled by Grace Navagala who has been strong on defense. Maureen Muritu, ball in two hands, and then now one on the break. Brought down by Pisle Kuru. Numbers on the outside. Amuguni. Did not use Phoebe Otieno, although she had the options. And Uganda give away another penalty. Takla not rolling away there. Here, here, here. here. No, 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 no. Here. Terry Ayesa taps and goes three. V2 situation for Kenya through the hands. Diana Ocheng for Phoebe Otieno, but Otieno has lost that ball forward, I'm afraid. Ikanda survived barely. Look at that, Amukuni for Ocheng, but then Otieno not able to cover that ball, and Uganda will have a scrum feed at five meters Bye. to be fed by Rachel Mufua Set. off the bench. Mufua slow nine, and steady. Downside. Uganda step over in but Sinaida is in an offside position. Mufua taps finds Zivon Najuma also a replacement. Ooh. Mukuni taco away. Looks like it was a high taco there. It's Uganda playing quickly off the break. Namabiro offloads to Rachel Mufua. Mufua drops the shoulder, but that hopeful offload does not find anybody. And possession has been turned over yet again. Angoretti for Muritu. Advantage for the knock is over. Muritu stranded, but finds Angoretti. Angoretti has a player on the outside and on the inside. Dancing, looking for options. Doesn't find any. Brought down by Sarah Chirabo. Terry Ayesa now. Isolated, okay. Peace Lekuru is the first at that breakdown. Okay. Hands on the ball ten, and the turnover ten, ten, is good. Ten, ten. Lekuru okay. on the quick restart. Okay. Muritu tackles her from an no. offside position. She will be lucky not to get her with a yellow card there, Muritu. Okay. Options. Balikanda lenient Scrum Scrum to Muritu as Uganda again Scrum. call for that. Tried, tested, but not 100% accurate scrum. Kenya slow to get to the breakdown. They appear to be a little bit fatigued, but can Uganda make that count? Too slow from the lionesses. Mufua on the restart for Namabiro. Namabiro for Mufua again as the full-time hooter goes. Lekuru carries it to contact. Uganda need to be clean with ball in hand, but they are not. Yvonne Najuma loses that ball forward, and that's going to be the end of the game. Kenya on their knees. But they held on with all the fatigue, with all the pressure from Uganda for the win. Uganda crestfallen. This could have and should have been theirs. 
But the Kenya Lionesses, the defending champions of the Safari Sevens, have beaten Uganda by 12.25. of Uganda. Maria, how was the game today? This is your second match of the day. How was it? The first one, we said it very well because it was the first one we had the motivation and hard game. Uh, but the second one, we have lost. Yeah. Lakuru, I realized for the first half, you really pushed through. What happened in the second half of this match? Uh, as you know, it's always not easy on the pitch. It has been hard. Just silly mistakes, no on here and there. But we are coming back strong, cleaning up the mistakes, our mistakes that we have done. What is the areas that you're going to focus on as you prepare for your next matches today? It's going to be about the scrums and our plays. That's what we're going to clean up. That was Lekuru Pius, the captain of Uganda. Coach, right now, captain of uh, Uganda. Right now, we would love to have a word with Sheila Chajira, who is the captain of Kenya Lioness. Hi, Sheila. First of all, you did exceptionally well for your first match. And on the second match, not quite easy for you. What uh, different thing did you put in in your second match today? Uh, the thing that had, uh, has had happened is that we didn't stick to our game plan, so everyone wants to carry, everyone wants to play their own thing. That's why it happened that we, we've won with a little match and we made the game so hard. Yes. Did the lineup really work for you today, the team lineup? Yeah, it has it has worked. The first the first game it worked for us. Uh, we're expecting the same thing. It's just the little things that we, we always do that we didn't do in the game. That's why it ended up like this. What are your advantage points that you would wish to work on in your next matches of the day? I just put in what we've been taught throughout the, uh, our trainings, and the rest will be will work uh, will be okay. Thank you so much, Sheila Chajira, captain of the Kenya Lioness. Right now, right here at the Safari Sevens 2023 edition, where we've had five women teams that have played, and of course, eight men's team. To kick us off was Uganda playing against Tropic Seven, where Uganda did lead and did quite exceptionally well at 38 against Tropic Seven, which was at zero. The Lionesses that also did exceptionally well, 50 against the Tax Steel Zero, Red Whalers and Tropic Seven. That was a match of the day for me. It was quite competitive. Red Whalers at 14 and Tropics at 12. Uganda at 35, uh, uh, SA All Stars at zero, Moran's 24, the Western Province zero, Samurai and KCB. It was also a match that was not quite easy. Samurai did lead with 19 and KCB five, Cubs at 32 and Tax zero, Uganda five and Lioness 12. This is the last match of the uh, of this first round, ladies and gentlemen. We are still in the round robin where each team is going to meet the other, and we are waiting to see how competitive the teams are going to get. Remember, this is the Safari 7's 2023 edition. So we have so much lined up for you. And of course, we're going to the highlights.
Captain, good. First try, a first try of the match, Patrick Odongo getting over the whitewash. Remember, this is the first game of the tournament for Shuja. The conversion is good. It is Shuja leading there. The try from Patrick Odongo. And that is a quick start for Shuja. They are the reigning Africa Seven champions. Let's go, please. Holding. And from the restart, it is Anthony Omondi. Hits it downfield. Knock on. There is the call for the knock on. Scrum, white ball. Did you see, bro? Boys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the if you're joining us, boys. this is the opening day of the 2023 Safari Sevens returning to the RFEA ground for the first time Crouch. since 2019. My name is Michael Kwambo in commentary. Set. Earlier this morning, we did have Ernest Akore Birunji taking you through the opening round of matches. And it is the South Africa All-Stars against Shuja. Shuja looking to force the turnover there. And indeed, the South African All-Stars are guilty of Scrum. the infringement. Scrum. I'll watch you. Crutch, bind, set. There's a scrum feed on the SA All Stars 22, and that is Samuel Asati with the sniping run. Tony Mondi looks to have lost the ball on the tackle. On in yes, front. he did. Boss forward. Remember the Off action side. is coming to you from the RFUA ground, home of the Safari Sevens between 1996 and 2010. As we speak, it is the South Africa All-Stars carrying that ball just past the Kenyan halfway no, line. No, no. We have two here. We're already set. Let's go, boys. 15 seconds. From the line out through, this is Big John Okoth. Brings in Samuel Asati. Loses his footing as he goes to the floor. I was still keeping it alive, and that is the try scorer, Patrick Odongo. You do know that he has pace to burn. A friend of excites the crowd that is here at the RFUA ground. Wave, wave, wave. Omondi looks for the support from Odongo, but elects to carry that ball on his own. Nigel Amaitza, Onyala, Asati, the delayed pass. It is, of course, playing it out wide. And this will be a second try for Shuja. Kevin Wekesa goes over the whitewash, takes the scores to 12-0 with the conversion to come. Mondi cuts a figure of concentration with the conversion attempt. 
It is unsuccessful. The scores remain 12-0. But that's the moment the offload from Asati. Kevin Wekesa had acres of space and the physical dominance there to go over for the second try. And just looking at the Shuja squad, Come on. there are two changes from the Africa Sevens winning squad. Herman Humwa and Brian Mutugi in for Jojo Oro and Beldad Ogeta. So Mondi to his co-captain Vincent Onyala. Confident run, the change of direction. Onyala has beaten his defenders and goes over to score a third try for Shuja. They are certainly cruising here. Remember, Shuja are the defending champions at the Safari Sevens. Vincent Onyala. You can see the intent as he flew towards the try line. Conversion is good from Tony Monti. We're heading into the final minute of the half, and that is the moment Vincent Onyala this deft footwork there to beat his defender and Come score. Shuja leading the South Africa All-Stars by 19 points to zero, heading into the final moments of the opening half. That restart from Tony Omondi doesn't go the requisite 10. It will be a free kick for the South Africa Sevens All-Stars. The kick and chase. Anybody's ball here, but Onyala arrives first. Finds the floor. Samuel Asati brings in Amaitza. The long pass that stretches the South Africa All-Stars. Kevin Wekesa receives that ball, but the referee judges that final Order pass man. to Wekesa to have traveled forward. Scrum. Crouch. Bind. Set. Half time, boys. And that is the last order of business for the half. It is Shuja leading by 19 points to zero. Tries from Patrick Odongo, Kevin Wekesa, and Vincent Onyala. Seeing them lead against the South Africa All Stars. In this opening, in their opening pool A fixture at the Safari Sevens, we'll be back shortly for the second half. Okay. All good. Be happy that forward. Because when they step back, in a line, exactly. Close. Go. Order on the Order. inside. Let's go. Order. Two, three, all stars. Two, three, all stars. Many thank you all. I was supposed to thank you so much. Nasta Kenya, the Lanza Hela, Minister of Sports, Coca Cola, Red Stone, Sansa. And the teams are done with Black their halftime break. It is Shuja to get the second half underway. Tony Mundi with the restart for Shuja. It is high. And from the contest, it is the South Africans who are unopposed. We'll be looking to get something going from this Check. phase of possession that they find themselves in. 
they do have the penalty advantage. That is Ruan Van Ruyen. Just ensuring an opportunity for the South Africa Sevens All-Stars to boot that ball deep into Shuja territory. Samuel Asati with the line-out throw. It is plucked from the air by Vincent Onyala. Once again, this is the gas man, Patrick Odongo. Creates another platform as Shuja in a second phase from this moment that they are in possession. John Okoth with the start and go. But he is marshaled out into touch. Remember Shuja leading by 19 points to zero. Tries from Patrick Odongo, Vincent Onyala and Kevin Okesa. Two conversions from Tony Omondi. Can you step? They really Can haven't you? been threatened by the South Africa Sevens All-Stars thus far. That is big carry forward from Jason Duplessis. Once again, he is marshaled into touch. Tom is off. Right, let's just take your boys back, please. Tom off. Okay, I haven't seen either. So what we're going to do, lots of push and shove. Have a chat to both captains. We play the line out. Correct. White captain, red captain. Cool. Right. We don't have the beauty of TMO, so we have no idea what the hell happened here. We're going to move on, all right? Yeah. That's the last of that, that happens. Any more of that, that happens, boys are going to sit down, all right? We're going to play the line out and we're playing on. Okay. Well, we've just had the Happy match over. referee line out. lay down oh, the law and no, say that should there be My any bad. other transgressions, no, back to the first knock on by there Reds. will be a yellow ball. card to the offender. Tom on, knock on. You're up. Boys, on the five, please. Crouch. Bind. Set. And from the scrum feed, the South Africa All-Stars once again in possession. They are running across, though, but that is some great pace. Play, Eventually, play. marshaled out into touch. The line out quickly taken by the Kenyans. John Okoth in the middle of the park carries that ball to the floor. Asati, Amaita, Kesa, and now Patrick Odongo surely is going to score that injection of pace. Too much for his opponent. He lands his brace, extending the lead for Shuja. <laughs> And that's a moment Patrick Odongo effortlessly beating his defender for the second try. The conversion from Tony Omondi is good. As Shuja leading by 26 points to zero, it is turning out to be a one sided contest. South Africa Sevens All Stars a part of the lineup at the last yeah, Safari Sevens in 2021 at the Nyaya National Stadium in Nairobi. Remember the Safari Sevens returning to its traditional home, the RFUA ground. This whole time's off. After a series wait, wait, wait. of events being played away from here between 2011 and 2013 and 2012, it was played at the Nyaya National Stadium. Between 2013 and 2016, it was played at the Kasarani Stadium, returned to the RFUA in 2018 and 2019, was played in 2021 at Nyayo National Stadium, and it is back. 
at a venue that many are familiar with. Tom on! Remember the South Africa Sevens All-Stars began their campaign with a 35-0 defeat to Uganda. They had to score any points. And a change of direction there and a try for the new man, Brian Mutugi. A smile on his face after that five-pointer. Still have about a minute and a half to play. That was a change of direction from Brian Mutugi. Goes over for the five-pointer. Antonio Mondi misses the conversion as the scores remain 31-0. Coming up after this is the Red Whalers against Uganda. Hold behind, please. But for now, we're into the final moments of the game. That is a great take from Andrew David Kraus. Setting up a platform for the South Africa Sevens All-Stars. They kick it behind the Kenyan defenders, but it is fielded by the try scorer Mutugi. Well, actually, that is Brian Tanga. And Festus Shiasi. Hard running player he is, Festus Shiasi. Guilty of infringing. And from the penalty, the All Stars looking to get things going, but. John Okoff, well actually that is William Wanji, aware that the touchline serves as a defender, tried to get the All-Stars player out. Doesn't matter because Shuja have forced the turnover. The ball is received and that is Onyala with the step and the acceleration again. He is definitely going to go over for his brace. And he does score. Surely this will be the last order of business in this match. Premier 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 Tony Mondi. Full time. Is run out of time. Well, it doesn't matter. The full time score Kenya 36. You, the South Africa All Stars 0. This paves the way for the next match. It is the Red Whalers up against Uganda. Remember the Red Whalers begun with a 14-12 win over the Tropic Sevens. They will be looking to make it two out of two against Uganda, former Africa champions. In the seventh version of the game. They do have a strong squad here in Nairobi and they are coached by Tolbert Onyango. Some of the players are lining up for Uganda. We will name them in a minute as we just catch a glimpse of the fans here, the traveling Ugandan fans ever so faithful and I'm sure to all the fans watching in Uganda in Kampala, Chalondo, at Kings Park Arena, at Legends and all over Uganda. I'm sure that you are enjoying the pictures and the rugby coming out of Nairobi. Now picture there, we just catch a glimpse of 
Wombi fans, including the Kenya Rugby Union chairman, Sasha Mutai. Now picture there the Red Whalers led by Kenya 15's international Paul Mutami. He used to play for Impala and Uganda led by Aaron Oforuoth who played for Impala's great rivals Quinns during the stint that he had in Nairobi playing in the Kenya Cup. Lining up for the Red Whalers we have Anderson Odwar, Joseph Lunde, Gideon Makumi, Charles Owino, Andrew Matoka, Paul Mutami, Connor Dyer, Steven Osumba, Crispin Shitundo, Brian Mutua, Fidel Olo, and Beldad Ogeta. Lining up for Uganda, Shimwa Davis, Ogena Pierce, Osuna Mark, Tukei Aaron, Kizito Roy, Aturinda Alex, Isaac Massa, Timothy Mugisha, Aaron Ofoiroth, Adrian Casito, Nobat Okenyi, and William Nkore. Remember, the Uganda Rugby Cranes are coached by former Kenya international Tolbert Onyango, who also played in this tournament. You didn't come for the show, so many years ago. The Ugandans Nobody in the black the strip with a hint of red. While the Red Whalers in their predominantly red strip and black shorts. Match official came. is Sheme and Lovu. Yeah, you guys have decided. Let's play. I was just making it clear that the teams made their choice in terms of kickoff and the side that they will be starting from. Of all those are details as these two teams get onto the field of play. Connor Dyer, the captain of the Red Whalers. I saw in this play. Gets this one underway. The kickoff is received by Adrian Casita. Spears Ogena. Ugandans looking to build from their half. For Roth with the pass out wide. The injection of pace there from Roy Kizito. The continuity and finishing off the move is Aaron Offerworth. Goes over the whitewash for the opening score. The Ugandan fans are in a frenzy here in Nairobi. Offoy Roth. The opening try there. It was a well-worked move by the rugby cranes. Just the kind of start that you desire. Conversion is good from Ofoy Roth. Ugandans leading 7-0 early on. It was great continuity and support play. Remember, the rugby cranes began their campaign with a 35-0 win against the South Africa Sevens All-Stars. While the Red Whalers began with a 14-12 win over the Tropic Sevens. That ball is plucked from the air by Crispin Let's Shitundo. A back row well, at no, Kenya Cup no, side, no. Menengai Oilers in Nakuru. And that is uh, Corner Dyer. Captain looking for support. Adrian Casito. Forcing the Red Whalers into the error. Let's play. Coach. Boy. Son. Stay the As the sun comes out to kiss the grass here at the RFUA ground. That is Casito. Again, that combination with Ofoiroth proving to be lethal. 
No, but Oken making a nuisance of himself as he goes into contact, putting Red Whalers on the back foot. Roy Kizito. Tako! Release! Leave it, leave it, leave it. As Uganda maintaining possession, Pierce Ogena Let's move on. has played the 15s version of the game as well for the rugby cranes. Has been used as a back row and as a center as well. You know, picture there, we just caught a glimpse of Charles Omundi. Oma Kenya Sevens International turning out for the Red Whalers. Steve Osumba with the kick downfield, easing the pressure as the Ugandan fans continue in song and dance on the stands here at the RFUA ground. Connor Dyer with the line out throw, it's taken short and then played to Osumba. This is Andrew Matoka. That is a hard running. Beldad Ogeta with the response for the Red Whalers. Beldad Ogeta was part of the Shuja squad that won the Africa Sevens in September this year, qualifying for the 2024 Olympics. He is a strong runner and obviously does have the pace. Andrew Matoka's conversion attempt is wide. Are you okay? It remains a two-point margin between Uganda and the Red Whalers. It is Uganda leading the Red Whalers by seven points to five. Remember, this is Pool A action at the Safari Sevens happening at the RFUA ground. Returning to the RFUA ground for the first time Are since okay? 2019. Lovu just looking to see whether Pierce Ogena is okay. Has been walking quite gingerly. Talk to me. Yeah, I saw the guy lying down, so I, I just wanted to make sure if it was okay. Before that, there was a no from black. From black? Yes. From Uganda? Yes, from Okay, thank you. Come on. Thomas Begon? Yes. Well, play resumes after play. that Crunch. break. There's a scrum feed steady, for steady, steady, steady. Uganda. Steady, steady, well, actually, for the Red Whalers, and that is the captain, Connor Dyer. Paul is messy there, and Uganda forcing the turnover. This is Nobato Ken. Ball in hand. He has support in the form of Roy Kizito. Change of direction. Support is arriving. Rather delayed, but for Roth cleans it up. This is Oken again. again. Try line is in sight. Step back, step back. The try is scored. Roy Kizito with the five pointer to extend the lead for the rugby cranes. Once again, once again the Ugandan fans dancing. But that was the hard work done. Ikizito going over the whitewash for Uganda's second try of the match. Conversion is wide. It remains 12-5. Still have 35 seconds to go in the half. From the restart, Red Whalers are caught napping, and that is Ogena, bustling run, good support play Please coming through out. from Isaac Massa. Casito at halfback, Ofoiroth 
Advantage over. Knows this RFA ground only too well. Obato Kenyi presents the ball and Aaron of Worth goes over for his brace. Uganda are coasting, heading into halftime. That was good support play. Aaron Offoy Ross with the five pointer. Conversion is wide and that is the last order of business for the half. Halftime score, Uganda 17, Red Whalers 5. I just catch a glimpse of the happy Ugandan fans here at the RFA ground. And we're done with the halftime break. It is Uganda getting the second half underway. Aaron Oforioth has already scored two tries in the opening half. Uganda leading by 17 points to five. The Red Whalers, the try coming from Beldad Ogeta. A try that was not converted. It went to him. From him, it went to him. Paul Mutsami. Crouch. Boy. Set. Steady, steady, hold. This is Adrian Casito with the scrum set, feed set, set. for the rugby cranes. He's being hustled there by former Kenya under 20 international Anderson Odor for Rios. Looking for support, he has it. And that is going to be a popular try here at the RFA ground for the Ugandans. We will confirm the try score in a minute. That was a wicked step and a second try for Roy Kizito. 22-5, Uganda looking to send a statement of intent. Oh, the kick at goal is unsuccessful. Uganda leading by 17 points, but let's just see Definitely that again. The offload from Ofori Roth and then that step, the change of direction that just leaves his okay. defender flat-footed. Roy Kizito lands his brace. Anderson Odor floats the ball, but it's fine, it's fine. He Paul Mutsami is there to clean it up for the Red Whalers. Andrew Matoka 
was in action over the past three weeks with the Kenya Simbas during the Victoria Cup as well as the Elgon Cup in Uganda and Kisumu. Plays for the Strathmore Leos has been capped by the Kenya Simbas, the Kenya under 20s. This is Paul Mutsami. Move away! Yes! No, 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 former no, no, back row who has settled into the inside center position at Kenya Harlequin started his club rugby at Impala. That is Ayiro and now Matoka does have rangy strides there. Matoka carries back, back, back. that ball past the Ugandan 10. The infringement the and the advantage is for the Red Whalers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gideon Makumi okay, with the, the kick into the Ugandan 22. Come guys, let's play. Yeah, it's fine. Play. Anderson Odwar brings in Makumi. Matoka with the kick behind the Ugandans. The chase is on, but it is cleaned up for the rugby cranes. Wow, that is great stability to just beat your defender. That was Aaron Tukey, but is penalized. The advantage now with the Red Whalers. Fidel Olo. Former Kenya Simbas International plays his club rugby for nondescript. Well, as we speak, this is Nobato Ken. It is a foot race there. He is being tracked down by Joseph Dunde. But it doesn't matter. Nobato Ken is going to score this try for the rugby cranes. Uganda's fifth try of the match. Our neighbors. That acceleration, and then the weighted run. See him there using his peripheral vision to just measure up Joseph Ndunde Airo. Go over for the try. Foy Roth once again misses the conversion. The scores remain 27-5. From the restart, it is kept alive by Alex Aturinda. Step back, step back. Carrying the ball into the Red Whalers 22. Casito. Nkore. Okay. Was that a try or did he get a foot out to touch? There will be a conversation there. Let's wait on it. Let's push off. Push off. I want to talk to them. I want to talk to my team. Thank you. Do you have any touch? You don't have touch. First grounding. Can I put the grounding? Okay. Okay, so it doesn't have touch. So I put the try. Well, the try is good. It is awarded to William Nkore. Uganda certainly having a blast in this game against the Red Whalers. Was close for the opening moments of the half. Well, the conversion is good. Well, it was Aaron Tukey with the try and Corey with the conversion. Uganda with the 34 5 lead never, never. against the Red Whalers. Fidel Olo. 
was Please part of on. the Mondays side that won the TSUP 7s at the recently concluded National 7 circuit, the Kenyan National 7s competition. Belda Dogeta, the sole try scorer for Red Whalers, and that is deft footwork yes. from Brian Mutua, plays in Kenya for Homeboys RFC. We're going back for the advantage here. Going back for the advantage. Ball was most fought from Itako. Okay, last scrum for the J. Last scrum for the J. We're into the final play. Uganda oh. definitely running away oh. with this result. Boy! It's Anderson Odwar with the scrum Stay. feed for the Red Whalers. Let's save it again. Wait. Let's play. Coach! Boy! Set! Steady, steady, steady. Odwar. Osmakumi. Let's! Ogeta. Yes, the Whalers looking to at least get into the double digits. They have been starved of possession Let's and move territory on. throughout wait, the wait, second wait. half. Uganda really just stepping on the gas after it was 7-5 when Beldad Ogeta touched down. And that is Ogeta once again. Penalty advantage is never, never, still never. with the Red Whalers. Makumi with the quickly taken penalty. Looking to get the consolation. Brian Mutua good continuity there. Paul Mutsami is going to go over for the second try. Gideon Makumi going through the motions of the conversion. You can kick. Conversion is wide and the full-time score is Uganda. 34, Red Whalers. 10. Coming up next, it is Germany against KCB. Germany losing finalists at the 2021 Safari Sevens. Confirmation of the full time score in this match. It is. The Red Whalers losing to Uganda by 34 points to 10. Coming up next, KCB, the Kenyan National 7th Circuit Champions, up against Germany, losing finalists at the last edition of the Safari 7s, played at the Nyayo Stadium in October 2021. Now picture there the center referee Joseph Momo, the man who will be in charge of this fixture. Good to go. It is a kickoff for Germany. One back. Well, tap behind it. This is Gabriel Namusasi. As KCB driving forward early on. 
Tackler fast. Oh, look to have traveled Leon, forward. Leon, well, Leon. the referee. Same, same pass. No, no. Call to play on that. Mike Kimwele comes from a rugby playing family. His father, Andrew, former Kenya international. Mike Kimwele has also been capped by the Kenya under 20s and the Kenya Simbas. This is Billy Omondi, former Kenya under 20 and former Kenya Simbas international as well trying to make a comeback after a lengthy spell on the sidelines through injury. Tackle fast one. Leon. Ball is lost one. and it is a Germany in possession. Tackle. Too late, too late. Fair contest early on. Germans keeping the ball alive. Remember the Germans coached by former Spain Leon. international Pablo Feijou. It was part of the Spanish team that visited the Safari Sevens in past years. And they beat the tackles there to get the opening try of the match. Granasa. Strong start for Germany in this fixture. They will be looking to go all the way. Playing out of Pumbi, the conversion is good. Brings the scores to 7-0. Remember the action is coming to you from the RFB UEA ground. This is the opening day. The 2023 Safari 7s. As you just see Germany there. Beating their Kenyan defenders to go over for the game's opening try. Has since been converted. As you're saying, the Safari 7s returning to the RF UEA ground for the first time since 2019. The Safari 7s also making a return after not being held last year. Germans looking to bully KCB with their physical presence. They do have the ball playing ability Leon, as well. Leon, the first man on the ground. The kick downfield and the chase. Nobody back home for the Germans. It is a foot race. The bounce of the rugby ball is always unpredictable. On his feet. Is a penalty to KCB. Here, here, here. Elfas Adunga, the KCB captain. His twin brother, Isa Otieno, is on the bench. KCB getting points on the board through <laughs> Billy Omondi. Cutting the deficit with the conversion to come. We're going to The kick up goal is wide. It remains a two point deficit between Germany and KCB. It is Germany leading KCB by seven points to five. It's KCB with the restart straight into the hands of the German players. Tackle! Away, away, green! That is a great running line. Lay on, lay on! But KCB forcing the turnover. That was Opondo bringing in the try scorer, Billy Omondi, cantering down that left flank. He's being marshaled to take the ball to the center post, but at this point, the more immediate need was to touch down, which he does. KCB taking the lead against Germany here. Germany scores KCB 10, Germany 7. Conversion is pending. The 
kick at goal. Once again, is short. It remains a three-point gap. It is now KCB leading. That was some good continuity. Billy Omondi going over, the former Impala man. Going over for KCB's second try. Well, Germany driving forward now. The ball carried past their 10. They do have the penalty advantage. Tia, Tia here is the mark. Ball is kicked out to touch. KCB, Germany. Looking promising for Germany. Bringing life to the Safari Sevens here in Nairobi. <laughs> it has been a great couple of weeks as well in terms of rugby action in Uganda. But we are here in Nairobi. The action is at the Safari Sevens. It is KCB against Germany in this Pool B fixture. Penalty advantage with the hi, hi, bankers. 20. Remember, KCB sponsored by the Kenya Commercial Bank. Actually, we changed its name to KCB Bank Group. Mike Kimwele. One of the brighter sparks for KCB. Also coming off a series of injuries and commitments. Line break there as the ball is kept alive. The Germans have forced the turnover too right late, on the KCB late, 22. We're halfway through the second half. This will have to be decisive in terms of the way they approach this Cut play. On. The bankers have forced the turnover from the quickly taken penalty. will be looking to exit their half. Tackle. They use the physical advantage, both from the referee and in terms of possession, attacking down that left flank. Tackle coming through from Namusasi. Nice. Result, the restart is high and hanging. Just feel that this will be the last play. Trevor Pondo driven back by the Germans looking to force KCB into the error and therefore bring this game to a halt. <laughs> Penalty is there. The ball will be kicked out into touch inevitably. No. The Germans going for more. It was a bit presumptuous from me in the commentary booth. It is all Germany right now. Talk about ending on a high after being on the ropes for all of 13 minutes. Winning it in the final two minutes is Germany. The try under the sticks brings the scores to 31-17. Conversion is good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full-time score. It is Germany defeating KCB by 33 points to 17. It has been an entertaining clash. Let's go through the highlights there. The Germans with the win. Remember, the top two teams from each pool will qualify for the cup semi-finals on Sunday. Confirmation of the full-time score, Germany 33, KCB 17. has been a hard-fought result. It has been an entertaining game as well. Coming up next, it is the Morans against Samurai. Should be an entertaining clash, this one. 
both teams are in the tunnel. Morans, the predominantly white strip, while the Morans in their green strip. Starting for Samurai, Arthur Hogg, Charlie Ko, Henry Kewan, Charlie Venables, Struan Hutchinson, Nabo Sokoi, Florian Makala, Ethan Isaacs, Tom Roach, Mervano Da Silva, Noe Hayward, and Dan Hosek. While turning up for the Morans, the second Kenyan national team in this competition, we have Gabriel Ayimba from the Strathmoleos, Elvis Olukusi, the co-captain, Barnabas O'War, Richard Omedo, Steven Sikuta, Ronaldo Omondi, Ben Salem Adoyo, Lameka Mbetsa, Austin Sikutua, Cornelius Mokoro, Floyd Wagwire, and the captain, Crescent Ojuang. Alumnus of the Grey College in South Africa. Captain. An exciting Captain. player during Let's his school days. Okay. Obviously is still oh, okay. one of those players rising okay. through the ranks. Right. The Samurai squad also has no Hay Hayward who has been capped by the blitz box. But as we speak, it is the Morans driving forward. Banabas Award at Scrum Half. Ronnie Omondi. Crescent Ojoang with the line break. Play the tackle okay. coming through, but Moran's keeping it alive. Floyd Wabwire guilty up, of the handling error. Set, set. Matoka Paraisi. Matoka. Salok Nakam Nabano. Floyd. Let's go. Grouch. Banks. Set. All dead. Stay still. That is Sokoi with the scrum feed for Samurai. Samurai looking to get out of their 22. Tackle now. No hands. Currently under pressure from the Morans. Morans winners of this tournament in 2019 when they defeated the Blitz box by 19 points to 14 in a thrilling final. October 19, 2019. And that line break for Samurai. Opportunistic and eventually leading up to a try. Charlie Cole making something out of nothing. Turning defense into attack. The opening try of the match for Samurai. Samurai 5, Kenya Morans. That initial burst of speed and the angled run. Enough to beat his defenders. In our picture there, we just got a glimpse of Kenya 7's great Collins Injera on the coaching staff for Samurai, which is coached by Welshman. Nick Wakeley, and this is Sokoi. His kick at goal is unsuccessful. It remains 5 0 to Samurai. The restart, that Bucket. ball is claimed in the air by Elvis Olukusi. He looked to have lost it. It was lucky that it went back. Then that pass from Elvis Olukusi. Number one. Actually from Ronnie Omondi. Wasn't initially fielded, but the Top. 
Morans are lucky there that Charlie Cole is sent to the bin for the next two minutes for that intentional knock on. I'm doing this, you're not. Okay. Let's go now. Bind by the hooker. Crouch. Bind. Set. Quickly taken penalty there. Rams looking to get Samurai napping, and this is Ronnie Mundi. Wabwire. Well, actually, that was Gabriel Ayimba. And then the line break. Play on local. Tackle was desperate there. Elvis Olukusi. Former Sorry. Western Bulls and Nakuruman. Keeping the ball alive for the Morans. They do have the overlap. And the try that is going to be scored by man in shirt number 12, Crescent Otieno Ojong. Time is off. Time is off. Yeah. Yeah, playing advantage. Yeah. So we're okay with the try. Okay. The try has been confirmed as being good. The conversion is good as well. That was Ben Salem with the kick at goal. Give the Morans a 7 5 lead over Samurai in Bandit this Jokon. Pool B encounter at the Safari 7. And that is Sokoi. Advantage is over for Nokon. Remember, Samurai are back to their full complement of seven players. Bandit. Charlie Ko on the field of play. It was Dan Hosek, the Czech Sevens International. <laughs> Once again, they are penalized. Scrum, yeah? yeah? Scrum. As the Morans call for the scrum down from that ensuing penalty. The Huta has sounded for half time, but scrum obviously down. you can't end play with Come a set on, piece. Let's go. Yeah, I saw that's the, that's the reason. Crouch! Binds! You can't move away. I penalized you, yeah, for, for moving away. You can't move away, okay? Yeah. Crouch. Binds. Set. Samurai penalized. Morans reacting quickly with the penalty. That is Uabwire. Olukusi carries that ball into the Samurai 22. A show and go there from Ben Salem. He scores the try under the post. Morans doubling their lead in this one. Leading by 12 points to 5. With the kick at goal still to come. You can't be here. Please don't play those games with me. Samurai. Ronnie Mundi is sure with that kick at goal. Morans taking a 14-5 lead into the break against Samurai. Just get a glimpse of that replay. Ben Salem going over for the Morans second try. Just see the teams in their halftime huddle. We'll catch you for the second half. It is the Morans leading Samurai by 14 points to 5. 
just catch a glimpse of the RFUA ground, the home of the Safari 7s. We're back for the second half of this pool B encounter between Samurai and the Morans. It is the Morans leading play Samurai on. by 14 points to 5. Back play on. Remember it was Samurai who went ahead through that try from Charlie Ko, but tries from Crescent Ojoang and Ben Salem seeing Moran's leading 14-5 heading into halftime. We're into the opening minutes of the second half. It is Samurai in possession. They drive Stay forward. Pass out wide to stretch the Moran's defense. The reverse pass from Hayward and the try from Ethan Isaacs. Stuff made for television being aired here at the RFUA ground brings the scores to 14 10. Let's just see that again. The no look pass, Ethan Isaac with the acceleration of pace going over the whitewash brings the scores to 14 10. Conversion still to come. 10 to go, yeah. yeah. Can count it on your own. Kick up goal is successful. It is now just two points separating the two sides. Moran's leading by 14 points to 12. But let's just see that again. The pass from Hayward to Isaacs. Then that injection of pace to leave Elvis Olukusi for dead and score. The ensuing conversion is good. Well, the Morans will surely be looking for a response. Remember the just ended game between Germany and KCB was end to end stuff. It was actually tight between the two teams. <laughs> 12 before the Germans scored three quick tries to win it 33-17. You know, picture there, Steven Sakari Skuta, his elder brother Dan Skuta, has won the Safari 7s with Shuja. Take it. Take scrum or, scrum or line out. Okay, scrum. You have 15 Skuta seconds on now. as a second half replacement in the forwards for the Morans. Coming on. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Let's go. Crouch. Binds. Set. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Drop. Penalty advantage, and that was cheeky from Ronnie Omondi. Hey, 
to, to be high on Banabas War. Salem looking to pull the strings for the Morans. That is the co-captain Ojuang, strong feet. As he keeps it alive, Ronnie Omondi with the delayed pass. Options wide. But his final delivery had too much power in it. White. Flies Options. out into touch. Barnabas Award. Scrum here for forward pass. Acknowledging Scrum. the effort from Ronnie Omondi. It's fine. Let's, let's use it. Scoot Let's go. On over. On over. Crouch. Take a step back. Bind. Set. Hold it. Is Samurai driving forward from that scrum down? Have space down that flank. It is Charlie Ko who scored their opening try, creating another platform. And Ethan Isaacs finding himself in a spot of bother there. It was always going to be a physical mismatch against the Twin Towers there of Richard Omedo and Steve Sikuta. And the Morans have forced the turnover Come to and they get the penalty. Samurai guilty of not coming through the gate. When they are driven back Can't another 10 meters. Here. Can't have that here. Duncan Kiyoko just laying down the law. Scrum. Saying that he's the only one who lays down the law. And his word is not to be contested. Side entry. Gotta go around. <laughs> Okay. One minute, 17 seconds remaining in the second half. It is two points separating the Morans from Samurai. Let's go. Pool B action of the Safari Sevens. Bounce. Set. This tournament first played in 1996 at this very ground. Initial winners. 1996 for public school Not wanderers, shot. but we will Not get shot. to the history of the event later on. It was a contest, it came out. Scrum. You want to move here? We'll just catch a oh, glimpse of here. the Moran's technical bench. Let's go. Coaches there, Kevin Wambua and Louis Kisia. Binds! <laughs> Sets! Hold! Time is off, blood. There is a break in play for blood injury. A picture there. Samurai Barracuda's team owner Terry Sands has been a great supporter of the Safari Sevens. Has not failed to feel the team at the Safari Sevens since its inception in 1996. Indeed, his side has won the Safari Sevens in 2015. 2018. Back on. In that 2018 Samurai team had future World Cup winner Kurt Lee Arensa, who Put recently the won the Rugby World Cup with the Springboks. It shows you that the Safari Sevens has been a breeding ground for great talent, both local and international. Onside, onside. We do hope that we will see the next crop of greatness coming through from this tournament. Remains 14 12 samurai on the attack. Moran's More desperate now. in their defense. Looking to drive the samurai ball carrier out to touch, knowing that the touch line is a defender. Outside. And they are successful in that quest. That is the full time score. Is the Moran's scraping through to that victory, hard fought victory. 14-12 against Samurai.
coming up next is action in the women's competition but for now just a confirmation of the full-time score it is the Morans claiming the two-point win over Samurai in this Pool B competition at the Safari Sevens. Next match will be coming up shortly. It will be an all Kenyan clash in the women's competition between the Lionesses and Cubs. But once again, I'll just catch a glimpse of the RFUA ground. It is the Morans claiming the 14 12 victory over Samurai. Well, we are back with the action here at the Safari Sevens. It is action in the women's competition. It is an all Kenyan clash between the Lionesses and the Cubs. The Lionesses in the green and white, while the Cubs in the all white strip. Center referee for this one is Joseph Mumo. Lining up for the Lionesses, Terry Ayesa, Maureen Muritu, the captain, Sheila Chajira, Maureen Chebet, Clarice Mutambi, Phoebe Otieno, Nariaka, Edith, Naomi Amguni, Snyder, Nyachio, Ano Cheng, Nicole Muteshi, and Diana Cheng. Lining up for the Cubs, Naomi Jelagat, Naito Tuoma, Diana Nyairo, Celestine Dodo, Faith Livoy, Valentine Wafula, Winnie Owino, Freshia Odwar, Diana Omoso, Margaret Wanjiru, Zuhura Asman, and Anne Kishep. And that is a break early on. The acceleration from the Lionesses. Maureen Muritu with her head down. Try line in sight. Five pointer assured. The Lionesses taking the lead in this one. You go now. Maureen Muritu, she was a part of the Lionesses squad that reached the final of the Rugby Africa Sevens. The kick at goal from Anne Ocheng is unsuccessful. Let's just see that again. Muritu in full flight there, going over for the whitewash and for the try. Lioness is taking the 5 0 lead against the Cubs. These are the two Kenyan sides in the women's competition, which is being played on a round robin basis. Remember, we also have Uganda, Knock on Tooks to ladies, options, and Knock Tropic Sevens well, ladies. Scram down on the five. Here, here. 
Here, ladies. Here. Remember, the action is coming no to you from the RFUEA ground in Nairobi. This is the 2023 Mommy. Safari Sevens. Mommy. We do hope that you are enjoying the Drunch. action wherever Bind. you are watching this Set. from. Steady, steady. That is Snyder Nacho. Too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. And I understand, I understand. The penalty advantage is with the Cubs, equally strong side. Taco, the taco Lionesses, which is the Kenya women's national 17, are preparing for the. Dubai Sevens, where they will take part in the invitational category. They reached the semi finals last time out. It has always been a good platform for their preparations. And this is Naomi Amguni, one of the more experienced members of the squad, was part of the side that won the Elgon Cup, and there, Sheila Chajira, the captain. Plays it through to Diana Ocheng. That is try number two for the Lionesses. Lionesses. Diana Ocheng. That was the hard work from Sheila Chajira. She is the most experienced member of this squad. Kick at goal from An Ocheng. This time is successful. An Goretti Ocheng, for those who may be wondering. An Ocheng was part of the Lionesses squad, as were many of the players on this field. Part of the Lionesses squad who played at the WXV3 competition where the Lionesses finished fourth overall. Securing their status in that competition for another season. Let's see the ball walk from the Cubs looking to take the game to the more experienced opponents. And that is a Valentine Wafula. Fresh air dwarf. Advantage coming from handling the error position. there. It was a hard fought match, this one. Two teams that know each other only too well. I mean, they train together. A picture there, Dennis Mwanja and Kamilin Oyuayo. Team manager and coach, respectively, on the Lionesses side. And that is a break from Diana Nyairo. But her offload is into the waiting arms of Phoebe Akini Otieno. Anu Cheng Advantage. was caught in possession and the Lionesses have turned it over. That is a Valentine Wafula. No advantage. Plays her club rugby for Sorry, Impala. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Doesn't look to be too comfortable yes. as she receives attention from the medical staff. There was a collision there. Just calm down. Yeah, no, but um, we are waiting for, for her. Remember the scores in this one 12 0 to the Lionesses. It's here, it's here. Come to my kappa. To my words, eh? What's up? It's here. It's here. Clutch! Base crumb feed for the Steady. Steady. Cubs. Steady. Still have 125 to go in the half. Ball received at pace by Diana Omoso. Now this is a fresh out war. 
playing advantage for the knock-on. From the knock-on, it is the Lionesses who kick away possession even after Joseph Mumu was playing away the advantage. Attacking down that left channel is Freshia Udwar. First one, play on. This match remains a fair contest. The Lioness is up by two tries. So Cheng once again loses Advantage the ball on the, the tackle. Knock -on. The Cubs sniffing the Lionesses 22. No advantage is gained. The knock on. See ya, it's here. We go, girls. Crouch! Ball. Bind! Ball. Set! Ball. Steady, steady. Ball. That is a muscle entering the Lionesses 22. It's a forward pass. But the Cubs losing the advantage there. The ball traveled forward on that delivery. And that is the last order of business for the half. It's the Lionesses leading the Cubs by 12 points to zero in this Safari 7s match at the RFUA ground. We're heading into halftime. We will be back shortly for the second half. And we're back for the second half in this fixture. It is the Lionesses getting us underway. Advantage it went forward. Ball Advantage is picked over. up by Naito Tuoma. Too late. She plays in the front row in the 15s version of the game. But talking to her the other day, she intimates that she started out as a back. That was Wafula with the offload there for the Cubs. Just an knock on, yeah. A lot of sibling rivalry between the two sides. You good? See us. Given from the, the here, here. action that we are seeing on the field of play. Clutch! Bind! Set! Steady, steady! Nachio from the base of the scrum. Diana Chiang with her head down, try line in sight, racing clear. She is going to land her brace, this time under the sticks. Perfect. 
Goreti Ocheng is sure with the conversion. Bring the score to 19-0. That was Diana Ocheng finishing off that run. Coming up after this will be Tux versus... Tropic Sevens women. Before we go into a match that everybody will be looking forward to in the men's competition, Uganda versus Shuja. We've already seen the Lionesses defeat Uganda in the women's competition. That match is still a few minutes out. That is Amguni bringing in Phoebe Otieno. She goes over for her opening try. Extending the lead for the Lionesses. Kick at goal is sure from Snyder Nachio. And from the restart, the Lionesses be looking to get the Cubs napping. They're obviously showing their Back. dominance. The ball is lost on the tackle, but the referee is playing the advantage for the high tackle on the Lionesses right. player. It will be a penalty for the Cubs. They need to get out of their half. They need to string together a few passes. They need to keep their composure as well. That is Faith Livoy. Tackle. She plays as a Do lock it. in the longer version of the game and was indeed in the starting lineup for each of the Lionesses fixtures at the WXV3 competition in Dubai about three weeks ago. That is Odwar. Change of direction. Beats her defender. Scores under the posts. That's a well-worked try for the Cubs. Getting their first points of this match. Of well worked from Freshia Udwar. We go now. That is Diana Omoso with the kick at goal. Successful it is. Is now 26 7. Two minutes 14 still remain. As you just see, Freshia Odwar getting points on the board there. And that is Freshia Odwar with the restart. Is anybody's ball the bounce of the rugby ball initially in his was way. against way. Nicole Muteshi on as a replacement? Takla clear in his first. Teria Yesa carries it forward. Another searching run there Advantage. from the Lionesses. Joseph Mumu playing the advantage for the high tackle. A penalty from the middle of the park. Tackle clear in this. The Lionesses looking to kill off this game. They already hold a 19 point lead, and that is Muteshi. She carries it a few more meters Leon. forward. It's contestable, but hapa, she hapa. is initially led to play before she is penalized for playing it on the floor. Play. That is Livoy. Off his to work that ball. 
It is picked up by Phoebe Otieno. She is going to go over for her brace, this time under the posts. The Mariners is breaking into the 30s. It's a comprehensive result against their second string side. Chio is sure with the conversion. Brings the score to 33-7. It's a big win for the Lionesses. Remember, they are the defending champions in the women's competition. And they are playing with a lot of intent. The hooter has sounded. This is the final play. Ball is plucked there by Naomi Jelagat. Faith Livoy. This is good continuity from the Cubs. They may be on the cosh, but certainly not losing their structure. Margaret Wanjiru bringing in Freshia Odor. She has been the brightest spark for the Cubs. It's a bit of a contest there between Anki Shep and Maureen Muritu. It's a knock on on the ground. That is the last play. That is the last order of business in this half. And in this match, it is the Lionesses claiming the 33-7 win over the Cubs. Has been a fair contest. The result obviously going the way of the Lionesses. The Cubs looking not to be embarrassed. Giving as good as they have gotten, but ending up on the wrong side of the scoreline. Confirmation of the full time score it is the Lionesses 33, Cubs 7. Coming up next will be Tux Ladies against Tropics Sevens. And lining up for the Tropic Sevens women's team, we have Liana Rishom, Mariette Liuken, Julia Veroin, Jordan Hill, Zoe Healy, Kirsty Reed, Ree Parker, Janet Oyare, Mary Wamboy, Caris Marsh, Amy Bothwell, Grace Dean, Esme Lipkovait, and Lovina Mijere. Lining up for the Tux women, Labangane Nolwazi, Mustafa Mamelo, Kobet Timonik, Maseko Andiswa, Mokatse Tandi, Mtuzi Tracy, Moya Gina, Grenoald Michaela, Renz Heselina, Guazela Anel, and Hussein Dandre. This match will be kicking off any minute now. Tooks in the white and blue, the tropics in the orange and white. The action is coming to you from the RFUA ground in Nairobi. It is the opening day of the 2023 Safari 7s live here for you to watch and if you're watching this match in kenya and around the world we do hope that you are enjoying the action center referee for this one once again will be duncan kiyoko Saw him moments ago officiate that match between the Morans and Samurai that ended 14-12 to the Morans. And it is Tropics with the kickoff. It is claimed by Tux and by Mustafa Mamelo. Mamelo is on the floor as the ball is delivered by Mtuzi Tracy. Timonik Corbett keeping it alive for the Tux. 
the scrum are orange. caught out on the knock-on. It will be a scrum feed for the Tropics, and it is inside the Tooks 22. Let's go together, ladies, okay? Crouch. Bind. Set. Tooks in possession, doing well to turn over possession, and then the ball is lost. Not too sure the player was aware of that pass, and then kicked out into touch. The pressure is real from the Tropics women. And that was Michaela Grunewald just kicking it out into touch. Will be a line of throw the for the Tropics. Tropics, white. Who incidentally are playing in the Tropics. Yep. Remember, Nairobi is located in East Africa. Equator is not too far from here. It's about 100 plus kilometers around Nanyuki. Back, 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 play on. For now, it is matters rugby sevens. Safari sevens for that matter. Scrum now. Scrum here. has been a bright morning where they're just cooling down because let's have the ball tad we just okay. hope that Crouch. it does hold and that the Bind. clouds decide to open up Sets. at night hold it on the scrum feed there's the tropics once again driving forward An opportunity for them to get points on the board well, that was dangerously close, but eventually Iliana Rishom going over for the game's opening try. The Tropics Tropic taking the lead against Tooks women Tropic in this women's competition match at the Safari Tropic Sevens. Tropic coming to you from the RFUA. Conversion is good as the Tropics extend their lead here. Seven points to zero. Kindly kick her behind the line. From the restart, the ball bounces out into touch. Mustafa Mamelo just guilty of ball watching there. But again, remember the bounce of the Orange, rugby ball yeah, White. is uh, never that straightforward. Stay tan. And it is Tropics enjoying everything at this particular moment in time. Enjoying the lead, enjoying possession, enjoying territory as well. That is Advantage the try scorer, Rishon. Knock on. Although they are Scrum down, white ball. Caught out there for the knock on and an opportunity for Tooks to get out of their 22 and build something. Remember, the Tooks began their campaign on a losing Go. note, Crouch. going down 32 0. Binds. In the opening match against Search. the Lionesses. Actually, it was against the Cubs. And that is Nolwazi. Keeps her feet. Playing on ground. But she's guilty of playing the ball on the ground. And the advantage goes the way of... The Tropic Sevens. Nonwazi, the Tooks Marquise. captain. He's got a glimpse there of the Tropics coaching staff. White, orange. Zero. 
Not gone five, free kick. It Not will gone be five. a free kick to the Tooks. That ball didn't go five from the line out. Ten, ten meters, ten meters kindly. And here Duncan Kiyoko just calling on the Tropics players to observe the ten meter rule. It's again a bit of football there from Tropics. The chase is on. The ball is kept alive for Tropics. Both teams doing well to navigate the rather slippery conditions here at the RFUA ground. Ree Parker bringing in Grace Dean. And this is Zoe Healy down at that left flank. She is going to score the second try for the Tropics, this time between the sticks. Vincent, okay? Obviously to make it an easy conversion. Uh, 15 seconds. And the kick at goal is successful. Tropics. Last play. Extending their lead. It is now 14 0. We're heading into the final play, and that was the moment the try was scored by Zoe Healy. And from the restart, another big one downfield. They seem to be targeting Mustafa Mamelo. And that, half ladies time. and gentlemen, is the last order of business in this half. It is the Tropic Sevens women leading by 14 yeah. points to zero. Oh, and then they went and scored. That is the last order of business for the half. Confirmation of the score at halftime. Tropics 14, Tooks 0. We will catch you on the other side of halftime. And we're back for the second half of this match at the Safari Sevens. This is the Tropics leading the Tooks by 14 points to zero. Onside. That is Zoe Healy who scored the second try for the Tropics. Back play on. Tropics are making their debut at the Safari Sevens. Another line break there. But that tackle, it is an important one from Tracy Mutunzi. But the continuity is coming through from the Tropics. Stay, stay. Advantage offside. The Tropics looking to stretch the Tooks defense, over. and that is going to be a second try for Zoe Healy. 
She goes over the whitewash, brings the score to 19-0. Conversion is still pending. Zoe Healy is using the touchline to stretch her defender and then cutting back in while at pace. Something everybody who's played on the wing is well aware of. Oh, that kick bouncing off the posts. It remains 19-0. But there was Zoe Healy. Yeah, when you're ready. Going over for a second try. Remember after this game, we do have that great East African clash between Uganda and Shuja. It was only last week, but the two sides met in the return leg of the Elgon Cup in Kisumu. Touch. Kenya winning that one by 20 points to 13 to retain the right. Elgon Cup, which is the 15th fixture that is played between the two countries. Right. But right here, we are doing the Safari 7s. And this is... Action in the women's competition between the Tropics and Tuk. It is the Tropics leading by 19 points to zero. Three tries to the good. The ball is lost there because of the handling error. Referee Knock Duncan Kiyoko spots that error and it will be a scrum feed for Tuk's. Bind on the hooker. Bind on the hooker. On the hooker. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Tracy Mutunzi. The delivery wasn't initially fielded. But finally, that is Timonique Kobat finding the floor. But then she plays Holding. the ball on the floor, seeding the advantage. Okay, okay. Then another handling error. Let's feel the Perfect. errors beginning to creep in. Come here. Let's use this as mark. Let me do! Crouch! One. Bind! Two. Set! Hold it. Okay, now. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Keep stay, it there. stay, stay, stay. Advantage, Bounce. moving in the five. <laughs> Offside. There was a yeah, handling yeah, yeah. error, but Duncan Kiyoko penalizing the Tooks for offside. Well, actually, penalizing the Tropics for offside. And that is a line break, a great line there from Maseko Andiswa. Accelerating to score under the posts. The first try of this competition for Tooks women. You have to love the way she attacked that space and injected away from her defenders. Scoring under the posts. The conversion is good. Current scores 19-7. It is the Tropics leading the Tooks by 19 points to 7. Remember, this is day one action from the Safari 7s. Making a return to the RFUA ground for the first time since 2019. That restart barely goes... Come the back, requisite yeah. 10, well, in my eyes, but not in the eyes of referee Duncan Kiyoko. It will be a free kick for the Tropics women in the middle of the park. Back player. That's the two-try hero for Tropics, Zoe Healy. She is on a hat-trick. 
try line is beckoning, but that was a desperate tackle, really. The Tropics keeping it alive. Thank you. Thank you. And Zoe Healy gets her hat trick in a rather belabored manner. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the all important thing is that she goes over the whitewash. Current scores 24 7 in favor Can't of try. the Tropics. Let's just see that again. Showing great That's awareness it. to just scramble that ball onto the line. Kick it out. And that is a hat trick for Zoe Healy. Last play, girls. And yeah. you just had the call there from. Duncan Kiyoko that this is the final phase of play. Tooks once again in possession. That is the captain Nolwazi. Hard running Tuck from Nolwazi. We'll be looking to get at least into the double digits. Play on. Is all dependent on what they do with the ball. They don't have it. Is the tropics driving forward and into the Tox half. Live Takla White, White live. Pair of fresh legs there for advantage. The Tropics. Julia Verhoen beating her Takla there. Number five. Five. Seko Andizwa, who scored the sole try for Tux, is sent to the bin Penalty. for the rest of this match. Tap. Scrum. As the Tux Scrum. are penalized. Is she okay? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very sensitive Scrum is here. Scrum is here. 2023 edition has catered for the kids yes, on five of the pitch. We are the kids on. Just hold on. So just young. Hold on, just hold on. Hold on, hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Just make your way to the kids on. It has a funny start next week. So you can keep track of your kids as they play within the radio. That's going to be the 2023 Safari 7. Let's go. Crouch. Binds. Up. Got a bind on the back, not on the shoulder, okay? Crouch. Binds. Set. Hold it, hold it. Remember, this is the final play. The ball is loose. Tooks are penalized once again. Tropics drive forward, they enter the Tox 22. Some great delivery and footwork as well. Advantage tackle is high, and just a confirmation that it was Mokati Thandi who was sent to the bin. And that will be a try for the Tropics, and it is Mary Wamboi going over the whitewash. White. She is a nippy player there, Mary Wamboi, going over the whitewash, getting White. the points on the board. White. Let's go. Kick at goal is wide. It is inconsequential as the Tropics claim the victory 29 7 against Tux. And we are shortly reverting back to the men's competition. Confirmation of that result Tropics 29, Tux 7. Coming up shortly, it will be Uganda against Shuja in the men's competition. 
that great East African rivalry continuing. Two captains at the coin toss, Antonio Mondi and Aaron Ofoiroth. Kenya in the red and black, Uganda in the black with a string or with a hint of yellow and red. Definitely the biggest match of the afternoon. Kenya against Uganda. Two great rivals when it comes to rugby in both versions of the game, 7s and 15s. Uganda, the immediate former African champions against Kenya, African champions of Kenya, 2023. You're, you're kicking off. You can move on the side, yeah, or the other side. It depends. But Uganda will be After my whistle, playing in the repertoire competition to qualify for the <laughs> Olympic Games. <laughs> set for Paris 2024. Kenya qualified directly by winning the Africa Sevens in Zimbabwe. And our picture there, Shingira Izioya from Zimbabwe. He is the center referee. And this match is off. A great take in the air there from Adrian Casito. Roy Kizito. Ugandans sprightly thus far but the advantage going against them the ugandans are coached by former kenya international tolbert onyango yeah. Come. yeah and i'm sure everybody is watching this game keenly In nairobi and kampala on a short bind it collapsed it's on you clutch bind set Stay. 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 That is Asati getting the ball on the loose. Amaitsa with the line break. The try out to Odongo. Loses his footing. Keeps possession. Still Odongo. Has numbers Man. arriving. The ball is on the floor. Advantage Asati. Advantage offside. Okoth. Fends off one defender. Goes to the floor. The Ugandans on the back foot. Number six. Number six. Number six. Alex yeah. Aturinda ah. caught offside. Kenyans mark, looking mark. to take the penalty mark. quickly, but Samuel Asati mark. was not on the mark. Play. Scrum. This is an opportunity for Uganda to regroup. Whoever is taking it, come to the mark. I will let you play as quick as you want, but on the back. I can just I hear blew the. Yeah. Unlike it. Yeah. I blew it. Okay. Yeah. You just hear the communication from the center referee. You have to be on the mark if you want to take the penalty Clutch. quickly. This is Samuel Five. Asati up against Aaron Offerworth. Two products of age-grade rugby Stay. Stay. in Kenya and Uganda, respectively. And it's great Come. to see players Come. coming through the ranks. One hand. Two out. Donning their national colors. One a yellow card there to Ofoi Roth for the intentional knock on. And this is Tony Omondi. And the try is good from Nigel Amaitza. Kenyan fans here, including Konye Njoroge. Nigel Amaitza getting the five pointer for the Kenyans. Antonio Mondi's kick is wide of goal. Rosa Mondi 
knew that there was an extra man to his left, and that man was Nigel Amaitza, strolling over the chalk for the opening try. Remember, Aaron Oferioth is in the bin. From that restart, bounces back, and this is Samuel Asati, the delayed pass. He brings in Vincent Onyala, head down, try line inside. Second try for Shuja. Doubling their lead against Uganda. Uganda off to a bright start in this competition. They started with a 35-0 win over the South Africa All-Stars. But find themselves trailing by 10 points to zero in this one against Shuja. It is the co-captain Vincent Onyala with the try. Tony Mundi with the kick at goal. Now! Once again, it is extremely wide of goal. It remains 10 0. Ugandans have been punished all that time that Ofoy Roth was out in the bin. The rugby cranes are back to their full complement of seven players. And from that restart, it is high, it is hanging, it is tapped back, but lost. And this is Aturinda, then Isaac Massa, and now Ofoy Roth. Roy Kizito bringing in Adrian Casito. Searching run from Casito. Territory has been gained by the rugby cranes. They need to score now. They need to keep in touch. But they're not going to do so with that handling error. Yeah. Knock. It really just kills the momentum that they were building. Mike, yeah. Disappointing there for Alex Aturinda. No, don't pull him. Use it. It's available. Ofoy Roth is at the heart of everything Uganda is doing right now. Step there from Isaac Massa. He is driven back. But the ball is still presented for the Ugandans. This is Piers Ogena electing to go route one. Samuel Asati looking to force the turnover. Indeed, the Kenyans have forced the turnover. John Okoth. Stretching the Ugandans, but no, they are punished, are they? Time out! Time out! Time out! I need you in! I need you in! Roy Time Kizito out. landing on that ball, but let's listen to the referee's conversation with his assistant. One was it the pass it? from? Anyone? Of course. You so clear grounded. Try good from your side. Roy Kizito with the presence of mind.
No, it's black book. First thing, thing man knock by that chip taco who wasn't allowed. Okay. okay. Talk to your players Thank next you. time. Okay. So once again, the referee just <laughs> yeah, laying knock, down the knock, law you knock, you as the Kenyans are punished knock, for the defense. initial yes. infringement. Crouch. And the law being laid clear there by the referee Five. advantage, Uganda. Set. Audit. They certainly have the manpower to get more points on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Just as we speak, everything goes against them. The free kick is for the Kenyans. Nigel Amaitza scored the opening try, and then Patrick Odongo has been Amai, rather quiet Amai. in this game. Stay, stay. Nyala then Asati. This is John Okoth keeping it alive. Asati and now Kevin Wekesa against Aaron Offerworth takes him out. And this is John Okoth racing to the try line for a third try for Shuja, bringing the score to 15 5. Conversion still to come. John Oh, is it John no, no, to you later. And hard work done by Kevin Wekesa. Hey, come, come, come. Leave him, leave him, Mucho. Mucho, come. Hey, come. I'm calling you, come. Come. If you respect me, I will respect you. Okay. If you have a problem, throw your kept. Okay. Okay. Conversion from Tony Omondi is good. Brings the score to 17-5. That was the moment where Kesa won the physical contest. Okoth won the speed contest. Touching down, bringing the score to 17-5. John Okoth has been through the ranks of the Kenya under-20s, the Kenya 15s, and now with Kenya 7s. And that was Wekesa claiming the aerial ball but tapping it forward. No play. Yeah. As we speak, two changes being made by the Kenyans. That's right. That's right. No, Brian Mutugi and... Close. William Mwanji will be coming right. on for... Set! Keep that channel clear, no! <laughs> John Okoth thus far no. has been replaced you and... You, you two 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 also. Nigel Amaita. Yeah. No, let's start again. Let's start again. Clouch! Fight! Set! Leave the channel open! Instructions are clear from the match official there. The Kenyans guilty of not leaving the tunnel open. It will be a free kick for come Uganda. Again. Two minutes, 48 seconds still to play. Walker, it's allowed to come, but you can't lift it. No, he didn't. Two converted okay, tries for Uganda will slippery. win them the game, assuming that Shuja don't score. And anything can happen yeah. in the remaining yeah, two bad. minutes, 30 seconds. Crouch. Bite. Set. Keep it clear. Easy, easy. Now. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Come, come. This is the last time I'm talking to you about it. Come, come. Uh, this is the last time I'm talking to you about it. It's not your fault. These two, it's the last time I'm talking about you. Okay, this is the last time. Crouch. The moment it's clear, let's play. Fight. Set. Clear. Steady. Steady. This is Casito with the scrum feed. Uganda still looking to get something going. And between no. Ofoiroth and Casito, no. they can pull something out of the bag. Advantage over. As we speak, this is Brian Tanga carrying the ball into the Ugandan 22. First person. Once again. Shuja penalized get back, get back. Roy Kizito no. with a quickly taken penalty. We do know that he's got a turn of speed. And then the handling error, doing no justice to Uganda. That was Timothy Mugisha just losing possession. An 
able to feel that pass from Roy Kizito. Okay, let's fix it. I need a clear point from you too. Clutch! Point! Set! Hold it! Hold it! That is the last order of business in this match. It is Shuja claiming the 17-5 victory over Uganda. Has been a hard-fought match between these East African neighbors, great rivals in the long and short versions of the game. But eventually, Shuja claiming the 17-5 win over Uganda, whose fans are there seen applauding their team and enjoying the atmosphere here at the RFUA ground in Nairobi. Just catch a glimpse of the skyline here at the RFA ground and a confirmation of the score from the match that has just ended 17-5 in favor of Shuja against Uganda. Remember, this is the action coming to you from the RFA ground, day one of the 2023 Safari Sevens. Fun, entertainment, food, beverages. As we await the next match between the SA Sevens All Stars and Tropic Sevens, after which we'll have Samurai against Germany before KCB and Western Province close out the second round of matches. After which we'll go into a, a 20 minute break before we resume with commentary, joint commentary with myself, Michael Kwambo, and Ernest Akore Birungi. But for now, it is the South Africa All Star Sevens coming up against the Tropic Sevens. Well, if you're in the mood for a party, why don't you come down to the RFA ground? Enjoy the rugby and shake a leg or two. As you enjoy the rugby sevens at the Safari Sevens. fans dance in the stands the teams in the tunnel are full of concentration it is the South Africa all-stars against the tropic sevens the 
All Stars yet to win a game, starting with a 35 0 defeat at the hands of Uganda before going down 36 0 to Shuja. The Tropic Sevens also beginning with a 38 0 defeat at the hands of Uganda before. Well, actually, this is their second game. We'll be looking to make the most out of it. Lining up for the South Africa Sevens All-Stars, we do have Vihan Labushan, Jason Duplessis, Andrew Krause, Cleveland Scott, Adam Mahari, Edwin Turden, Jean Joubert, Ruan Dupier, Ruan Van Ruyen. Filasande Soldati, Dick Malele, and VJ Maklangu. Lining up for the Tropic Sevens, Charles Oviambo, Ben Kite, Charlie Crawley, Leo Lubingbu, Alex Jones, Sankara Wafula, Sam Smith, Dan James, Tom Church, Joe Booth, Rick Van Balcom, Charlie Hillard, and Levis Ochen. Ready? Okay, time is on. Okay, time the run. Good job. And we kick off. Frost. Okay. On the full. Okay. Will be a free kick for the Topic Sevens after that kick off okay. from Scott Kilvin going okay. straight into touch. Okay. Okay. Scrum option. Okay. Let's just come here. Okay. Okay, five meters back. Crouch. Bind. Set. Tropic Sevens. Looking bright from that start. Driving forward, there is Alex Jones. He is brought to the floor. Okay, you take the extra roll. Okay. Ball in hand, and it is played downfield. Dick Malele okay. is going to get the opening score for the South Africa Sevens All Stars. Dick Junior Botlale Malele, those are his full names, and he gets over the whitewash the opening score for the South Africa Sevens All Stars. The kick at goal is successful. <laughs> South Africa Sevens All Stars leading the Tropic Sevens by seven points to zero. That try scored by Dick Junior Botlale Malele. Okay, behind the ball. Good. Crossed. Play on. That's an excellent take from Back. the South Africa Sevens All Stars. Try score a Malele. Good pass. And they look to no, stretch on. the tropics. Play on. And the inside pass to Alex Jones. Pardon. Again, Tropics Sevens are penalized. The penalty is quickly taken. This should be another opportunity there. Roll away. Lost forward. Ball is lost forward by the South okay. Africa Sevens All Stars. Okay, Mark here, guys. Just pull in. Come closer. Okay. Drought. Bind. And losing it forward was Vihan Labushan. Keep the five. Play on. 
Tropics again. The Tropics easily giving away possession. South Africa 7's All-Stars, who Good in pass. previous years have featured Zambian Israel Kalumba, are playing well here and getting a second try. And it is Logan Edward Turin going over the whitewash. Brings the scores to 12-0. The All Stars certainly enjoying the start to this game. Adam Mahari Isaac with the kick at goal. It is wide, it remains 12 0. As you were telling you earlier, the All Stars have in previous years featured the likes of South Africa. Well, Zambian international, I beg your okay. pardon, Israel Kalumba. Indeed, he was part of the All Stars squad at the 2021 Safari Sevens. Time the run. This is Mahari with the restart for the All Stars. It is plucked by Wihan Labushan. That's right. But he again loses it forward as he goes to the floor. Guys. The advantage is with the Tropics, but they just can't seem okay. to do Under anything pressure. with any Antonia. possession that they Scroll. find themselves in. Ah, okay. Use this. Come on, come on. on the mark. Yeah. Sub. Yeah. Okay. Okay, step closer right, on the mark. Crouch. Bind. Set. Okay, hold it there. Out okay. Run. One minute Taco 22 now. still to play in the half. Outside. All stars have virtually camped in the tropics Outside. half. Outside. Even when the decisions are going okay, against them. But this is a quickly taken penalty and opportunity there. Charles Odiambo plays his away. club rugby for nondescripts in the Kenya Cup League. Carries that ball as the okay. Tropics looking to make their Absolutely. first visit into the Just All-Stars 22. Just slow it down. They do have the penalty advantage with them. Time off. Medic. Vihan Labushan is on the ground. Doesn't look too comfortable. Okay, time back on. Scrum option. Scrum. He doesn't look too comfortable, and I think that will be his last order of business in the game. He has been a workhorse for the South Africa Sevens yeah. All Stars, yeah. but oh, is forced okay. off the field okay. towards the close of the half. Bind. Set. Oh, oh. Okay. No, no, no. Binding. Okay, because of the early bind, the free kick goes against the All-Stars. The advantage is now with the Tropics. Can we get their first points on the board? They do. Effortlessly there is Charlie Hilliard. Using his long reach once he was stopped three meters short of the try line. Let's just see that again. He's using his long reach. That is great awareness from Charlie Hilliard get points for the tropics yeah, yeah, you have brings seconds. the score to 12 5. okay now okay. That is the last order of business. South Africa Sevens All Stars leading the Tropics by 12 points to 5. Let's just see that once again. Great awareness from Charlie Hilliard going over the chalk, outstretching his hand, getting points on the board for the Tropics. And there it is at halftime the South Africa Sevens All Stars leading the Tropics by 12 points to 5. Catch you on the other side of halftime.
take control of this game again. We have control on defense. Close them up. They're attacking very deep. Close them up in their face and they won't have any victory. Okay, so let's keep just our tempo. Let's get it to the point. We have speed to go around them. Let's play like that. Okay, let's go finish this game now. Right, so I'll finish this now. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy, Two, three, four, stars. And the teams are done with Ready? their halftime talk. We are back for the second half okay, of ready? this clash between. Mark, Mark, come in. Come in here. And that is the man who scored the opening try for the yeah, South Africa okay. Sevens okay. All Stars, okay. Dick Junior Botlale Malele. Okay. Time is back on. Crouch. Bind. Set. Hold it there. Picking up the ball from the base there is Ruan yeah. Dupria. The kick and the chase is on. No, the on. bounce of the ball is unlucky. Advantage over. The Tropics survive. They have an opportunity to reload and get some forward ball. And this is Levi Sochen. The easy pass right, there to his support runner, Joe Booth. Making hard work of the advantage that he had. It is cleaned up, however. <laughs> Charles Odiambo goes over the chalk. And that is a second try for the Tropics. Brings them to within two points of the South Africa Seven All Stars. My mark? Yes, this Out. Yes, sir. Well, the conversion was not successful. It remains okay. a two point margin for the South Africa Time Sevens All Stars against the Tropic Sevens. Uh, about five. ball is fielded from the restart South Africa sevens all-stars no not on the ball ball is here okay. just shading it in terms of the lead in terms of advantage as well it's a solid tackle okay. but solid tackle and the turnover for the tropics Charles Odiambo looking to pull strings Charlie Crawley. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't change the ball. Okay. Was looking to attack down that left flank. Play on. Play on. Game has been start can't stop. The ground. It is the and, -Stars. and that line break is on from okay. Adam Isaac. Shooting. Don't shoot the ball. There, no, no. Guilty of. Yeah. Why is again okay. guilty of the, the infringement on the floor. Yeah. Pretty much is testament to. How this match has been played. It has okay. been start stop. Pass. It is 12 10. Yeah. Pass. It is the South Africa Sevens All Stars leading the Tropics by 12 points to 10. Okay. Subs. Coming. Okay. Time is back on, guys. Here. Come. Okay, time off. Time off. Let's up. Two minutes. Okay, subs are good. 45 okay, seconds remaining in the half. Crouch! Bind! Coming up after this Set. game will be the final two games of the round Samurai against Germany and KCB against Western Province. Okay, okay. let's come and set. You have to hit the ball. Okay. 
quickly taken penalty and this is go forward ball for the tropics okay. the shepherded out into touch there is their big number eight okay line out. charlie hilliard he scored that try just before half time to bring them back into the game this they currently trail oh, by right. two points yeah. Yeah. it's 12 10 two minutes five ten. seconds of the half still yeah. remaining Okay, but it's out. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. no phone offside. Good movement of the ball from the All Stars. They have the opportunity down the wing. There's a foot race there. Anybody's Play ball, on. but. Charlie Booth, Charlie Hilliard has okay, been yeah. no, no. solid Step on right. defense as well. Backwards. This is another opportunity for Tropic Sevens to get out of their 22. Taco. Doing it the hard way there. Size advantage. Is Charlie Crawley. Advantage over. Then Booth just putting the hammer down he is gone and he is going to land his brace remember this game has been hinged on fine margins that was excellent awareness from charlie hilliard that slight injection of pace beating his marker and he goes over for his second try giving the tropics the lead for the first time in this match five seconds current scores 15 12. conversion is good it is 17 12. tropic sevens leading the south africa sevens all-stars time from the restart it's the all-stars they need to get points on the board remember the hooter has sounded the ball is lost forward on the tackle ladies and gentlemen that is the last order of business in this match it is a victory for the tropic sevens their first win of the Safari Sevens in 2023, a narrow win over the South Africa Sevens All Stars. As both teams exchange pleasantries. There it is, a confirmation of the score at full time. It is the Tropics Sevens defeating the South Africa Sevens All Stars by 17 points to 12. We're heading into the final two matches of the round Samurai against Germany and KCB against Western Province coming up before we head into another break. But as it is, it is the Tropics claiming their first win of the day here at the Safari Sevens.
and the two teams in the tunnel there, we can see Samurai in their predominantly white strip against Germany in the red and white. Second last match of the round before we head into another break. Samurai began their campaign with a 17-5 win over KCB. They then lost 14-12 to the Morans. And they will be looking to make it two wins from three outings. While Germany started with a 33-17 win over KCB. They are looking to make it two wins from two. Coming up, it is Samurai against Germany. Both teams are on the field of play. They will be waiting for the referee's whistle. Which way you guys going to Whatever that's better. Remember the Samurai are one and one from their two matches so far at the Safari 7s. They started with a 17-5 win over KCB before losing 14-12 to the Morans, which is the other Captain, Kenyan good. representative squad at the Safari 7s men's competition. <laughs> And from kickoff, ball is fairly contested before being claimed tackle, by Samurai. Tackle. That looked to be high, and indeed the referee will be calling for the high tackle and the penalty against Germany. Center, Germany. Yeah. Samurai. So from the penalty, it is Samurai oh, retaining possession. A lot of great names uh, on the coaching staff of let's both go, boys. teams. Pablo Feijo coaching Germany, while Colin Zingera is assistant coach for hold, Samurai. Hold, hold. Two players hold. who obviously lit up the World Rugby 7 Series in their heyday. Remains Backwards. scoreless. The bounce of the ball is eventually kind for the Germans. They go to the floor. The contest at the breakdown is awarded to Samurai. Driving forward there. The reload and another foray into the Germany 22. Ball is kept alive by Ethan Isaacs. Looks for support. Is communication there as the ball is lost <laughs> and the penalty advantage is with Germany it remains scoreless rock this is a kick downfield and some of the notable names on the samurai squad include no Hayward has been capped by the blitz box Actually featured at the 2023 Vancouver 7s. We have Dan Hosek, a Czech 7s international. Mervono Da Silva, he is a South Africa Rugby 7s Academy player. And then we have Scrum. Nabo Sokoi, an alumnus of Grey College. And if you follow South African schools rugby, then you definitely know Grey College. Let's go, boys. Picture there, Colin Zingera, Terry Sands and Nick Weekly 
from the samurai contingent. Crouch. Find. Set. Back, 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 work. This Thank Germany you. making their first entry into the Samurai 22. Means a fair contest midway through the half. Ball is presented at the face of play for Germany. Attacking down that flank. Good continuity. Brilliant support play. The game's opening try. Perfectly executed. Germany 5, Samurai 0. Conversion attempt is wide. It is Germany breaking the deadlock here, leading five points to zero against Samurai. Remember Germany, Samurai. Germany, good. So after the team talk, we are back for the second half of this fixture. This pool B clash between Germany and Samurai is Germany in the red and white. Leading Samurai by 12 points to 5. Not the best of starts from Germany. Samurai with the foray into the German 22. Michael. Quickly taken penalty. No, no. And the try is good for Samurai. It is Charlie Venables going over the whitewash, bringing the score to 12-10. Mervano Da Silva, South Africa Rugby Sevens Academy player, with the initial foray into the 22. Charlie Venables with the try. Nabo Sikoi tasked with the kicking duties. Misses it. Germany 12, Samurai 10. Everything to play for in the second half. Both teams looking to secure a win that will boost their chances of reaching the cup semi-finals. Let's hold behind, please. Remember this year's Safari 7s featuring 10 teams in the men's competition. The top two teams qualify for Sunday's Cup semi-finals with a place in the final at stake. So Germany working the ball from inside their 22. Samurai committing themselves on the tackle, but Germany Play 
play backwards. With the delivery there. Weighted pass. Caught in a spot of bother there. The ball is on the floor once again. Attacking down that flank. This is a fourth phase of play for Germany. They have the advantage. They have the advantage with them. Offside. Tom off. I still have a foul play report for my AR. There will be a stop in play. We heard it from the referee. There is an incident of foul play, so they are just going to consult off. about it. Okay, I haven't seen anything, so it's totally on you. From the last track over that side, uh, 11 whites, okay, pushed, 6 red, 6 red, retaliated, no card involved. Yeah, back way, back way. Retaliated, no card involved, penalty only. Against number 6 red? Against number 6 red. Okay, so what penalty if, only. give me some space and I'll come talk to you in a sec. You don't need to be here right now. Okay, just hold. So let me just explain everything you just said to me. So you've got an off the ball incident off here, the ball incident, involving white and red. White, uh, 11, just give me some space, please. Eleven white and six red. Okay, and you then got you then got six red pushing a player off the ball. Has he taken him out of the game? No, no, he didn't take him out of the game. Okay, so oh. so it's going to go back there for yeah, the penalty for only. Penalty so it's against, penalty only yeah. against yes, number six, six red. red yes. Cool, thank you. Do we have? Uh, I'll explain. I'll explain. Uh, white captain. Cool. Well, that's what we'll walk and talk. So basically, what we've got is on the AR's report after the last ruck here with a little scuffle involving 11 white and 6 red however afterwards 11 red uh, sorry 6 white red has escalated and pushed him off the ball so we're going back for penalty back here against 6 red and I'm sure that we have heard the referee's decision loud and clear thank you Germany we'll being penalised for that off the ball incident Just and this is an opportunity Boys, for Samurai to, to take the lead have certainly camped in the German 22. This is Nabo Sikoi. Bringing in Tom Roach. Short! Short! Play it! Yeah, no, 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 no. Time is off. Stop. I don't need your opinion. We're walking. Over here. So what I have first... Is the player short? However, we're meant to take him over, so what we're going to do is just going to play with Scrum. Scrum for White, because he's short. He's actually also double, he's also held up over the line for me first. So you're going to go no try, hold up, Scrum back there. Cool, thank you. So because he's short, and I understand his momentum, we're going back for the Scrum to White Ball. No try, because you're short and you've rolled, but the red place pushed you over the line. Scrum. So the advantage remaining with Samurai. You're not going to change Tom the decision. Roach oh, I know, I know, I know. thought he had gone over the whitewash, but as again we hear from the referee explaining the decision and why Samurai are still in possession. Crouch! Bind! Set! Hold. Sokoi, ball in two hands, looking to attack the space, stretching the German defense. The Germans are on the no. back foot. The ball is recycled. It is kept alive by Samurai. They'll have to be patient in this build-up. Clear out. Does it force the turnover? Well, it forces the Samurai players into an error. Scrum. Germany in possession for the scrum feed. An opportunity for them to exit their 22. They have been under the cosh from the incessant pressure coming from Germany. I do not have numbers. Come on! Come on! Crouch. Find. Set. Play resumes. It is Germany in possession. They are in the 22. They will look to exit. 
get a score that will put daylight between them and Samurai. But the turnover is good for Samurai. And what's the call? Uh, two minutes. What are we doing? I need a decision now. Post, shot calls. Well, Drop kick, yeah. we regularly see this in the longer version of the game, but Samurai going for goal from this one. The kick bounces off the posts. That was Struan Hutchison. Unlucky with that kick. It's not time. It's not time. You kicked it dead. Scrum. Well, no. no. The Hooter has not got blocked. Series of interesting no. events here. Let's see no. that first. The ball bounces off Trump. the pole, post. There we see it. And then the Germans kicking it out dead, thinking that time is up. We still have 1 minute 17 oh. seconds to play. It is a scrum feed. It is Samurai oh. with possession. It's right, time's off, time's off. We tried. Cool. Mark's here. Time back on. Crouch. Bind. Set. The ball is lost once again. This time, that is a positive tackle. One minute. One minute. Arthur Hogg Scrum. I told loses you the ball. You one minute. The Germans. Minute now. One minute. Jittery. One minute. I don't know why the hood is going, but it's on my watch here. Crouch. Bind. Set. Once again, we'll look to get clean ball and exit their 22. They just have to keep their nerves. And they will need a lot of discipline at the breakdown. Have to be patient with ball in hand. <laughs> Penalty advantage again going the way of Samurai. I do believe the Huta has sounded. That is Florian Makala is calling for calm in his charges. The step and the try. Henry Kerwin with the five pointer. Right at the death. This game has been full of drama. Yeah. Let's just see that again. Cowan getting the ball. Delays the pass there. Sells the dummy. Goes over the whitewash. You still do have. You have 10 seconds for the kick though. That is most probably the game winning kick. It really doesn't matter. It is Samurai notching up their second win of the day. 15-12, the finest of margins against Germany. The second win of the day, putting them in good stead for the semi-finals. And amidst the song and dance, we're heading into the final match of the round before we head into Another 20 minute break as just catch the Germans and the Samurai players there celebrating. We head into the final match of round two. KCB against Western Province. KCB, the Kenyan National Sevens champions taking on Western Province who have been great supporters of Kenyan rugby. picture there for KCB, Mike Kimoele. Our center referee for this one will be the Japanese Shaman Lobo from South Africa, Sister Barbara Lobo, Robinson Kimplanat, Victor Ogor and Vincent Mairori. 
Not the most conventional of kickoffs for KCB, and they are punished. Will be a free kick for South Africa's DHL Western Province. This is corner Van Eden. Plays that ball. KCB will be looking for redemption. They've lost their opening two matches. KCB started with a 17-5 defeat at the hands of Samurai before going yes. down 33-17 yes. to Germany. While Western Province started with a 24-0 loss at the hands of Morand. Advantage Western Province early on. Coach! Boy! Set! Steady, steady, hold! And that is Van Eden. Was looking to release his winger. Put a bit too much onto that pass. Move away! It's a Dunga. Then Billy Omondi breaks one tackle, bringing in his captain, Elfas Adunga. KCB getting the scores underway in this game. Elfas Adunga, the KCB captain for the Safari Sevens, touches down. But the hard work had been done by Billy Omondi. William Opaka is sure with the conversion as KCB lead Western Province by seven points to zero. Is Western Province is looking to make good use of the ball, but they don't. That is fortuitous there, Ryan Muller. Latching on to that pass from Geoffrey Okwach. And the kick downfield. And the injection of pace there from Kabakile. He has support in Van Eden. Corner Van Eden is going to score. Not at the corner, but under the post or close to the posts. Brings the score to 7-5. KCB 7, Western Province 5. Move up. Well, the kick at goal is successful. It is all square between KCB and Western Province. And it is the captain, the Robertson ball. Fazil. They're behind the ball. They're behind the ball. That was the moment Conovan Eden got the opening score for Western Province. Robert Fazil with the conversion to level the scores. It is 7-7. Seven, seven. Sadunga does well to maintain possession. And then the ball stolen. So Dawa bringing in Trevor Opondo. Score a second try for KCB. Actually, that was Ishmael Gorio with the five-pointer. K 
kick at goal is wide. The scores remain 12-7 in favor of KCB. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait for them to move out. Fine. Was Vivian's Andre was looking to release Ryan Muller, but instead just plays it into Liam Opaka of KCB. Quatch has been rather quiet for the bankers. We do know that he has a turn of speed. KCB with the 12 7 lead over the Western Province. Thank you. Yes, the mark. Both sides looking for their first win of the day. Remember, KCB began with a 17 5 defeat to Samurai before going down 33 17 to Germany, while Western Province lost 24 0 to Morales. Just catch okay. a glimpse of the fans yeah, who are continuing to trickle into the RFUA ground. This is the opening day of the Safari Sevens. And that will be the last order of business for the half Sorry. and for the injured Western yeah, Province yeah. player. Well, actually, not. Still not half time. We have 32 seconds to play. That is Andre Villiers. Then Kabakile. We have seen that he That's has a turn of speed. Also showing great Make leg strength. Advantage over. bit of football there between the two sides but eventually fielded by Raven Smith and then the kick downfield to ease the pressure that was mounting from KCB the ball eventually bouncing into touch that is the last order of business for the half KCB leading Western Province by 12 points to 7 as the Sun and the fans Continue to be with us here at the RFUA ground. Confirmation of the score at halftime. KCB 12, Western Province 7. Catch you on the other side of halftime. Yeah. Yeah. Now the sun. Thanks for that one. Thanks for that one. I thought maybe it was from... Thank you. 
We're back for the final the seven ball. minutes of the this clash ball. between KCB and Western Province. It is KCB leading by 12 points to seven. Ball bouncing straight out to touch. It will be a free kick for KCB. Scored their tries in quick the succession ball. and lead by 12 points to seven against Western Province. Five. Elvis Namusasi, one of the replacements for KCB in the second half. Let's. Jofrio Kwach and Namusasi keep to pull strings for the bankers. Another line break there from. Billy Omondi breaks the line and gets points on the board. Brings the scores to 17-7. Billy Omondi has been a useful player for KCB on day one of the Safari Sevens. Number KCB participating in this competition by virtue of being the National Sevens Circuit Champions. Well, the try has been called back. No try there. Scores remain. Scores remain 12-7. me, coach. Boy, set, steady and hold. Let's please. Let's. Quickly taken penalty, and this is Gorio. He is going to go over for his second try. They now get that third try. It actually, it is Emmanuel Opondo, not Ishmael Gorio. Bringing the score to 17 7. The kick is rather straightforward. Joffrey Okwach. That's why the hands went past the ball because your guy was still taking an extra rope. Yeah. But they think that he took an extra roll. So that's why He's not successful with okay. that kick at goal. The scores remain 17-7. Four minutes, five seconds still to play in the half. Remember, this is the final match in the second round on day one of the Safari Sevens. Opondo there just going over for that try. Yeah. ball is lost on the tackle anybody's ball this one Mike Kimwele cleaning it up but the referee calling for the initial infringement it will be KCB's line out throw a picture there we see Jerome Parbota and Jason Cut. Hector handling Boy. Western Province this weekend. Jerome Set. Parbota steady, steady, steady. also handles the Kenya 15's national team, the Simbas, while Jason Hector has had a stint as head coach of homeboys in the Kenya Cup League. Play. Play. Well, 
Isao Ocheno is sent to the bin for KCB for cynical play. Remember his twin brother, Elfa Sadunga, is the captain. That is Elvis Namusasi with the kick. There is a chase that is on. Let's It's fine, turn back, then bounce forward. It's fine, it's fine. Let's move on, move on, let's. Now the cross kick there, but it isn't fielded. Western province giving away possession and territory to KCB. That is Isao Otieno in the bin. He was sent to the bin for a cynical play. Yeah, open up, open up. Two. I need a walker here. Ten, play. Ten, number four. Move away. Move it. Cross. Boy. Steady, 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 steady. Set. But into steady, the final steady, moments steady, of this match, KCB leading by 17 points to 7. Indeed, the buzzer has sounded. We will be going into full time shortly. Quick, quick, quick. KCB on the verge of securing the first win on day one of the Safari Sevens. It's a good running leave. line from Western leave. Province. Leave him, leave him, leave him. That ball forward. Taku, move away! So strong running from Andre Vivias. And the try scorer for. Yes. Sun Province, one of an Eden. Side, side. He's not holding the ball. He's not holding the ball. There's the ball. You said the ball is up. That is Isa Otieno back from the sin bin, and Emmanuel Opondo kicks that ball out into touch. KCB secure the first win of the day, 17-7 against Western Province. Will Western Province going into a break? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a couple of minutes break. So, KCB victory there for KCB. The and Confirmation of the score KCB at full time KCB 17, KCB 17 KCB Western KCB Province 7. We'll catch you in a few. We're going into a break. So we will catch you in about 20 minutes. But for now, enjoy some highlights as we go into a break. Catch you in 20 minutes' time as the Safari Sevens continues.
I've seen this. Oh yeah, I've seen Where are the ions? Back now for the final round of day one's action at the 2023 20, Safari 7s. To get us underway are the Uganda women's sevens and the tax from South Africa. The tax have had a tough weekend out here. Only able to score just one try of the two matches they've played. Uganda on the other hand. Uganda are good. Unfortunate that Sandra Amoli Lona <laughs> suffered that injury, but they have had to proceed with her as she begins to respond positively to medical attention. They Fine. will play this final match without Amoli Lona and they are going to start it strong through Captain Peace Lekuru, who is going to speed away on the break after that restart. No support around her, but she releases and gets back on her feet, finds Maimuna Nasozi. Nasozi offloads to Sarah Chirawo, running rings straight after the restart is Uganda against the tax and now numbers are plenty on the outside cutting back inside under the grain is the lady that started it all peace lekuru <laughs> high fives from Yvonne Najuma impressed there with peace lekuru's carry and performance with ball in hand and she got the rewards with a try to her name Conversion to be taken by Yvonne Najuma. She's a hooker in the 15s game, but she knows well how to quick. Unfortunate that this attempt did not hit the mark. The score therefore will stay at five points to zero. Maimuna Nasozi on the restart goes deep this time. It bounces in front of the tax. Carrying it strong is Maseko Andiswa. Brought down just before the halfway line, but the arriving support in Tandi Mokatse is off what? her feet. And so Uganda have the penalty through the hands. Yvonne Najuma now dropping the shoulder. Isolated as a contest at a breakdown and it's successful from Mustafa Mamelo. Good turnover there. You tapped it, you tapped it. And she goes with ball in two hands. Out to Mokase Tandi. And then on to the boot. Ball is lost and turned over to Uganda. Mustafa Mamelo is on the floor needing some medical attention as Peace Lekuru sprints away. She's stopped by Mokase Tandi, yes. She gets back on her feet, releases, but... Back 10, back 10, back 10! And this one did not do the contest legally in the eyes of the referee, and that's going to be the double for Peace Lekuru, leading Uganda from the front. There's Uganda captain Peace Lekuru. Two tries to her name in this game and the host of others earlier today. My moon are taking over kicking duties this time, but her effort is Come wide off. as well. We shall have a stoppage in play to attend to Mustafa Mamelo. The Uganda fans are always colorful and animated when they turn out to support their rugby yeah, yeah. teams, men or women. They are relentless and don't stop dancing and singing. Come on! As Moya Gina comes on, as Andis was replacement, Uganda opt to go the other side towards Michaela. Michaela, all in two hands. Isolated on contact, the support arriving just right in time to maintain possession. And this one now looks like a very dangerous tackle there on Andiswa. Stay still, stay still. 
come off. She lost that ball forward, but I think the referee will need to reconsider that call for the knock-on. Looks like a dangerous tackle, a couple that we've seen so far. That will worry Uganda women's sevens head coach Charles Onen. Take your sweet time. Would you like the uh, more medics? Yeah, of course. There's some of the fans. A couple who have made their way here today. They're going to play with it was the tricky six. weather in the morning, cold, a bit of a cast, but the sun has cleared and come out. They're probably going to have to play with six. We expect more of them tomorrow on the final day of this tournament. They're probably going to have to play with six, so I don't think they're going to stop. Including some supporting the Rugby World Cup champions, the Springboks. This tax team, always, there's always a team that comes from South Africa to take part in these competitions. We saw just last year at the Kings of at the Inter University Games with uh, Fasu. Then now this year with the Safari Sevens. Tax always showing up for these tournaments from South Africa. And we've got to give them credit for this support to the rest of the continent, especially South Africa, given the level at which they play their rugby. Signal has been made from the referees that yeah. That contact zone has suffered a head injury. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. So it will necessitate a replacement. Which is a hard yeah, of a reminder of this we match. We have an incredible lineup of artists ready to light up the stage. That is for the after party tonight. And headlining the act for tonight is phenomenal. Femi Warren, DJ JR, and DJ George Coleman. Remember, <laughs> after this. There's the fans also from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe were listed to take part in this tournament, but unfortunately couldn't make it in time. And the less the support comes in, their contribution is not unseen as they have a referee here for this tournament. Shinji Rai. And there's the coach Van der Meva, Rian. Galito, looking for options Jones, on who to bring on in place of the injured Akulu. player. And of course, we have much of ourselves that is your summer. Unfortunately, it's going to be a knock on because he lost the ball into contact. Finally, with a bit of pain, the player is up on her feet. It's a good sign to see the players back on their feet after such injuries. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to wait for her to get off. The player is going to resume. With a scrummage, Uganda's ball to feed. Knock on. This tournament is brought to you by Boys. Kenya's proud partner in Tasca. Okay. East African breweries have this been this one of the main sponsors of this Girls. Safari Sevens tournament. Including the 2009 oh, event. Crouch! Bind! Yeah. Set! Are the makers of Tasca beer for this tournament that is known as the Tasca Safari Sevens. Been part of rugby from the second installment in 1997 as Peace Lekuru again looks to put Uganda on the board with another try. Maimuna Nasozi straight into the 22. But. Takla does not release Good now. Rita Nadunga short ball into the gap for Lydia Namabiro and she stamps Uganda's authority in this game Come with that on, try under the uprights. Good support play from Lydia Namabiro there on that quick restart. Zero. 
Maimuna Naso's conversion is successful this time. So Uganda have stretched their lead to 17 points to nil. What options do they go for on this kick? They take to the left. There's a collision in the tax receivers. This time, Tandy, in the collision. As Renz Keselina looking to drop that shoulder and the turnover for Kenya for Takla not rolling away. Keselina again through the hands for Timonik. And there's a double blow of the whistle for the high tackle. Rita Nadunga. Hey, Paul, yellow card. Just wait. Rita Nadunga is a repeat offender for that high tackle. She pulled her opponent's hair there. Hey, Paul. And that is one of the punishable offenses in this game of rugby. To protect some of those who grow their hair in the game. Ducks not able to maintain possession. They lose it to the hands of Rachel Mufua. Mufua finds it for Najuma, but Najuma's offload after that line break. Sails way forward off the mark. Scrum. And able to find Sarah Chirabo. So it's going to be a scrum. Scrappy play from both teams. Ducks and Uganda. As the day slowly winds away. Girls, start up. Crouch. Bind. Set. Cut it. Fits the ball. Confusion from that team sheet from their judges. I think that's Dan Revan Houston playing half back duties. And a strong contest from Uganda. Off his feet. From Maimuna Nasozi, but she did that off her feet. And so the Turks have another scrum, have another penalty, but deep inside their own territory. Can they build no, no, and no. move Hands forward Leave it. from this position? Steel of loading. Hence Keselina. Space on the outside. It's tracing Tunzi. Off eight, but off. the supporting player in Keselina is off her feet. And Maimuna Nasozi will look to add some points on the board for Uganda. But she offloads to Lydia Namabiro, who will get her double as well. Not the most efficient of plays, but it gets the job done for Uganda. Lydia Namabiro is over for Uganda's fourth try. Half time, girls. Conversion to come. They lead by 22.0. Sit high from that short distance. Conversion is good. There's the last play of this first half. Lydia Namabiro running a good support line. The ball not able to find her, but there's no defense to stop the pickup. And she dots down another try for Uganda. And there's a confirmation of the halftime score then. Ducks yet to put some points on the board. They have zero against Uganda's 24. Second half to come shortly.
And so, Uganda with 24 points zero against the tax. Do they look to close it? Calmly, or do they go all out and pile as many points as they can, well knowing that this competition is what a round robin good? format? Tax, how do they get something going in a tournament where they have struggled so much? Uganda restarted deep into the hands of Timoni Kobest. They shuffle it through the hands, beautiful offloading, but it lands into the hands of Lydia Namabiro, who was just getting back onto her feet from the early attack. Now Uganda have possession on the turnover. Peace Lekuru with the dummy through the middle. And the Uganda captain will be getting her hat trick in this match, Lekuru. Under the uprights, straight through the middle, try time Uganda. Hold behind. My moon and Asozi shifts direction of attack for Uganda. She sends it out wide into the path of Unity Namlala on debut in the number seven. Knock on. Scrum. Namlala plays with the Nile Rapids in Uganda's local rugby competitions. She had such a high-flying campaign for the Nile Rapids despite them finishing last and taking the wooden spoon in the tournament. But they had Crouch. some impressive Fine. performances. Set. Around the countries to her. Now she is with the Lady Rugby Crane Sevens in the Safari Sevens as Maimuna Nasozi looks to outpace Timoni Kobet. A bit unsuccessfully good cross covering defense from Kobet to force Maimuna into Not touch on. and losing Scrum. the ball forward ball. in contact as well. Other side, other that's side. more like it. That's what Your you would love to see side. from the tax sevens especially Timoni Kobet good defense and good cross covering Girls, start up. I'm not tell you again. as Maimuna looked to speed away into the corner crouch bind set they have a scrum feed now what can they do with ball in hand the tax nine offside they have a penalty for it playing the ball in an offside position as the number nine Timoni Kobet now carrying just into court before contact committing catching and passing but it doesn't go to hand scrum and again, again the, the frustration on Moya Gina's face there tells the story of what the tax are experiencing here in Nairobi nothing seems Girls. to be working you take three steps forward and another Point. five backwards Set. perhaps on day two, it will be much better from there. But now Uganda through Maimuna Nasozi and now Rachel Mufua for Unity Namlala. Her first possession of this match fends off the first defender. Offloads on the floor back to Mufua. Mufua finds Grace Navagala. Grace Navagala also arrived on the scene just no, this no, year. No. Well recycled into the hands of Captain Peace Lekuru on the outside. And Lekuru calmly dots down a double Nine brace Nine of tries too strong too quick and i should add too experienced for the tax is uganda especially led by Captain Girls, the white 32 points Thirty six points with conversion to come, but Navagala's conversion is short. Confirmation of the score there. 
36 points for Uganda after that try. The restart there does not go the regulation 10 meters, so tax have a free kick to attack from halfway. Girls, let's go, please. Let's go. There's Let's frustration fight. from the Ghana technical bench. Chigongo Sebalamu and Charles Onen not impressed with that restart. Tax looking to play an innovative move, but it is thrown straight into the hands of Unity Namlala. Unity Namlala has wheels for days, but so does the cross covering defense. Support arrives just in time, and Rachel Mufua will be touching down another try for Uganda. There's that of Lord into Mufua's hands and the other try. Girls, please, thank you. Of the game. Just hold, 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 hold. If he can walk to the for thank you. The wrong score, correct score is 37 points to zero. If Grace Navagala's conversion off the mark will stay as is, there's Rachel Mufua, try scorer. Seconds. Uganda's seventh. So what an offload there from Unity Namlala and back onto her feet to provide support. But all the hard work had already been done. Off the knee, play off the knee. Ball off the knee there so the tax can get a chance to play. Tunzi Tracy made that cross covering and try saving tackle. First knock on by Black. Scrum. Tax ball. Tax still maintain possession. Andre Van his that's Rian van der Merwe will be impressed with how they are playing so far in the match, given the depth to which they've fallen so far. Tax your feet. White feet. White ball. Crouch. The objective certainly for the tax were not. Point. Set. To win the Safari Sevens, but to play a tournament that leaves a mark. It's gone straight out the same tunnel. It's a reset. White scrum. In their own box and against the opposition, leave a mark that will set the benchmark for their 2024 7 season. Point. Set. Another restart for the scrum. Attacking nine, from the nine. set piece. Mofua way off and behind the offside lines. So it's possession still in the hands of the tax, but Unity Namlala is quick on the defense. She earns that intercept pass and she has wheels to burn. This time she won't be denied Unity Namlala, but Not has fine. she lost that ball forward Namlala before the line? <laughs> Referee says yes. Hold on. And Namlala, an opportunity to score her first try on debut for Uganda goes begging. Look at that intercept in the air. She's a tall girl. Namlala gritting her teeth and then losing that ball just inches away from her first try. Nonetheless, an impressive performance from Namlala as Uganda defeat the Ducks by 37 points to nil. On next are the Tropics and the Cubs. Tropic Sevens from the UK, Cubs are Kenya Lioness's junior side, or rather second string side. Is our center referee for today for this match. The Tropic Sevens with Emmy Bothwell.
getting a shot tucked in to get ready for the action. Kodur Freshia will be getting us underway with the kickoff. She hoofs it deep, straight forward, and into the Tropic 7s 22, who will pick it off the floor through Zoe Healy. Zoe Healy through now. Amy Bothwell and the break through the middle. Ball in two hands is Grace Dean. She looks for that offload, but it's thrown Let's straight into the hands of the Cubs on Body recovering over. defense. Faith Levoy now. Let's. Now, with space on the outside and pace to burn is Nyaira Diana. The referee blows the whistle and stops that impending attack of citing an obstruction from the support player she changed her lane and running line impeding that cross covering defense and this is the technical bench for Kenya surprised that that is the action that has stopped them from getting their first points on the board Good touch from the Tropic Sevens. <laughs> Amy Bothwell. Open up. Running about 40 meters from for the Tropic Sevens. They have a line out to throw. Ten. Play. Play. Referee says get the game going, but that line out move is well read by the Cubs. And now, off that oh boy. carry is Naito Toma into the Tropic 7's half. Wafula Valentin at the wing. Offloads to Diana Omoso. Omoso getting on her knees but not able to release and release the ball. Play, the play the ball on her feet. Release Turn of a play for Let the Tropic 7's. Good, good call from okay. the referees there. It wasn't a tackle but was in the contact zone the player got on her knees so she is it is her obligation to release the ball and play again Time. Can the Tropics throw play. a clean line? A referee says play. No more time to waste. It goes again into the hands of the Tabu Lionesses. Lees. The Cubs who have realized that the ball is only thrown to the front of this line out. They now attack through the hands onto the outside for the wingers to burn some pace. Wafula Valentin tackled just a few meters after gaining possession. Now Odo Freshia tackled into the half. Advantage for that knock forward at the breakdown for Mosso Diana with the side steps and the fan with cheers from the fans in the stands. Omoso will score the first try of this game, and with that, the Cubs put some points on the board. They lead five points to nil. Conversion to come. Odor Frecia's conversion is good, so the score is seven points to nil. Tropic 7 is leaving also real estate after that 10 meter territory if 
Freshia is keen enough she can exploit that space as she did in the earlier games today she opts to go deep though ball bounces behind Grace Dean regathers and is going to attack from just outside her five meter line breaks the first tackle attempts to break the second one from Levoy Faith but Faith forces her into touch Levoy matching Grace Dean in the physicality game. Let's play. It's a line out. So here is a line out for the Cubs. They throw it up in the air. Good take Let's. from. Diana quick, Nyairo. Quick, quick, quick. Step. Naito Tuoma now. Selling the dummy. Let's move away. At the first receiver. Ball is recycled. Elbe so slowly now. Through the hands. It just sails through Valentin Wafulas. Go off your feet. Let's move away, move away. Kenya no being forced to play backwards. But they won't need to do that for much longer as... Fresh or door breaks just at that fringe and with a little fend, there's no defense in front of her. Another cheer from the crowd as the Cubs get control in this match. That fend off the strong shoulder is just enough to stop the defense from hampering the attack as conversion just bounces off the uprights. But Kenya, the Cubs leading 12 points to nail against the tropics 20 seconds on the clock to left to play in this first half this will be the final match of day one in the women's competition we've had the uganda lady rugby sevens kenya lionesses the tropics the turks and the cubs themselves in action today there goes Let's Odor Freshi are aware of that real estate that we mentioned a bit earlier. But unfortunately, her teammates are unable to make use of that innovation, which okay. brings us to the end of the first half. And so, comes a little bit of a resistance from the Tropic Sevens, but they've managed to put some points on the board and stay. Clean on defense. They have taken a 12 points to nil lead into the break at halftime. Second half coming up shortly. Back for the second half. Tropic Sevens with the restart. It's well gathered by the Cubs. Oh and recycled by the arriving players in support. Faith Levoy now. 
Omoso. When the break now goes, boy. Diana ball is out. Nyairo, ball is open, so the defense can now step up to the challenge. Faith Livoy carrying it in contact and looking for the offload, finds a second player and a third. This is beautiful from the Cubs. Wafula Valentin is at the end of an exciting and colorful team try. Take a bow, Cubs. Valentin Wafula there taking the credit of what has been a beautiful team try from the Cubs. Conversion is good. Omoso adds the two for the score to now go to 19 points to zero. You can catch these exciting moves and tries on Kenya Rugby Union's YouTube channel. We've been live from 8 a.m. today and we'll still be broadcasting these games tomorrow as the knockouts get underway. Two of these teams could be working towards a trophy or a high finish in tomorrow's competition. But as it stands now, it is the Kenyans running away with it. Diana Nyairo over again. Cubs have their tails up and they're making the tropics pay here in Nairobi, Kenya. It's Safari 7's time. And the Cubs are putting up a very good show on their pictures. Conversion is short, looked accurate, but did not make it straight through the uprights. Another beautiful carry from the Cubs. This time, Diana Nyairo at the end of the move. Kick high to the Tropic Sevens, it is lost forward by Ree Parker. Referee Goodbye. playing advantage for the Cubs. Recycled advantage quickly. Oduro Freshia offloading finds Winnie Owino. And now again goes Valentin Wafula. She's Let's. not able to go over the whitewash this step time. Back, back. Ducking under the tackle is Winnie Owino. Knight Otwoma looking for options. Finds Owino again. Back left. to the open side. Around the left. Valentin Wafula. The Cubs have advantage for a high tackle around the neck. Slow build up for the try. Valentin Wafula looking to force her way over through the short side. And she is successful. More cheers and more smiles for the home fans watching. The home girls in action. To the Kenyan Wafula gets her brace in this match. Move up, move up. Thank you. Both tries a product of good teamwork and a show of skills from the Cubs and Omoso's conversion this time is good. And so the Cubs going to the 30s with this try. 31 points nil. They lead against the Tropics. Kick goes to the same player. Taco! Ree Parker, she gas as well this time and gets some meters for the Tropic Sevens with ball in hand. They recycle it out. 
through Janet Oyale at the end of the wing. Oyale hits the ground. Support is there to clean out at that rack. Another high tackle from the Cubs. Numbers are plenty now this time. Janet Oyale tackle just at the edge. Let's. Chris Parker. Let's. Move away, move away. Kenya making all the tackles and working hard on defense. The Tropics still resilient with ball in hand and attacking strong. The tackle now, move away, Pasty move away. Let's. This time the attack is isolated. The defense is good enough. And Diana almost earns the turnover for the Cubs. On the restart. Short and angle run from Diana Nyairo. She's still on her feet. Going strong. She'll get her reward for that huge effort on the carry. This is exciting sevens rugby from the Cubs. For her efforts, Dara Nyairo has lost one of her boots. And she takes her seat on the bench with a smile. As we come to the conclusion of day one in the women's competition here at the 2023 Tasca Safari Sevens. Can the Cubs put an icing on the cake of what has been a game with some good tries? Let's move away! Not for the highlight reel, but for the exciting set plays and show of skill. Chani Toyari forced into touch. For the tropics, disappointment. The bodies of the tropic sevens, but some high fives for the Cubs as they have taken a 36 points to nil lead and victory over the tropics. Cubs will be hoping for a good seeding going into the knockouts on day two. That brings us to the end of the women's competition on day one. Up next are the men, beginning with the SA All Stars and Red Whalers, Tropic Sevens, and Shuja, the defending champions. Kenya Seven Circuit champions, KCB, take on the Morans, a home derby, and finally Western Province up against Germany. And getting ready to jump on now are the SA All Stars and the Red Whalers. And for the first time today, I'm joined in the commentary booth by Michael Kwambo. We've had a shift today, but this is the first time that we're in the booth at the same time. SA Definitely All Stars taking on the Red Whalers. Definitely, as we're coming towards the business end on day one of the Safari 7s, you take so far on the action. The weather has been beautiful, first of all, and the rugby as well, especially the Cubs. I liked those two tries through the hands, team tries, what well, we love to see with sevens, and it's been exciting to watch. Absolutely, and the, the numbers obviously continuing to increase in the stands, the atmosphere as well. It's good, remember we're having the Safari Sevens for the first time at the RFUA ground since 2019. 19. That was yes. my first Safari Sevens. <laughs> and what, did you come for the 2021? No, event? I missed that. This is my second Safari this Sevens, and I'm exciting to be back here as well. And this time in commentary. For sure. Definitely. Let's enjoy the rest of the day. Old and young, we hope they will be able to enjoy the beautiful Sevens rugby on show here at the Tasca Safari Sevens. Certainly, and to everybody watching this in Kenya and around the world, enjoy the rugby. And if you're in the grounds and still following the live stream, enjoy the rugby, the food, and the entertainment. <laughs> Ender! 
And that is Dick Malele, an exciting player for the SA7's All-Stars. Saw him in action earlier on. As they played against the Tropic 7s in the round two clash. And it is the All-Stars carrying the ball into the Red Whalers half. Interesting game this one. Two teams that obviously are invitational sides, but making the most of the opportunity they have here in Nairobi. Especially doing well these basics, the running angles, catching and passing, and of course some of those long passes as well. Absolutely, and as we speak, it is the opening try. Lekan Edward Torian with the opening try here in this clash. South Africa 7s All-Stars taking the lead 7-0 against the Red Whalers. I mean, once he got that ball, he was in space. There was no stopping him, honest. Yeah, the, the yes, All-Stars making use of the numbers on the outside, especially with that long pass. I thought the missed pass was not the best of options, but they were able to keep the possession, exploit the spaces. And Torin, running on, short on the edge, is able to find the whitewash and score a good try, I should say, with Absol that dive. Absolutely. And that kick for goal from Adam Isaac Mahari is wide. The scores remain 5-0 right here at the RFUA ground. And I'm sure those fans applauding the effort from Torian Lechan Torian. The ball is retained from the restart. Clear release. Andrew Matoka. He has a rangy stride, Ernest, and he gains crucial ground for the Red Whalers. Red Whalers there, Matoka engaging the high gears at full pace, but the support was nowhere to be seen. That offload came late, and it ended up in a lost possession for the Whalers. But I thought they were a bit too relaxed on that restart that was turned over by the SAO. Let's catch a glimpse of the Whalers. That's good enough. In the regulations of the game of rugby, the All-Stars rewarded for their relentless pressure. They've been able to level matters against the Red Whalers. Absolutely. It is all square 12 12. Earlier on, we did see that exciting game between Germany and KCB. It was 17 12, but suddenly the Germans scoring three converted tries in the space of three minutes. Kiko. Sevens is such a fast paced game, and the tables can turn so quickly. So SA All Stars looking to shine brighter than the Red Whalers as we get to the close of this second half. No, no hands. Absolutely, the ball is retained. Goes with that ball. We're standing too far. The support players late to arrive. When you are late to arrive, you force the players who have got there in time to do the hard work. And that long pass did not go to hand. Bounced in front of him. Fumbled it with the defense approaching fast. It was forced into a handling error. Gentlemen, it's here. It's here. Time is still running. We're going for the scrum. Stop me! Let's go! Come round, come round, come round here. Bind! Set! Absolutely, and as you said, sevens can be such a fast-paced and cruel game. And we're just seeing it there. Turning defense into attack. Dyer converting his own try, securing the victory for the Red Whalers. 19-12 but full time but that was a strong run and a clever change of direction and having the presence of mind to know that Ahiro Ndunde was there to finish off that move Sevens is a team sport indeed and Ndunde doing what is required of him as a support player after Kona has done all the hard work Buttered the bread on both sides, and Dunde was there to have it for breakfast. Absolutely, and a confirmation of the full-time score. It is the Red Whalers claiming victory. 
1912 against the South Africa Sevens All Stars. Remember the action coming to you from the RFUEA ground in Nairobi. It is day one of the 2023 Safari Sevens. Taking on the host, the Africa 7 champion, destined for the Olympics 2024 in France. Coming up next, it is Tropic 7s against home side and defending champions. It's exciting that Safari 7s has returned here. That lull and shift in venue was forced by the COVID-19 pandemic rugby being played without the fans. But now the energy and the vibe of the Safari 7s is back at its home grounds. Absolutely. And we speak about the energy and the vibe. And now let's enjoy the rugby as well. Shuja <laughs> versus the Tropic 7s. This guy is an the entire space looking good as well. I like this shot of the RFE air grounds. Let's catch a glimpse of the Tropic 7s in their final huddle. And there is Shuja as well in their final huddle. And looking at the Shuja squad playing in Nairobi as the fans enjoy their sips of water. Center referee there is Duncan Kiyoko. But we were saying Shuja have made two changes from the squad that won the Africa Sevens in September in Zimbabwe. Herman Humwa and Brian Mutugi replacing George Ooro and Beldad Ogeta, who are part of that squad. It's important that they get as many players some game time Hi. because the 2024 season is going to be a busy one for the Shuja, they have the Challenger Series, they have the Olympic Games repechage and the Olympic Games with the hope that they qualify. So they need to have as many men with as much game time as possible and this is one of the platforms. Absolutely, as the Tropic 7s in possession early on. We have 30,000 people watching the games. Absolutely, Online. that is a great statistic. And to everybody watching this game in Kenya and around the world, we do hope that you are enjoying the production, the rugby as well. And we will still be here for day two as, as that gang tackle, really. Kevin Wekesa looking like a bouncer in a club more than a rugby player. It's good enough to earn the Shuja possession of the ball. Ball carried forward. Samuel Asati bringing in Wekesa. He is a nuisance right now. Takes two no men to bring him to the floor, already. but he still presents it. And then Asati. Ooh, well, a return of the favor. <laughs> Tony Omondi looks like he has refused to pay a bill. Anyway, action continues here. The line break from John Okoff. He's a big, strong runner. He is being tracked down, John Okoth. Try line is in sight. He makes the try. That was a wonderful face of play from both teams. Kenya getting the score. John Okoth too strong, too powerful for the Tropic Sevens. And too quick as well for the cross-covering defense. Making that first break and the second one as it was too slippery for the opponents to catch. Good running form. Taco just short of the line, and he has that one legal movement to stretch over and score the try. And soon conversion is successful from Tony Omondi. Shuja leading by seven points to zero. Yeah, is a strong man. He's a strong man. Has been capped for Kenya at all levels, at the under 20s, 15s, and now. Kenya Sevens as well. There's not very many men that have done that in their rugby careers, especially at such a young age. Absolutely. Remember, he was part of the Kenya squad that played at the 2019 World Rugby Junior Trophy in Brazil. And also part of the squad that won that year's Rugby Africa Bartels Trophy at the KCB Sports Club in Ruaraka. And also looking at it, there's a number of players from other teams as well who have 
risen through the ranks, the likes of Aaron Oforworth on the Ugandan side. I'm sure we'll have those conversations later. We have subs coming in. All good. An early replacement for the extra rod Tropic the Sevens. Rod. Let's do this, boys. Come on, Red. Crouch. Binds. Is Sankara Wafula on? Set. And as we speak, the man who has gone off for the Tropic Sevens is Alex Stop Jones, on. replaced by Sankara Wafula. <laughs> That is a great use of the long pass by the Tropic Sevens, but that was a crunching cover tackle from Mukesa. He doesn't force the turnover though. That player Turn. just went off his feet in that context. That is Leo Lukimbo. Doesn't have the pace. He has the vision though. But that delivery not the best. And then Vincent Onyala has been rather quiet, feels that ball. Kevin Wakesa skips past his tackler. He has a man in support and Onyala, once he dips his head, try line beckoning, but there is cover. Using his peripheral vision to stretch his defender, scores a second try for Shuja. This is exciting sevens rugby from the Tropics and the Shuja. Tropics breaking the line and going all the way to the 22. Good defense from the Shuja who have turned it into attack. And Captain Onyala is over for the try. Absolutely. You can see he's pushing himself, running on just dry fumes, but he had made all the work to get over the whitewash Onyala. The conversion from Umundi is good. Shuja now leading by 14 points to zero against the Tropics. These are two tries that have got the fans on their feet as day one winds away. And I would be hoping that we can start with the same energy on day two as we get to the business end of things. Remember the final pool matches are on Sunday morning, setting up the stage for the semi-finals. So those matches do or die. I'm sure the crowd, if they're able to come, because remember there's an after party here, but if they're able to, there will be a great atmosphere. Rugby. That was a very good after party. <laughs> sure does. And that is Leo Lugimbo. The captain, the ball is loose. Anybody's ball. Samuel advantage. Asati. No advantage. Come back for the scrum forward pass. See the ball in there. On the you can see Konye Njoroge. Diehard supporter of Kenyan rugby. Follows the team almost everywhere around the world. First time meeting him was in Zimbabwe at the Africa Sevens. And he did one of the most unusual things, I should say, getting the Crouch. Uganda fans to support. <laughs> Bans. The Shuja is not a scene you will see every day. Hold it, hold it, boys. Especially <laughs> not after the recent Elgon yeah. Cup and Victoria Cup matches yeah. in Kampala and Kisumu. For sure. Asati. Amaita. And then Patrick Odongo. He has been quiet. He has a turn of speed. He beats his yeah. tackler. He scores. <laughs> Odongo, always announcing his presence at such tournaments. And it's good to see that when he isn't meaning business running around men, he can pull off some beautiful dance moves as well. Absolutely. As it gets the crowd here at the RFUA into that, song. That stop, start and go is what has beaten the defender, especially at full pace. Not very many defenders can get that taco in. Conversion is wide. And that was it again. Like you said, that start stop. It is always going to throw your defender off. Yeah, yeah. And that is it, the last order of business for the half after the jig. It is Shuja leading the Tropic Sevens by 19 points to zero crowd in song and dance here as we await the second half.
confirmation of the squad half time and it's Shujaa leading the tropics 19 points to zero catch you on the other side of half time Back for the second half and changes to the Shuja lineup. Oh, that's a beautiful offload off the floor. <laughs> but an equally table turning yeah, okay, turnover okay. from the Tropic Servants. And again, that is their captain, Leo Luginbull. And Charles Odiambo plays his rugby locally for Nondescript, the okay. oldest club in Kenya. That is a clever idea oh, from oh. Tropics. I the execution, not the best. Remember, the action is also live on KBC K24 and Y254, in addition to the Kenya Rugby YouTube channel. To everybody who's watching, remember there's still more action tomorrow from 10 a.m. East Africa time as we head into the business end of the Safari Sevens. But for now, we are into the business end on day one. Brian Tanga with a line out throw. Not straight. Wasn't straight. On the side. Options. Scrum. Samurai, as expected, rather Tropics as expected, opt for we have a subs. scrummage at the 15 meter mark. It's inside the Kenya 7s 22. So this is very good territory for them to attack from. Let's go. A split back line. Crouch. On the short side and the open side with the Crouch. bats. Let's see Bangs. which options they go for. Set. Hold it. Hold it. That's a good line break from the Tropics, but the cover defense coming through from Shuja. Tropics doing well to keep it alive. Looking to punch holes. And again, the captain, Leo Luginbull, he has looked the most dangerous player in this match thus Stuck far. Obviously, the captain leading by what example. Still short. Change of direction. Came from the side. Came from the Shuja side. guilty of the side entry. That's not going to be a way of denying the Tropics with that pressure piling on inside that 22 indeed and that is Charles Odiambo going over for the try short ball attacks the weak shoulder of the defender Amatsa could not stop that heavy carry just short of the try line and he was able to dive over Tropics opened the account against the Shuja the kick at goal is not accurate. The scores remain 19 5. There was a short ball to Charles Odiambo. That was going to be easy pickings from about three meters out. <laughs> Nigel Amaitza. Breaking clear. 
Even breaking into a smile as he goes over the chalk. A quick response from Shuja, just what a coach would desire and expect from his players. Good show of skills with ball in hand, sold that dummy with his full body. And once the defense split apart, he just sped through. Caught best to burn, there's no defender that was able to stop him at full counter. And Shuja restore that 19 point gap against the Tropics. Oh, that's a good kick and chest from the Shuja. Brian Mutugi Chakla. is stopped by Charles Odhiambo. Humwa cycling it. Shiasi being driven back but has the presence of mind to offload it to Wekesa. It looks like a hospital pass to be honest. Actually, I have to give credit to Wekesa for using his feet to just stabilize that movement. And then Mutugi this time is going to touch down Kenya attacking that short side well knowing that the defense are rushing on to the open side quick recycle of the ball at that breakdown and it's a 2v1 situation defender at the wing bites leaving open space for Mutugi to dive over it's the version is good. What right on my left? Sharing a drink, <laughs> the two young men who only should just after that try. I think we could make a very good compilation of <laughs> the try celebrations so far. There was a head contact there. And no, the Tropic a, Sevens player. Yeah. Good awareness from Duncan Kiyoko to stop the play, to, to have the player attended to. Yeah, I'm looking into it, I'm looking into it. Evacuation medics have been called to the scene. Hello, you know, earlier sir. today do you we have, do you have saw Uganda Sandra Molilona yeah. land in a very concerning situation. Yeah, huh? The medics rushed and attended to her, and yeah. I'm happy to report that she's responding well to the medics yellow. consciously. Yeah. But unfortunately for Uganda, she will not be continuing in this tournament and perhaps in the other upcoming tournaments, if any, before the year ends. But quick recovery to her, and we hope that the Tropic yes. Sevens player as well yeah. Yeah. is able to recover. Yeah. Those high contacts can be really concerning with the safety of the players, and that's why rugby continues to innovate with some of the regulations, yeah. with some of the technology, to ensure that the players yeah, they're, they're in they're this contact sure. sport yeah. Can stay safe and return to their families good, yeah. and their loved ones in one shape. Absolutely. Well, I got the number. I got the number. Yeah, no, yeah it's going Just catch a glimpse yeah, of some of the people in attendance here at the RFA ground day one of the 2023 Safari Sevens. It's great to see rugby return in numbers in East Africa because a few weeks ago we did have the Victoria Cup. Equally good numbers there. Um, There's a lot of food, by the I way, here at the RFUA ground, just to digress. Uh, but back to what we're saying. If ever there was any doubt. If ever there was any doubt. But back to what we were saying. Um, great to see the return of rugby, Test Rugby, International Rugby, the tours, the camaraderie, the the bonding even away yeah, from the pitch i like i liked what the zambia rugby union president yeah. said at the start of the victoria cup you know these tournaments usually yeah, do not sure. get that much attendance but he said zambia were happy to take part in the tournament with kenya and uganda 
and he hopes that the rest of Africa will join them in different tournaments. Of course, the Captain Victoria Cup is only restricted to the four of them, including Zimbabwe. But he said one thing that I noted was, we will build each other. And that's what East African rugby, that's what the whole of African rugby needs. That the unions work together to elevate the level of the rugby that we play here. Into the tournament weekend, you know, into today. Safari Service is an exciting tournament for many of us. It is a festival of the celebration of rugby. And we look forward to such a tournament because of the vibe, the energy and the after party in addition to the rugby. Technically about this, they get an opportunity to rebuild and gain good territory forward in the last play of this game. And it and it Once again the captain Luginbo breaks the first tackle. Amaitsa slows down his progress. Also, the Ambo is there to secure the rack. It yeah, looked like a knock-on on the floor there. There was a knock-on, and that is the last sort of business. Shuja will complete their day one with three wins from three. Still have one more pool match tomorrow. But you'd like to think they, they're through to the semis. I think tomorrow is just to determine who they play in the semis. Three wins from three on day one. And uh, comprehensive 33-5 win over the Tropics. The, de the defending champions are still in line for the Safari 7's title. A picture there. One of the people who give us pictures. From the national team, from the African champions, on to the national champions, KCB. Up against the Morans. Absolutely, and lining up for KCB. Alpha Sadunga, Trevor Odawa, Billy Omondi, Isao Otieno, Imano Lopondo, Ishmael Gorio, William Opaka, Mike Kimwele, Elvis Namusasi, Gabriel Namusasi, Jofio Kwach, Edwin Otieno. Lining up for K lining up for the Kenya Morans, Gabriel Aimba, Elvis Olukusi, Barnabas Owar, Richard Omido, Steven Sakari Skuta, Ronaldo Omondi, Ben Salemadoyo, Lameka Mbetsa, Austin Sikuntua, Mokoro Cornelius, Wabire Floyd, and Ojoang Crescent. I noticed something on this Kenya Moran squad. All the players on this team have tinted their hair grey. I did notice that as well. Um, what could be the inspiration? I'm sure we will be able to find out and give the viewers that inspiration tomorrow yeah, when we convene once again. These young men continue to express themselves both in the rugby and off the pitch. No one. A ball is claimed by Gabriel Ayimba, his father Benjamin, leading light for Kenya Sevens, captained Kenya Sevens, coached Kenya Sevens to that victory in Singapore. And his son Gabriel has been capped by the Kenya under 20s, beginning to break into the national team setups. Play continuing here is the Morans with the early advantage. Short line. But he's Head isolated. Long, press, press the support arriving later, that breakdown, what a carry it was, but he couldn't do it all alone. That is Geoffrey Okwach against Floyd Wabwire. Geoffrey Okwach has also featured for the Kenya Sevens, Kenya Under 20s, and the national team, the 15th team, the Simbas. Still only 24. You can't tackle him when, when you're on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Picture there, Alpha Sadunga, the captain. His the twin brother, Isa Otieno, is on the bench. I've been at KCB Rugby Club for close to a decade. Started the club rugby at Kisumu before making the move to KCB. Both of them utility players and internationals in the sport of Kabaddi. Kabaddi is a little bit too similar to rugby, <laughs> that game. And I think very soon we'll have Kabaddi at the Olympics. Absolutely. Just catch a glimpse of the Set. KCB coach, Mark Mushila, former Open Kenya 15s international. Coming from a rugby stock, his dad, Dave Mushila, was also former Kenya international, former Kenya team manager as well. The apple, they say, doesn't fall too far from the tree. Okwach looking to back himself up with his pace. Namusasi Adunga Ooh. He's a nippy character Adunga Mike Kimwele Another one whose father 
was a rugby player in Kenyan International. Kimwele has been capped by the Kenya Simbas and the Kenya under 20s. The gaps are beginning to open up in the Kenya Moran's defense. This is Adunga. I think that's a knock on the tackle by Wabwire. No, two hands. Two hands, two hands. Two hands in the tackle, it's just a knock. Explanation from the referee, two, two hands, hands in the, in the tackle. Yeah. So yeah. It's just a knock, it's not yeah, intentional. So. He made a legitimate attempt to wrap around and make the tackle, but he needs to be a bit more careful. KCB had exploited the numbers and the spaces. He was the last man on defense. He had to make that tackle. I bet, unfortunately, he had his Head hand back. in the way of the Head ball. Back. And KCB will have a scrum just about One, 10 two, meters or so from the trailer. But this is the second last match Close. of the day on day one of Five. the 2023 Safari Set. Sevens. Steady! Steady! It is KCB against Morans. KCB began with a 17-5 defeat to Samurai and lost 33-17 to Germany. And this is Mike Kimwele, the step, the change of direction. He is being slowed down by Ronnie Omondi. KCB keeping it alive through former Kenya under 20 international Emmanuel Opondo. The ball is carried forward. The referee is playing the advantage. The try is good. You're Emmanuel Opondo goes over. Come. Morans could only defend for so long as the KCB continued to pile on the pressure. They had to bank those points after nearly two minutes in the Morans half. And half of those spent just shy of the try line. And the Morans are reduced to six men. Ben Salem Adoyo is sent to the bin as Manuel Opondo kicks for goal. The loans officers usually show no mercy. <laughs> and they have a lot of interest as well. Was Opondo. And you know, noticing one thing for KCB, Billy Omondi, the man in shirt number six, has been effective in gaining them territory anytime he has a ball. He either beats the man or punch through the hole and get them five, six meters anytime he's in possession. That's a product of hard work that inspired the KCB to the National 7th Circuit title. And it is continuing to show dividends here in the Safari 7s. That is not a second try. We're almost calling it. Billy Mondi gets over Best the whitewash. Stock of the devil. I think the Morans there was slowly becoming to tire in defense and beginning to repeat those high tackles, not making the effort to go low. It's a shrine of fatigue. You can see that cross covering tackle. And then now, that attempt to drop over is a bit of fine margins. KCB nonetheless, good points on the board. Absolutely, KCB counting on the boot of Elvis Namusasi. Add more points on the board. Kick is wide. KCB, remember, won their last game 17 7 against Western Province. This coming off the back of defeats 33 17 to Germany and 17 5 to Samurai. Any chance Namusasi Elvis is related to Namusasi Gabriel? Um, I've been inquiring that all day. Um, I probably will get an answer in a few. Now the Morans to build from deep inside their own in goal area. Support players arriving just in time. And they pass out wide to Floyd Wabwire. Wabwire has pace for days. Runs around his opposite man. And over the uprights. Over the whitewash, under the uprights. End to end stuff from the Morans. The 100 meter team try. Half Absolutely. Time. And time what a response seven, that you need. <laughs> that boy is quick. He is quick. Was part of that Daystar Falcons team with Patrick Odongo. And indeed, he and Odongo got call ups to the Kenya 7 squad under Damon McGrath during the 2022 2023 season. It is halftime. The conversion is wide. It is five points separating the two teams. 
teams going to their huddle. KCB leading Morans by 10 points to 7. It's a three-point margin at halftime. We will catch you on the other side of halftime. Fans already making preparations for the after party. Yeah, it's not too far away. It's about 20 minutes away. And you have to start warming up. Just as you do when you're embarking on any sports activity. But we're back for the second half. Emmanuel Opondo with the restart. Two Let's men go. chasing that ball. Two men making that taco. Just a confirmation that Elvis and Gabriel Namusasi indeed are brothers. So KCB has two sets of brothers, the other being the twins. Absolutely, Elfas and Isao. The ball is loose. Elvis Olukusi up against his teammate. Olukusi plays for KCB. No, first person knees down. He's penalized there. That's Elvis, good. his namesake, Namusasi. Scores the third try for KCB. Awareness from Elvis Namusasi. That was going to be an easy try for Namusasi. Getting that penalty, he knows the entire defense the is not the regulation. Ten right meters. And you want his knees down. Player arriving at that breakdown for the Morans was off his feet. And then Namusasi on the quick restart. Touch him, you're playing him in an offside position. Rather let him score the try. Mark Mushila there and Philip Wamai. Philip Wamai, former Kenya Sevens International, also captained KCB for until injury cut short his career right at his prime. But has taken into the management role like a duck to water. Well, the ball is plucked in the air. That was a quatch. Elvis Namusasi bringing in Mike Kimwele. A solid player, Mike Kimwele. Ooh, beautiful side steps there. Back. That ball went back, and that is the captain, Elfa Sadunga. ACB attacking down that left channel. They do have the Morans on the back foot. First person, delayed played it, you delayed played it. First person is right. That's good contest from yeah. the Morans at that breakdown. Relentless defense. The moment the arriving back, player caught back. under the support player. Hands on the ball and that turnover. Ball is on the loose. There are acres of space here. Gabriel Ayimba, we do know he has pace as well. And the footwork. And the cover defense from Okwach. Slows down his momentum. The Morans still keeping it alive. Mokoro Cornelius, the Queen's halfback, former Kenya under 20 international. There is Mokoro. He's looking it's to up the ante for the Morans. Back. Yeah. KCB trying to test the limit of the regulations. They yeah. give away a free penalty there for impeding a quick restart. 
That is Elvis Namusasi under pressure from no, Ben Salem. No. Kick downfield that forces the Morans to launch another attack from deep. This is the co-captain, Crescent Ojuang. Pressure building Philippe up Omai on the there. touchline. <laughs> like we said, he's taken to management perfectly. No. Then Ayimba. Oh, that handling error, just killing the momentum that the Morans were building. It is Steve Sakari Scooter. An officer in the Kenya Prisons Service. Knock. Plays his rugby for Mwamba RFC. Time off. I think he's the only player without Time tint off. in his hair. Not sure if it's because Time of his seniority with these youngsters or because of his uh, other he, career he in the forces. But there's a hint of that grey. <laughs> At the right shade of the sun, you'll see some grey of the tint <laughs> in Sikuta's hair. Well, the things you notice, Ernest, the things you notice. It's the colour and the vibe of the Safari Seven. Yes, and it is exciting. And yeah. the weather has indeed held up this afternoon. Fans enjoying themselves. Including the children as well. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have it now. Coach! Right, set, The Morans are being coached by a Kenya Shuja technical bench, leaving the senior Shuja to fend for themselves at the Safari Sevens. That is Elvis Namusasi. Advantage He's enjoying Alpha. himself in this game. Twin brothers there, Elfas and Isao, combining. Ball is played downfield. In this case, he be in possession. The Morans. Go, go. Use it, are on use the it. back foot. I think the player there arriving secure that ball was off his feet, overshot, and got his hands on the floor Alpha Sadunga behind the breakdown. So, grounding Alpha. is good. I want to check about the last movement, if there was knock or no. Referee so says the grounding is good there, but... Up to the try. Did you lose the ball forward or backwards? No ball was lose forward try. Try is good. Absolutely. Fourth try for KCB, and it is it's Isao Otieno. He's asking for a sub as well, not after all that hard work that he has done to put the points on the board. All the hard work done, KCB in a comfortable lead against the Morans. But as we've said earlier, the tables know very well how to turn. But can the Morans do it with just over a minute left to play? They need to score twice, though. Twice and then again. The kick at goal is not accurate. And let's just see that again. That is Sabzin. Isao Otieno. Oh, Sabzin. Going Sabzin. over for that try. Play, play. One minute is the signal the KCB players from their technical bench. It's a good kickoff as well to pile more pressure onto the Morans. Ben Salem not Let judging his position on the playing Let field and light. he lets that ball bounce on and off into touch. And the Morans up. have open a line up. out open up. just on their open 22. Up. Remember the Morans came off a close 14-12 win open. against Samurai. And looks like they are on the verge of losing their I first the match on day one of the Safari Aye. Sevens. There was the That's high tackle, the penalty is quickly taken. This is Ben Salem looking to pull the strings for the Morans driving forward there. That is Sakari. Tackle all around the boot laces. This is a war. No, let it go. Let it go. Lame Kambetsa at scrum half. Yen Sakari. This is Sakari once again. Into the final moments of the match. Orans will be looking to get into the double digits. Of the best of passes oh, to Ayimba. He fumbles it and, and it's game over. that is it's the game last over. order of business. Oh, no, no. Game over for the Morans. 
Game over. That final pass. Fine margins of this entertaining and yet cruel game of rugby. Ayimba with acres of space in front of him and no man to stop him. They're able to gather that ball. As the teams going through their post-match motions, confirmation of the score at full time. KCB completing day one of the Safari Sevens. They played all four matches that they are required to in their pool. 22-7 winners against the Morans. Coming up next, the last match of day one. It is Germany against Western Province. Looking at Germany, they started their campaign with a 33-17 win against KCB and then lost 15-12 to Samurai in a game also fine margins. Remember, there was a penalty that bounced off the posts. And then Samurai coming to 12-12 and then winning it. Backwards, player. Germany will need to play this game like it's a final if they are to keep the hopes of going into the semi-finals alive. Western Province, on the other hand, have not had the easiest of tournaments either. And it's all to play for in this final game of day one. Remember Germany, one of the teams compete on the World Rugby Challenger Series. They also play in the Rugby Europe Sevens competition. Remember a few years ago, we came heartbreakingly close to qualifying for the World Rugby Seven Series. Touch. That's and it. I also remember them breaking report. Ugandan hearts in the Challenger Series. Memories that are all too yeah. fresh for you, Ernest. Still too painful, I must admit. Red. That game come in, come in. in South America. Yeah. Like we mentioned about sevens, the tables can turn so quickly okay. within okay. seconds. But how can Germany take advantage okay. of this in the last game of day one? Very, very says yeah, there's obstruction there from the player on the switch. Now picture there, Jerome Parwater and Jason Hector handling the Western Province team here in Nairobi this weekend. Jason Hector had a stint as head coach at Homeboys RFC a few seasons ago. Actually, it was pre-COVID. While Jerome Parwater has been Kenya Simba's coach between 2013 and 2017, now in his yeah. second stint. Okay. This came of winning the Elgon Cup as well, so comes with some success for the Western Province. Absolutely. Okay, line out over. No contest. And it is Germany driving forward. Entering the, the Western Province 22 for the first time. Tackle. That was a strong run, a big carry. And advantage as well for the high tackle. And we get the five pointer there.
A little change in direction is usually enough to beat players running to cover the spaces on the outside. German with the first try of the game, midway through the first half. They make it a full complement of points. Conversion's good. The score stands at seven points to zero against the Western Province Select. That change of direction immediately after receiving the ball threw off what would have been the first defender. We're midway through the first half. Germany, as you said, leading by seven points. Losing finalist in 2021, losing by 12 points to five to Shuja. Closely contested final at the Nyayo National Stadium. And the team in Nairobi this weekend is coached by Spanish rugby great Pablo Feijou. You know, Ernest, we were just talking about some of the great names coaching teams here in Nairobi at the Safari Sevens. Colin Zingera is on the technical bench for Samurai. You know, for some time, Colin Zingera was the leading scorer on the World Rugby Sevens Series, the leading try scorer. He's a Hall of Famer as well in Fiji. That's rugby royalty the right ball. there. Open. Is Western Province backwards? Ball is lost on the tackle. Germany under pressure. No cool. I think he's working too hard there. Keiton Botello to make those offloads. Or rather, Samuel Raven, Smith Raven, okay. is working too hard to look Stand good up. in the highlight reel and is making those loose okay? offloads. He's being caught with the okay. ball in contact. Just Time is back on. Scrum. Just as he's looking for the support players and they can only look on. First one coming, went to coming, the floor, coming. but this second one has turned over possession yeah. to Germany. Ready? Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay. Crouch. Bind. Set. Hold it there. This is Germany once again. That was a brilliant line. Good running angles as well. That is a second try for Germany. As good as you would love set piece plays to be. Players running straight with ball in the hand and then that short pass into the gap. Opens the door for him, and all he had to do was step on the gas. 20 seconds. And score the second try of the game for Germany. Ten now. Now I'm timing. Well, this kick up the goal is wide, and it remains 12-0 to Germany. That was a lovely running line. And right uh, from their own 22. Talk about turning defense into attack. Okay. Because first they forced the turnover, Time. got the advantage on their side, and punished Western Province. Looking to repeat that play with the restart contest Stop in off. the air allows Western Province to maintain possession, though. That is corner Van Eden. Mm. He's a nippy player, corner Van Eden. And then Shem Okola played his rugby locally for the Strathmolios, one of the guest players for Western Province. Okay. Does it again, leaving players on the floor. But it is Germany in possession. The buzzer has sounded. Germany are going to score a third try. under the posts score right on the stroke of half time
The kick at goal is good. Germany take a 19-0 lead into the break. Well, Germany will need to rack up the points if they are to be in contention for a place in the semi-final tomorrow, but more importantly for the Robin Cahill Trophy. The trophy is about 20 kilos heavy. It is awarded to the winners. A confirmation of the score at halftime. Germany 19, Western Province 0. See you on the other side of halftime. And we're back for the final seven minutes of the half. There's Germany leading Western Province by 19 points to zero. I've seen that move before. Today, defenders holding the attacker up and forcing that mall. Scrum down here. There is a sure turnover. Yeah. If you can affect it very strongly, otherwise you'll be committing too many men at the breakdown is, yeah. and there's space on the outside if the attacker, only if the attacker is able to force his way okay. and Round. put it into the ground. Absolutely. Okay. Get up. Bind to him, eh? okay. Yeah, bind to Hoka, everyone. Okay. Crouch! Bind! Set! Corner Van Eden okay. has been the Give brightest five. spark for Western Province, threatening every time he has that ball going forward. Okay. Then Robertson okay. Fazel, the captain there, guilty of that error, okay, that kills all guys. the momentum, all the hard work that Western Province are building into the second half. Van Eden didn't give him enough support after that offload into space. The hard work was done, but Van Eden needed to be there to secure that ball. Attacker was isolated, turnover, clean Great. and easy. Yeah. But I also okay. notice Van Eden is probably the only player, ten, ten, the first ten. I've seen, to be yeah. honest, him, eh? to be He's feeding back. the scrum with just one hand. <laughs> That's a very interesting observation. From the line out throw, okay. not straight. it isn't straight. Okay. Options, line out, scrum. scrum. Just take a look at it again. Come, come. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Western Province beefing up their squad with a number of Kenyan players. There's Stanislaus Shikoli, Kenya Under-20 International, played Bro. at the Butters <laughs> Trophy 2022 and 2023. He's going to feed it with one hand. Yes, again. He does it and releases it. It's a cheeky it. move, I think. Nothing illegal about it. Absolutely. So call out scrum half, and there he is again, Van Eden. He said the cheeky with that reverse pass. Shemokola is a nuisance there. Shemokola loses the ball on the tackle. 
He was in the match day 23 for last weekend's Elgon Cup win. Although he did get match time. Subs. No there in the attempted offload. Looked like the ball was slapped Subs. backwards by the Germany defender. But Western Province not lucky to get that 50-50 call onto their side. Crouch! Fine! Set! You can see Van Eden still being the cheeky number nine that you would expect. Toying with his opposite number at that scrum field. Leslie looking to rile him up and force him into an error. But the Germans, renowned for their efficiency, paying no attention to his okay. games. Olivia. Indeed driving Olivia. forward. That pass Good into pass. space. Pass is okay. The bounce of the rugby ball. Okay. Still alive. Unpredictable as it okay. is Line at up. that moment there, bouncing out to touch. Second half has really been quiet. But remember the first half was quiet until the third minute when Germany started scoring and they couldn't okay. stop after that. Subbed. Three minutes on the clock left in this game. Maybe Western Province okay. with this lineup can start putting okay. some points on the board as well. Maybe, just maybe. Let's just see what happens. Okay, play now. As we're coming into final moments. And there he is again, corner by Eden. The ball is lost. It is Germany in possession. Again, that ball in hand is always an attacking option because you get your opponents guessing and that is going to be a fourth try for Germany. There's no substitute for pace in the game of rugby, in the game of sevens. Once a player is able to get that inch ahead of you and then that burst of pace over you, there's no other option but to be a passenger in that foot race. But remember that moment there when he just had the ball in two hands, leaving his opponents second guessing and then he put down the hammer and took off, turning on the pace. Conversion is good. Germany leading by 26 points to zero. He's got the horsepower like a German Mercedes Benz. The German machines renowned for their power. And efficiency as well with ball in hand. And we are seeing that okay. from the side yes, here in Nairobi today. Okay. I'm sure it must be a challenge as well playing at altitude. Of course, it goes without saying that coming for such tournaments presents good challenges, new challenges for some of the teams. Western province coming from the west of South, of South Africa may not have challenges with the altitude, but Germany in the lowlands will face uh, a, a lack of enough air to breathe in the air. The air, is, the air is thin and they need to work harder. The fatigue comes in much quicker and against teams like this. As you can see, the result of their hard work in preparations is getting them good results against teams who are more accustomed to such conditions from their backgrounds at home. Absolutely. It also speaks towards their game management skills, which obviously you put into practice in these kind of competitions. And like they say, practice makes perfect. It's Van Eden again. Player not supporting his body weight, but then the referee says he needs more daylight at that breakdown. Yeah, that's okay. Taco Good calls and awareness from the man in the middle, Umar Balikanda. Offside, Nate. Western Province going straight into contact. Eight. Offside. Still have the advantage. Driving forward. This is Jan Daniel Gillias. Okay. Another advantage for offside not being ten. Germany not making effort to go back ten. Repeated infringement, and the player has been sent to the bin for that. That's the full-time hooter. Western Province need to be as efficient as possible and put points on the board in this last play of the game. Okay. Van Eden. Play on, play on, play on, play on. 
And a try at last for Vivias Andre and Western Province. Getting points on the board. Germany tried to make an appeal that there was obstruction there, but the player was just standing, did not make any effort to impede the defense. Gate was wide open, as you can see there. <laughs> Stayed standing, and the gate was open for the try. Conversion is good as well. And so Western, Jam Western Province have finished this game at least with some consolation points on the board after being punished by Germany. And that is the last order of business on day one of the Safari Sevens. It is Germany with the 26-0 win over Western Province. Confirmation 26-7 over Western Province. Western Province scoring a try at the death. Remember the final round of pool matches take place on Sunday morning from 10 a.m. East African time. But there it is, a confirmation of the full-time score on day one. Germany 26, Western Province 7. We will be going downstairs shortly for an interview with the Spain coach, with the Spain legend and Germany coach, Pablo Feijo. But for us in the commentary booth, Michael Kwambo and Ernest Akore Birunji. Signing off, we will catch you again tomorrow from 10 a.m. East Africa time. After quite a good game, 26. Good first uh, half, uh, we control the ball, but in the second half, we start losing our tempo. Uh, and we, we made many mistakes. And at, at the end of the of the game, it uh, was a, a little bit confusing about the, the horn and, well, the, the boys did it. Uh, a bad defense and we, we get one score so so we need to learn from that and hopefully tomorrow we we do a good game say, against Morans and we qualify for the for the semi-finals and finally what will be your focus areas for tomorrow's matches just to keep improving for for the last we are trying to to develop our defense and also retain our ball in in, in the rack so they doing quite properly so hopefully tomorrow against Morans against a big team uh, we're gonna suffer a little bit more but hopefully we are succeed. Thank you so much that is Pablo Feijo the coach of Germany and they have won two matches today they just lost one match to Samurai and they're hoping for the best tomorrow right here at RFUA ground where we have marked the end of the first day of the Safari Sevens and of course how did the lineup look like today we had Shuja against SA All-Stars where Shuja did lead with 36 and All-Stars 0 Red Whalers 10 Uganda 34 Germany against KCB Germany 33 KCB 7 17, Morans 14, Samurai 12, Lionesses 31 of the Cup 7s, Tooks that was 7, Tropics 7s 24, Uganda 5 and against Shuja 17. And of course we are going to the highlights of the day. Right after that we'll also have the goodbye.